we go. Up again. Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all this morning? Yes, have you got snow? Have you got snow? We had a little bit of flutter of it yesterday. And then it said on my, when I went to bed last night, it said on the app, uh, Emma, I'm echoing really badly, just so you know. Um, it, it said on the app last night that we were going to have heavy snow during the night. I woke up at three o'clock this morning and thought, oh, open the curtains like that. No snow. Woke up, got up at four, whatever it was, 4.35, whatever. And... Um, there was a little bit of snow like that, but as I drove in, I came through big snow, but they cleared the big roads, but forgotten the little roads that you had to go on to get from one big road to another one. So I, anyway, we're all here, we're all safe and we're all sound, we're all raring to go on this Tuesday morning. So shall we do today's early bird? Here it is. Here it is. Oh, oh actually, Emma, can I do it from the front first? There you go. There you go. Isn't it gorgeous? Comes in this lovely, it's, a, it's called a professional sewing kit. Um, I would say this would be good for a beginner, for a starter. 16.99. Oh, it should be 19.99. Oh, we have called it a starter sewing kit. It's called a professional sewing kit on the front. I would definitely call it a starter. Definitely, definitely. So if you now, if you have a look in here, we can do this from the top now, Emma. There we go. Let me put it into shot. There you go. Threads, bobbins. Oh, yeah, you get all this. You don't, it's not just a plastic box you're getting. Elastic, quick unpick, invisible thread, more bobbins, more threads, a needle threader. Then if you take the next layer off, you've got darning wool, you've got scissors, you've got a tape measure, you've got a little brush, you've got, um, I think they are, they're universal and they're jeans needles. You've got um, safety pins, you've got shearing elastic. Oh, two lots of shearing elastic. Hang on, is that shearing elastic as well? Oh, no, no, that's not elastic, that's thread. That shearing elastic. Then you've got pins in there. That's a pin cushion. You've got little bra strap clip things. You've got hand needles in there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Yeah, Hannah says, is it what you do? Go take golfing. Um, and you've got one touch fastening in there. I won't say Velcro because it won't be Velcro. It'll be a one touch fastening. Thimble, clip. What more could you want? Oh, no, put that back down. Brilliant, isn't it, for $16.99? There are 167 pieces in there. I know. I know. Let's say some good mornings while you're checking out. Oh, crikey, loads of messages. Right. Julie says, morning, John and team. Karen says, morning from a snowy Kent. Rebecca says, morning, thick snow in Nottinghamshire. Uh, Derek says, good morning, John. Yes. He's just put yes. I don't know what I asked the question. Good, we have snow, lots of it. Morning, no snow in South Ayrshire. Good morning, says Suzanne. Laurie says, hello, John, in your lovely blue shirt. Margaret says, good morning, John, from a Zoe Heckman Dwight. Jackie says, morning, John and the team. Patsy says, morning, John, morning, everyone. Now, I'll need to ask you a quick question, right? Do you like me reading these things out? Only because there was a, a, something on the Facebook page, fans, it started off as a Becky, isn't Becky Alexander Foss brilliant? Which she is, and I agree with that completely. And people were saying, oh, it makes such a difference not having people wittering on and reading out messages and everything like that. And I thought, oh, are they talking about me? Anyway, I don't know now if after I've read it, because there were people agreeing with them, saying, oh, no, I don't like the wittering. I don't like the reading out either. And then I thought, oh, maybe you don't like it. I'm going to carry on doing it. But you know what I mean? I just thought it'd be interesting to know what you thought. Uh, Judith says, good morning, John. Caroline's morning, thick snow in Norfolk. Anne says, good morning. Joan says, good morning, John and the team. Message on my bottom. Morning, John and team. We have snow on the Isle of Wight. So staying in snug and warm, watching you. Perfect morning from Donald and Sue. Oh, thank you. Thank you. £16.99 this is. They call it, look, I'll show you. They call it a professional, oh, it's upside down that way. They call it a professional sewing kit but I would call it a, a beginner starter kit myself. You get all of that, you get everything in, everything you can see there, you get. Staying in Newcastle, oh look, Donald's and Sue's message, oh there it goes. Normally it um, d disappears before I can read it. Morning John, have a fantastic day, love Michelle in Greenland. Oh, they get a lot of snow in Greenland, don't they? Yeah, it's not, it's, that's not Greenland in, up there, it's Greenland in Newcastle.
Are you there? Oh, hang on. Let's see what he'll be saying here now. I like it when you read them, says Pauline. I love the interaction. Glennie says, good morning. Rebecca says, I love the interaction. And morning, John. Carry on with the chat. I love it, says Ema. I love your chat. Makes us feel we're part of the show. Snowing in Birmingham? No, Glennis. We're not, well, we're not in Birmingham. We're in Redditch. We've got a Birmingham postcode, haven't we? I love the messages, uh, says Julie. Janet says, love it, John. Keep it going. Sue says, morning, John and team. I love the interaction. Uh, Patsy says, we love the wittering. It's professionally worked out chatter. It's not wittering. Margaret says, thank you. Wilma says, the little tea-like object marks holes in tea towels before you attach the hoop hangers in with the poppers. Wonderful thing, says Wilma. Oh, I thought they were brass. I thought they were brass strap holders. Well, no, no, what you do is you sew it on, because they used to do it in period in, um, costumes. You just put, sew that there when, when it's a low down, and the brass strap stays in there, and then it doesn't come out. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, well, I don't know what I've done with that tea towel holder thing. Oh, nearly lost a lot then. That would have been all, wouldn't it? 167 items to pick up. Um, Patsy says we love the, uh, which I've said that one, hang on. Claire says we love it, they can go watch the nails. Morning John says Margaret. Deb says morning John, love the chat, makes my day. Derek says love the interaction with your viewers, it's what keeps us watching and consequently buying. Janice says witter away John. Jackie says love you reading out messages, I'm on my own, feels my part. That's like me, because I'm on my own here, aren't I, you see? Don't stop reading messages. It makes the programme so enjoyable. Susan says, good morning, John. Love your banter. It cheers us up. Judy says, keep on doing what you're doing. So, well, I think I'm getting the gist of it. Julie says, you're more than a voice in the background and it's lovely to have contact on such dreary days. I think this must be for somebody else. You're such a professional. I don't know that one. That's for Hannah, obviously. When you're on your own all day, it's lovely to hear you say hello. Thank you, Susan. Uh, Judith says, keep on doing what you're doing, John. Margaret says, the banter wittering chat is fine. Nice to be acknowledged. Hate ne negativity. And me too. Stuart says, morning, John. I'm putting on my hiking boots. Yes, no breakfast yet. Off for a walk in the huge snow we have here in Suffolk. You be careful, Stuart. Morning team, Sewing Street. Love the programme. Chattering crack on, says Sharon. Jeannie says, hello, John. We have a little bit of snow in Durham, along with ice underneath. Oh, you be careful now. Hope I get my car back up the hill after taking my granddaughter Darcy to school. Jackie says, we love the chatter. Makes my day really cheers up. And Mark says, morning, John. I love all your presenting. You are great from Margaret in Leamington Spa. Nand, what was I've got on my bottom here? Morning, please don't change your chatter and style of presenting. I watch because of it. Snowy Cumbria Jill. Ah, oh, thank you, Jill. Right, come on, hurry up and buy this, because I've got a lot to do. Right, OK, here's today's menu. Here's today's menu. Look at that while I'm walking across the other set. So coming up, I've got a launch. I've got a launch mode, a fabric launch at 8 o'clock now. Um, it's beautiful. It's called Sturdy Watering Cans, I think, isn't it? There are Sturdy Watering Cans in it. It's designed by Lady Rosenthal. What's her first name? April. How could I forget that? April Rosenthal. I don't know why I've brought my... I, my, brought my sh I haven't brought my... I've, oh, come on, John. They, you can't see what I'm doing, but I've walked across with my face mask, that's all. Right, Helen Newton's Doris tote bag is right behind me. There it is. Oh, no, I'll yeah, shall I show you? No, take, show your photo. There it is. There it is. There it is. Gorgeous photo. Um, I'm just rearranging the set now, everybody, just so you know what's going on, because Hannah said the bag's too low. Right, too high, sorry. Right, uh, then we've got books, patterns and tools at 10 o'clock. At uh, 11 o'clock, we get Take Two Fat Quarters. Now, it's Rebecca Harrison making it. But it's from a book by Wendy Gardner, or two books by Wendy Gardner. That's what we're making today. The scissor holder, scissor keeper and the apron. Uh, and then the last hour, what have they called the last hour? <laughs> Sewing machines. Right, OK, so I've shown you the pictures. Lovely Rebecca Harrison's with me today, so that'd be fab. We've known each other for like, <gasps> well, it must be 30-odd years. We'll work it out, let's think. Um, Mid, late 80s, early 90s. So what's that, 90 to 30 years? It's 30 years, isn't it? Anyway, um, shall we have a look? Right, now, first of all, there are three ways you can get in touch, right? The first one is by email. 
which is studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. The second one is on your Facebook Live, which is what I have here next to me, and I'll read some more of those out in a minute. And the third way is by the one that with the white square on my bottom, right? How you do that is you go to the website, you go to the website, go to, go to the website, click on watch live. There it is at the bottom, right? So you'll get a screen on the left hand side with me. There I am. On the right hand side, you see a little um, box there. You can just write a message there saying, hello, John. Uh, click on send me. Oh, hang on. I'm Hannah. Click on send message and you'll get little things and that will go through to Hannah and she'll put it in. Little, now, sometimes we get so many, please don't be upset if yours isn't, doesn't go in there. Right, now if you scroll down the page, there's the early bird that we just so did. Right, now at the moment, everything is on pre-order. What will happen as we introduce the items, they will go into two columns. There'll be one, I don't know what it's called, the one that, because we never see it, do we? And the other one on the right hand side is pre-order. So you can see everything from today's show. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's scroll down to see what we've got. All these beautiful, aren't uh, the sturdy, sturdy watching cans there? Uh, beautiful. Now it's just the blue and the green and the grey range that we have. Stunning, gorgeous. But and there's Hannah's bundles that she's made to go with it. There's the Helen Newton's tote bag that um, Rebecca's going to be making. Now, I'll talk to you about that one in a minute. Um, then we keep going, keep going, keep going. Then we've got all the quilt stuff, the quilting stuff and everything like that. Some of, oh, there's some of Mrs. Macadamia Nuts um, cushions. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, oh, crikey, there's lo Look at all this. This is all in today's show. Right, sewing machines, right? I need to tell you two things, right? You see the, keep going. Where is it? There, right, the dukey. We only have two left. We thought we'd sold out of them. We only have two left. And then that's it for the, for the foreseeable future. So if you've been waiting, I know lots and lots and lots of you've been saying, oh, I need that machine, I need that machine, I need that machine. It's the one that uh, Jenny Jackson's got. It's the one that Wendy Orlando's got. It's the one that Mark's got. It's the one that Gary loves so much. I know it's a considered purchase. You can get it on split pay. But it's really, really, really important that you know there's only two left. You can buy it now if you want it. If you've been waiting for it and you've seen Gary do the demonstration, then by all means come in and get it. Just buy it off the website. Because look, if it's um, items over 700 dollars time, you get by five split pay. Five split pays, you'll get that one over. All you do is no interest charge. You just literally divide the amount by five. Right, now there was something else I had to show you on. Oh, yes, I know. I know, I know. Can we go back to the um, pre-order? Um, pre Right at the very bottom, look, the amber makes, look, that's back in stock. There's a bumblebee one and vintage one. They are back in stock. They're back in stock. I've got the panels in 12 o'clock if you want to buy them now. Now, I have more of the bumblebee than I have of the vintage. Oh, right, they're already going and it's very limited already. Very, very limited already. I know, Rebecca, read right down at the bottom of pre-order. Right, let me, let me just do this and then I'll get on with my sew sewing. I'm not sewing, my selling. Uh, right, so uh, Jackie loves the chatter. Margaret loves the chatting. Take the notice, John. This is the best, biggest knit and natter. I love it. Meeting up with friends to craft. Stuart says, yes, we love the chat. Wouldn't be the same without it. Shelley says, morning, John. I love the fact we're all involved in the show. Laurie says, love the messages. Makes us feel part of the family. Sitting alone at home. You lift our spirits. Morning, Alan. Good morning, John and team. Please carry on reading messages. Make through all together. You are brilliant at multitasking our messages and selling the product. Thank you, Pauline. Susan says, good morning, John. Sent a message to the studio. Oh, did you, Susan? Was it an email or was it via the website? Oh, okay, right. She's got. Uh, there's an awful lot that've just come to. Can I also just tell you on Hannah's screen, right? She has space for ten messages. If more than ten people message in, yours drops off the bottom. We never see it again. We got an email from Patsy. Oh, Patsy loves the chatter. Kirsty says, "Morning, John. Please keep reading the message. I have you on whilst I'm working on my own. It feels like I've got company." Graham says, "Big hugs, John, and all my sewing street. For, uh, my stuffing came from Stone Street to do my hearts." Like the shirt, be safe. Juki is outstanding. Oh, Susan, it was the web. Susan sent it via the website. Susan, you might need to send it again. Send, 
Yeah, okay, let's start, let's start, let's start, let's start. Uh, Su Susan, send it to, oh, it's her birthday today and she's watching. That's what her message said. It's her birthday today. Right, let's do this. It comes in a mega bundle. Oh, okay, we bought as much of this um, fabric as we could in this collection. Right, there are only 10 mega bundles. Normally we have uh, multiples, multiple, multiple, multiples of them. We only have 10. You do get half meter for free. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17. Well, that's not nine meters, is it? Oh, hang on. Have you taken that green one off there to make your lilac bundle? No. <coughs> <coughs> hang on. Let one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Might be my bad. 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18. My bad. Sorry. Sorry. No. No, it'll be me. It'll be me. It won't be you, Hannah. There are definitely 18. So you get, so you get nine metres of fabric. <coughs> Excuse me. But you only pay for eight and a half. You only, so you get this one for free, really, or that one, but you get one for free. Now, I know £118.79 pence considered purchase, but you are getting nine metres of moda quality fabric. Okay, two have gone straight away. Two have gone immediately. We will not be able to create this mega bundle ever again. I, I know if you've looked up the range, there are reds and yellows and everything, but we decide to stay with the blue, grey and green tones with ours. It's beautiful. Count if Carol's watching, because it's lovely to stroke this. Oh, uh, there's Susan. Good morning, John and crew. Cold and crisp morning here in Derbyshire. It's my birthday today. I'm watching you bliss. Thank you, Susan, my lovely. It is nice to know you're all there. Um, <clears throat> happy birthday, Susan, says Princess. Oh, look, they're all saying happy birthday to you now. And the, Sue says, I love the chat. Makes all feel part of the morning, especially those of us who live alone. Oh, thank you, Sue. Good morning, John. Oh, no, hang on. Say that again. Okay, <clears throat> who's it from? I'm sorry, I'm coughing. <coughs> Michelle has messaged in saying, wanting to know about a blue tiled quilt we did in September. What you'll need to do, Sue, is email. I'll show you the email address. Oh, actually, that's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> She's not in the right place, is she? While you look at the email, I'll just move her slightly. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The, the message says, is the blue tiled quilt... Dell. Oh, I don't know if we've still got it. I don't. Did, I was. Oh no, I wasn't here in September. Not guilty. Uh, if you send an email in, in my lovely, we'll try and find out for you. We will try and find out for you. So, someone boob. Yes, they did, didn't they? <laughs> Very clever. June, good morning, John and crew from a very sunny Eastbourne. It was sunny where I was yesterday. It was beautiful yesterday. Anyway, look, 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 look. Mega bundle. I only had 10. I think I've only got. Right. We've got people got it in their baskets. Two have gone and other people got them in baskets. Maybe you get half a metre for free if you buy it like that. All these fabrics are available by the half metre. We cannot remake this because we've run as we've put as much into the mega bundle as we possibly could, which means that some of these must be limited by themselves. Some of these are very, very limited by themselves. Right, I'm just going to divide them into designs. Let's do sturdy watering cans. Oh, yes, we'll do Hannah's little bundles first. Oh, crikey, why? Okay, right, let me just do this. I'm just sorting them out into designs. That one's that design. Right, okay, I'm just putting it into design. So when we go through them by the half meter, we can keep designs together. There we go, there we go. Right, Hannah's made you some little bundles here. 
Right, she's done bundles for tomorrow as well, and she's a little bit concerned about them. Right, this is the first bundle. So you get half a metre of the floral. Lilac from, now this is not the same make, this is Rose and Hubble, this one. So you get 10.99, half metre, half metre. Homestead purple flowers, that, is it really called purple flowers? Because um, they're not purple to start with. Be truthful, gentle and fearless. Ooh. Prairie grass. I'll have to wait and see what it's really called. Oh, no, it is called Purple Flowers. There you go. We have got that fabric coming up by the half metre if you want to make a frock out or something. But this is a nice little bundle. Half metre and half a metre. Uh, Carol says she's loving the show from Castleford. I do like you on Sewing Street. You make me smile. When does the John Scott show start on Thursday? Carol, we've been doing it for 20 weeks now. This is the 20, 20th show. 20th show. Finishes in six shows. Right, okay. And then I've got another bundle here, which won't be called Purple Flowers. I'm presuming this one's called Blue Flowers. It's called Blue Flowers. Oh, no, I like that one. I like that one. Picking up the yellow from the centre of the flowers in the... Um... Well, you can always pop across the road to the warehouse. 10.99. Okay, and then we've got a little complimentary bundle here. Complimentary going, meaning going with, not free. It's called Navy and Grey Tonal. <coughs> Navy and Grey Tonal bundle, 1.5 metres. Half metre, half metre, half metre. Right, let's start, let's start, let's start then with the real collection from a a April Rosenthal, who lives in a gorgeous house with her twins and her husband. Her sweet, her, she married a school, um, schoolboy sweetheart from school. Well, no, she, a sweetheart, school, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, that's not the right word though, is it? You know what I mean? They fell in love at school and they're now married. They've got twins. She home birthed. She keeps them well with using essential oils. She wears a lot of aprons. She sits on the porch because she now lives in the suburbs looking over the mountains rather than the... We this is where she lives. On Instagram, that's where she lives. I like that rainbow thing. Is that rainbow thing in her garden? Or was oh, it's a hot air balloon. Oh, I see it's not in her garden then. Oh, she's got a gorgeous Instagram page. So she's called April Rosenthal. Are we allowed to show the Instagram? There you go. Oh, chickpeas, look. There you go. Right. Thank you, April. These are gorgeous uh, flowers, all inspired by sitting on her porch. She loves fabric, she loves cooking, and she loves bread and cheese. And there was something else. What was the other thing? We The what? Oh, yes, yes. And Hannah was reading out while I was cleaning my teeth. Hannah wasn't in the bathroom with me. I had my earpiece in. And I heard her say sour beer. And I was going to say, oh, she's like, April likes sour beer. But that's not her. That's Hannah. Right, let's do these two first. Then you've seen them already in the bundles. We've got flowers in blue and we've got flowers in grey. Blue one first. Okay, there's only 10 metres of this left already. There's only 10 metres of this left already. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, how many colours are in there? Surely not all those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 colours. <laughs> it's lovely. Oh, it's only 6 99 Six ninety nine for a Moda fabric. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've started coughing. It's, as soon as I come in here, I start coughing. I'm allergic to Hannah, obviously. Hannah, I'm not most men. <coughs> 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 
<laughs> Beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, stickers come off. Now, obviously, now uh, you can multiply. If you buy the me if you buy the mega bundle, you just get half a meter of each. If you buy the little bundles, you just get half a meter each. This is where, if you want three meters to make a frock, you can buy three meters to make a frock. Do you know? What? I think that might be upside down. There you go. That's better. It's not multi-directional. It does have a direction. This fabric, good for fussy cutting, good for borders, maybe. It's lovely, isn't it? Carol says, hello, John, you are helpful and considerate in all your interactions. It may be considered as wittering by some, but insightful by others. Oh, Carol, thank you very much. Thank you. It's because I live on my own. You see, I've got nobody to talk to. You know, now I've not got no cats to talk to. Just me. I talk to people on the telly. OK, I'm moving on now to flowers on grey. To Elliot. I forgot what? Oh. Oh, have I got water for my coffee? I thought he said, have you got water for the coffee? Not for, he's worried about me, not them. I'm fine, I always have my water here. But it's this, it's your air condition needs cleaning out. That's what it is, Elliot. I'm blaming Elliot, everybody. Write to Elliot and say, get the air conditioning cleaned. Okay, Pardon? Okay. <laughs> that was him in his funny accent saying, I came in to make sure you were all right. Oh. Not from home. He didn't come in from home to check I was okay. He's got to be here to work. Uh, now, you know what? I thought I was going to like the blue one best when I opened out. I like this one best out of those two. How much of this have I got? Oh, only nine meters, this one left. Uh, Janet says it's my birthday as well today. Happy birthday, Janet. Uh, on the 8th of uh, February, I had about 30 friends all had their birthday on the same day. They didn't all get cards. They, didn't, they got Facebook messages. I thought he said he'd brought water in for your coffee. And anyway, isn't it gorgeous? Love it, love it, love it. Moving on. Next one. Which one do you want to go to next then? Sturdy watering cans. That's not what it's called, but she describes it as she loves her life because it's flowers, mountains and sturdy watering cans. Three different colourways. I only have six metres of the grey one already. I'll do that one first then, shall I? This reminds me of like Riley Blake fabric, doesn't it? Like Ray Riley Blake designs this. There you go. Oh, it's just got watching cans on grey. Not that sturdy. I, um, I need a new watching can actually. Because my the pink one I've had for about twenty years, or more than twenty years now, has died. Just fell to pieces. And the one inside the spout fell off. But I can still use it. It came as a team, it came it came as a matching pair. You got a big pink one for outside and a little pink one for indoors. From Squires Nurseries in Twickenham it was. Lulu said, no, it's got a crack in the bottom. All the water comes out the bottom. Morning, John. Lovely to see you. I love your witterings. You always make me smile. Thank you very much indeed, Lulu. Lulu. A message from Karen. Morning, everyone. John, could you tell me how big is the flower? Oh, on the purple homestead, please. Snowing hard in Derbyshire. Love, Karen. Oh, yes, Karen. Of course, again, I'll stop with the, with the sturdy watering cans. There's only three metres left. Three metres left. Uh, purples, she said, didn't she? Purple flowers. How big are the flowers, did she say? Is that what the question was? Oh. Now, I left a tape measure hanging from there. Apron pocket. Oh, yeah. Is that ours? Yeah. No, 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 because there was a picture of it at home, wasn't there, in um, Rebecca's home. 
and I thought it might have, she might have put it in front. Right, hang on, where are we? Could you come in a bit closer? They're three inches across that way, Karen, and three inches down that way. Okay, Hannah's saying if, you buy, if you're buying multiple units for dressmaking, things like that, or, or for a big quilt, I'd be swift because it's going fast. Okay. So how much of that one have I got left now then? Seven metres of that one left now. And that's at uh, 20 to 9 on Tuesday morning. This colour is gorgeous. Now, you see, I'd put these two together. I love those two colours together. Look. So this is watching, oh, it's just called green. Watching can on green. It's lovely, isn't it? I hate Tuesdays when I was at work. Now at home, I love it because you're on the telly. Oh, that's nice, Claire. Thank you. I am at work. Susie says, uh, oh, Susie Duncan. Morning, everyone. Loving the shirt today. Thank you, Susie. Thank you for your lovely email. I just got it now before I came on air. The watching cans would make a nice shirt for you, John. Are you offering, Rebecca? Carol says, morning, all. Message across my bottom. Morning, John. It was my birthday yesterday. Strange day, but lots of Facebook messages made up for it. Lots of love, Beverly in Leicestershire. Oh, happy birthday for yesterday, my love. I think a lot of creative people were born on February. Was it the 8th yesterday? Yeah, yeah, so it was yesterday. My friend uh, Jennifer, her birthday yesterday. Okay, now moving on, I've got it in the blue, which is like, like a lovely French navy. Oh, that's nice. What was that funny noise for, Hannah? Okay, so she went, I said I'd make, I'd have a frock made out of that. A really lovely wrap, a wrap frock would look lovely in that, wouldn't it? A wrap around frock. Um, obviously not a stretchy one because it's uh, cotton. Um, a, a nice Fiona Hesford top would look gorgeous in that. Um, Hannah's saying a kneeling pad for the garden. Bunting for your, for your, for your she shed. Oh, your clock's fast. It's only 8.30, says Maureen. Is it? What time, what time does it say it is in there? Uh, oh, the computer says 8.33. Mine says nearly quarter to nine now on my clock in here. Yeah, so mine's very... F I was thinking, blimey, that's gone quickly. Yeah, thank you, Maureen. Little Paul knocked over and smashed the glass, and we were, we were going to get a new one. Elliot was ordering a new one. Elliot? Oh, and Elliot, while you're at it, can we have dishwasher cleaner, please? June says, John, you've been a lifesaver and a constant companion during these uncertain times. Living alone, you're the only person I chat with, albeit online. Oh, June, but don't forget, June, I'm coming around to stay in your spare room when this is all over. Oh, Derek thinks it'd be nice as a waistcoat. Margaret! What language is that, my lovely? Dakanine. Oh, no, is that an anthesan there? Oh, there's Elliot. So, Elliot, we'd like... What was it we asked Elliot for just now? Dishwasher. Don't you walk in front of the camera. Dishwasher cleaner. Oh, that clock. You're supposed to be replacing that clock for me. Do you remember? About seven months ago. Oh, no, I haven't been here seven months yet, have I? Is it working? It's fast. I just read out the time, and the viewers have said it was the wrong time. But you did promise me... Oh, and he's got trousers on. You normally wear shorts, don't you? Thank you for following up with that. <laughs> no, no, he hasn't been around my house without his trousers on, don't you worry. I think Amy's missus might have something to say about that. But she's been around my house with no trousers on. <laughs> oh, there's only, now look, all my wittering, there's only three metres, this one left. Yeah, they're all buying it, trying to shut me up. Get him off that one, move on. Oh, trousers in that would nice. Not on Elliot. Not on Elliot, no, but they'd look nice. White, white, wide leg 
Summer pants would look lovely in that, wouldn't they? Well, there's only three metres left, though, so no. This one, you mean? So this one comes in three different colourways. As I say, we've only got the blue and, and grey and green in this. We haven't got any of the reds or yellows. Oh, Hannah thinks it looks like Moroccan tiles, this. Have you been to Morocco, Hannah? No. <laughs> Yeah, Paul went on a day trip to Africa from Spain. Yeah, and he said, he, he, he said, oh, I've been to Africa. They went on a day trip. Most of the day was spent on the ferry going over there. Went to Marrakesh, got back on the ferry and came back again. I've done two films in Morocco, so I've seen a lot in Morocco. Thank you, Elliot. Don't be doing that. I'm not showing off. <laughs> oh, he's so rude to me. And he's, he's supposedly management as well. Go on. Be off with you. I'm busy working. <laughs> right, so what's this one called? Crosses on blue. <laughs> well, actually, that's untrue because it's actually on white. And the crosses are in that. Well, anyway, it's lovely though. I do like this one. Handbag. Oh, actually, the tote bag we're doing later would look nice in this. Look. Wouldn't it? I think that's lovely. Uh, it's lovely quilting on it. Hannah say maybe echo the quite square shape. That'd be very small quilting because they'd bump into each other. Yeah. Six ninety nine for half a meter. Lisa, morning, John. Isolating alone in a caravan. Water pipe frozen. <gasps> But got enough for one cup, so glad I've got you to keep me company, Lisa. Oh, Lisa, I've bought, and that looks so silly. My next door neighbours made his own out of like rubber piping and things like that. I've bought a waist, a, 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 a tap glove for the outside <laughs> glove, uh, for the outside tap, and you put it round it and you tie a bit of Velcro. So sticking out the wall in my back garden is like this like poofy little. I don't mean it's poofy. I mean it's poof, poofed up like that. Anyway. Yeah, Hannah just pours boiling water over hers, which I don't think you're meant to do. Uh, morning, John. Loving the fabrics. They are beautiful, aren't they, Hillary? I'll move on now, though. My roof has start today, so I've left the scaffold. Oh, the scaffold is. Do you know what? I got home on Saturday after work. The scaffolding gone up. They've trampled half my front garden, but that's by the by. Um, so I've left them tea, coffee, milk and sugar, mugs, a nice box of um, Marks and Spencer's biscuits. I've sanitised the downstairs loo and I've left the heating on for them because it's going to be freezing on the roof, isn't it? So they can come into the house to warm up later on. Oh, no, because you can't, you can't be in, in there. With, mind you, they're outside, so it doesn't matter, but... I like this one. This one, it's exactly the same fabric, but it doesn't have a different feel to it. No, you're not allowed to make them coffee, really, but I've sanitised everything. Oh, well, that's right. Hannah went and bought them posh coffee from the posh coffee shop. That, not much in by my builders. She bought, she's had a new bathroom fitted. Six ninety nine. Well, you sort of are. She loves, them. Uh, she loves a postman and a man who can build. Not one in particular, just she, uh, the genre, the genre. She, of all the uniformed men she could choose, she'd choose a postman. Right, oh, this is, now let's have a look what this is going to look like from a distance. Because again, it's the same pattern, but look at the colour. Oh, that's nice. Right, watching cans is about to sell out in all colours. Green one looks 1940s, doesn't it? Oh, do you know what was on telly last night? One of my praros was on telly last night. And it brought back such memories. It was like, I could remember, because Praro's inside of Praro's flat was in Twickenham Studios. But I just remember being at all the different locations and everything. It was so lovely to watch. It was my first, that was my first proper job, first freelance job. That's lovely, the grey and white, isn't it? It's very subtle. I think I'd use that as a background. 
on a quilt, I mean, you know. I had the roofers round yesterday, like you, scaffolding up, lots of noise, but they're not back today because the weather is too bad. Oh, maybe mine won't turn up then. They better add to all the bother. I've, I've even hoovered the kitchen. I was, I was putting all the stuff out yesterday and I suddenly looked and I thought, oh. well, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I think the thing is, their they're, roofers are sturdy, aren't they? They'll work in all weathers. Next. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this one's selling already without me even showing it to you. Oh, it's pretty though, isn't it? Two different colours. Doing the grey first. Okay, buy half a metre and make a hair scrunchie, says Hannah. I'm seeing kitchens. Emma's friend makes scrunchies for dance schools. This one's called Daisies on Checkered Grey. Like Hannah's past that, a checkered past. Pretty, isn't it? So cute, this one. I'm thinking that um, April must have such a lovely life because she spends the day baking, designing fabric, looking after her children. Did, does it say how old her children are? So, oh, they're six. Oh, when she wrote the blog that we read this morning, yeah. Oh, uh, Julie said, I love Miss Lemon's blue dress. Do you know what, Julie? All of Miss... All of Miss Lemon's clothes, 99.9% .9 of Miss Lemon's clothes were all original 1930s frocks because she was so petite and little and everything, she could fit into them all. Oh no. Message from Carol on my bottom. Morning, John. What do you suggest for a first pattern of clothing for a beginner? Lovely to see you on telly. Oh, thank you, Carol. Um, now, I would choose a Fiona Hesford, to Hesford top. It's So Girl, she's called, isn't she? Go and look on the website, because they're, they're very, very simple, straightforward shapes. You don't want anything too complicated, and don't make it, make it out of a stable cotton. Don't be doing a viscose or anything like that to begin with. Um, just go. In fact, what was the dress that... We had a dungaree dress on the other day that Clive did. Oh, that sold out. Don't get that one, then. There's a top we had the other day, but she's got other tops as well. And we're doing a... Oh, actually, um, Adele's doing one of her tops, I think, at the weekend. Or well, she's doing a dress. She might be doing a dress. But look up So Girl, either on, what, on our website. Go to our website. Look up So Girl. And um, they're very, very good. Because they're... St oh, she has a lovely kimono. She has a really lovely kimono. So you could do that one. Yeah, yeah. And on her blog, So Girl blog, she's got lots of information as well. Right, this is the blue version. Oh, Alice and Marion, this will mean I've done something wrong, won't it? I watched Pro with my mum last night and was explaining to her about you saying about the props and the years they represent. There you go. You see, some, some people listen to me. Well, so if you've got a pink bathroom, or well, you will have. Yeah, but what pink have you got in your bathroom? Oh, like a, yours is a really, really soft pink. Mine is the brightest fuchsia pink you could imagine i've got tiles that you know the shaped tiles are to this shape shiny white tiles all around them the, the top half is bright bright pink and then i've got a beautiful frosted glass lamp just on the wall by the bar so you can have well, it's got a string it's got a string that you pull to switch it on it's not too cold for the roofers but it's too cold for their compound. Oh, oh, mate. Well, I think my roofer will come to put through because he's got to take the take the tiles off. He's got to reset all the lead flashing, then put the tiles back on, and then he's got to redo the mortar. So maybe he can carry on with that, can't he? Maybe it'll be the mortar. Yeah, that's right. If you're bricklaying, it's too cold. If it's too cold, the, the glue won't stick together. No, it's not called glue. Mortar, mortar, mortar. Let's carry on with this one. What's which one next? Would you like Hannah? Yeah, little squares with shadows in the blue. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Remember when we, well, when we were at Sewing Quarter, you used to follow us at Sewing Quarter, we did a quilt right back in the early days by the D Designer Guild of the British Isles, do you remember? And they, they used to have, they had fabrics like that. And they all had girls' names, didn't they? Well, people's names. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's, from, well, it's a design that's been around for a long time, I think. Right, which one would I do first? Grey background, so it's this one. Now I think I'd only use this as a, as a oh it's quite nice though, it makes it look um, 3D almost, doesn't it? I love Poirot with a passion, John. Have visited Agatha Christie's holiday home in Devon, it's amazing. Does it look lovely with the grey flowers? Yes it will do, won't it look? That should have been your bundle, Hannah. It's called White Small Squares on Grey. It's not that one you're doing, it's this one. Lowe's just tuned in. Yeah, where have you been, says Hannah. Was that Emma? Hannah. I know you're very different people, but you sound alike when you come muffling down my earpiece. Right, which one next? I've got grey squares and blue squares. Grey squares on cream. <gasps> right, it's only seven metres of this one. You see, now this would make a really stylish, like Prada-esque dress, this one. No, no, blouses look nice. In fact, we need to invest in, uh, I was thinking this yesterday because I'm helping the um, scheduling department choose fabrics from the dresses in the future. And we've got a lot of that viscosity fabric. We haven't done a pussy blow blouse, have we yet? Not here, I haven't anyway. Oh, before I started, we did. Good morning, John. Love it, we're on. Sorry, I'm late. That's all right, Low. don't worry. Will the large quilted bag behind you be made on the show? Yes, in 15 minutes. This one. That one, 15 minutes. Rebecca's here to do it in 15 minutes. Not Rebecca Reed, Rebecca Harrison, who I've known. We got Rebecca Reed needle cases, Amber make needle cases in the last hour, and they're flying out, just so you know. They're on pre-order underneath. They're on pre-order underneath me. We're not doing a demo, just happen to have them back in stock, but we can give you the date of the demo. Then I've got the blue squares. Oh, does it? I think it's more sophisticated than that. Hannah's thinking like babies things. She's saying like she'd use it with solids in a quilt. Can we come in a bit closer, Emma, please? There you go. Gorgeous. It's lovely because it makes it look 3D, doesn't it, with the shadow behind it? Small, blue small squares on white, this one's called. Right, next. I've got some stripy ones. Now, they look like ticking. They look like, the way they've printed them up, look, they look like ticking. I'll just show you very quickly. Blue and white. I've got seven and a half metres of both of these left, that's all. You've been very busy shopping this morning. Do the blue one first. You could do nice, not, not, not tailored trousers, but nice loose trousers you can make out of that. Holiday trousers you can make out of that. Now, it might strobe a little bit on your, oh no, it's all right. Dotty stripes. Yeah, but the ones in the middle aren't. Oh, yeah, some of them are. It is like a checkerboard, isn't it? Big duffel bag, Hannah saying. I think it'd be nice if you made a wool worsted uh, duffel bag and use this as the under flap lining, so you see it with the, and the, the kind of trim on it. Be nice. Mr. Mange. 
Uh, morning, John. I love all the chat and the tidbits. Makes me feel part of a friend's group and not so alone. Love all the teams, but you are my favourite. Thank you, Ange. Angela, sorry, Angela. Oh, now, Lisa. <coughs> Lisa had a message about her caravan earlier. Uh, so lovely waking up to the sound of your voice, John. Also frozen up in my caravan. So cold, but your presence warms it up. Oh, Carol. Why? I thought Somerset was always warm. I'm in Somerset on Thursdays. <coughs> Whereabouts in Somerset are you, Carol? Because I go there every... I go to Winscombe. Winscombe every Thursday. Right, another white one. There you go. 100% cotton, machine washable, 44 inches wide. Hannah would like a big bag made out of this. With a what? With a tassel on it and her name embroidered. Cheryl says, morning everyone, still in bed, I'm afraid. I didn't have the best of nights. Can you remember who made the sensory cushions? Yes, it was Mama. Alison, Marion, Marion, Alison, it was. Oh, no. Ch yeah, Cheryl, she's on this chat now. Because I don't think we've got any left, have we? Mess message her. She's on, she's on the Facebook chat now, Cheryl. Message her. Sheila says, morning, John. Love your shirt. Oh, Sheila, I'm so sorry. She lost her mum last week and she was a big fan of yours. She never missed your show. I've inherited my love of craft from her. Oh, Sheila, what you have to do is you have to do it in her memory now and love every minute of it. Lucy says, morning, lovely John. Thank you. So, Cheryl, make sure you message um, Mama Bebe in here. Looks like ticking, doesn't it? It isn't. Do what, what? Right, so now I've got one with icons on. Oh, vegetables! I can see an aubergine. Now, it's really funny, right? We sold those wooden buttons, right? And the, I keep finding on my landing an aubergine wooden button. And then I don't pick it up, thinking I'll pick that up later. And then it disappears. Then a few weeks later, it's suddenly on another... Sh I didn't take any of them home. What happened was I opened the packet in the, on the show and put them in my pocket so I didn't lose them. Then when I shook my clothes, I had to put them in the washing machine. They obviously fell out and the aubergine fell on the floor. Which colour would you like to do first? Okay, here we go. There's a, there's a turnip on there as well and a tomato. <coughs> carrots doing a, you know, fighting carrots. I'm not quite sure what that's meant to be. That's not a pumpkin, is it? Like a squash, a good. What's that there then? Oh, hang on, I can't see him shot. That. My bouquet garnet didn't work very well of rosemary at the weekend. It burst when I made my pasta e fagioli. Oh, can you buy them? Oh, yeah, I made it myself and it burst open. Where did you get it from? Oh, no, I didn't, well, didn't have them in Waitrose. Yeah, yeah, that's what I put it in. I, I cut up a bit of muslin and put it in that, but it didn't tie it hard enough and it burst. Oh, well, darling, you know. My pasta e fagioli is well known. It's not as good as Carluccio's, though. Theirs is delicious. Yeah, I can't go there, can I, at the moment? Right, same fabric on cream. I'd be tempted to colour these in. If you've got your fabric pens. Make a bag for your vegetables in your kitchen. Homestead vegetables on white. Oh, on white they call it. it no. It's definitely a cream, it's not white, this one. I love the little dots in the background. Susan says, John, don't stop doing what you do so well. You brighten our day and make us smile. Basically, we all love you, Sue. Oh, thank you, Sue, in Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. 
And a quick message from Leslie. Uh, morning, John, from a very snowy Surrey this morning. Three days of snow now and it's getting quite deep. Oh, Leslie, whereabouts in Surrey are you? Near Richmond? I used to live in Twickenham, you see. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Mama Bebe. Oh, hang on. What does Sue say here? Schwartz do bouquet garnet using boxes with other herb jars. Oh, I might look at those on the internet then. Right. Oh, now I've got a quick question to ask you, right? I've heard about, it was on the radio the other day, a man who bought some um, figurines from the Long River. And when they arrived, he didn't know, but they'd come from Germany. And the figurines only cost like £50, but the tax on them was like £112 or something like that. How do I know if I'm buying it from Amer if I'm buying it from a different country? And how can I say I only want to buy from the UK on Amazon? Can I do that? Oh, the Long River. Sorry, the Long River. Oops. Well, no, only because I buy my like. Th this sounds very boring, but I buy my shampoos and my soaps in bulk from Amazon because they're cheaper than they are from the, the shop. And then they arrive, and then I've got them in a cupboard. All year. But I know that my soap comes from France, you see, and I don't want to suddenly order all this soap and then find that it would have been cheaper to go to Boots, you know what I mean? Right, this is gorgeous. Now, I think that this sprig is the same as the one in the middle of the gingham. You know the gingham one we had at the beginning? No, take, I'll take it back. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, look at... It's, it sort of goes beautifully. It's not the same, but it goes beautifully with it. 44 inches, all these fabrics are 44 inches wide. Who asked for it, sorry? Sandra, they're all 44 inches wide, machine washable, 100% cotton quilting weight fabrics. All by Moda and they're all now limited. Uh, Susie says, great for gardening aprons or mini seed drawing bags. Do you know what they are? Just started snowing in Devon, don't think it'll be much. Snowing in Lincolnshire. It's not, it stopped snowing here now. It stopped snowing. Was, and when we arrived, when um, Emma and I arrived this morning, she, not Hannah, no, she doesn't drive. Emma, um, she parked in a different place. I thought, oh, what's she doing there? She didn't park in a normal spot. She couldn't see any of the lines, she said. So she's went as close to the fence as she could. Because it's thick like that in our car park, because our car park doesn't get gritted. And then we got out the car and these great big snowflakes started falling. And I was like, it's not meant to snow today. It stopped now. Six ninety nine. This is gorgeous. Mega bundle, which is hard now. Some of these fabrics you can only now get in the mega bundle because then they've been sold out on their own. Watering cans. You cannot get watering cans on their own. We can't replace it. We can't rebuy it. We can't redo it. Don't know what the word I was looking for then. And there are four mega bundles left. You get nine meters of fabric but you only pay for eight and a half. The, now, obviously, <coughs> if you go looking for uh, um, Aprils and things, this is only the blue, green and grey section. They do come in reds and yellows and everything like that, but I don't know where you'd get them from. We only saw the pre-cuts. We, have, we haven't seen them in the half metre. OK, Lucy said, why does John call Alice and Marion that? OK. When I first started here and somebody said, oh, could you mention this? I couldn't remember if she was called Marion Allison or Alison Marion because she's got two first names, hasn't she? So I just called her Marion Allison. So I then went, oh, that's like Mama. And I was watching a TV programme at the time, which I won't say the name of because it sounds like it's rude and it might offend somebody. But the second word is creek, right? And they go, um, the, the, the mum in that one goes, Mama, bebe. And that's why I say Mary and Alison, Mama, Baby. I know it's weird, isn't it? It's weird if you haven't seen it. I do hope your big walk boss watches you and see all the love you receive. You're worth every penny they pay you and more. Oh, thank you, June. Uh, they won't. And then Kath says, a few flakes of snow in Chandler's Ford, nothing much. Oh, mega bundle. There's how many left? Three? Did you say? Oh, four, sorry, four. Four left, four left, four left. No. I've got two little bundles here that Hannah's... Oh, oh, sorry, I missed that out of you, Mega Bundle. That comes to you, Mega Bundle. Um, these are two bundles that Hannah's created for you very quickly before we go to a break. Yeah, they're all right. Oh, Lucy says it makes a giggle. That's why she wants to know. Right, OK, so there you go. So you get half of me... This is not, this is not April Rosenthal. 
this old moda, this is a uh, uh, rose and hubble, lilac, and this is your grey flowers. You get a half a metre of each. Ten ninety nine, and then I've got this one here, the blue and yellow one. No, just double check. Okay. This is cornflower yellow. Ten ninety nine. I'm just packing up because we Okay. Yeah. And shall I do the tonal one quickly before we go? Morning John from Durham. Managed to tune in. I'm minding my grandchildren day. Granddaughter day, sorry, and she's sleeping. Oh. Oh, hang on. Somebody's calling me weird and mad. Weird but mad and funny too, John. Thank you, Margaret. Say it as it is. We know it's true. There you go. You get half metre, half metre, half metre. That's 10.99 as well, look. And you get three in there. Right, we're going for a break. After the break, Rebecca Harrison is here. She hasn't been in since the 4th of January. Uh, she's making this bag. Oh, sorry, no, that bag. Ow, 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 ow. It's already selling out. We've got, we've got bundles. We've got, we've got bundles. We've got the pattern on its own as well, haven't we? Or have we? Oh. Okay, if you want the pattern on its own, it's been so busy this first hour, people buying it to go with these fabrics. You get the pattern in the bundles, but we've only got 10 patterns left on their own. So if you want the pattern for that on its own, then I would buy it during this break now. I would go on to pre-order and buy it to break. Okay, we will, we will see you with Rebecca Harrison here in about three minutes from now. Hi, I'm Rebecca Harrison. I live in Bromyard in Herefordshire with my three children and my dog. Um, I've been sewing for uh, over 30 years um, I first started um, at school, um, we always did lots of sewing and my mum used to sew at home as well, so that's where my love of sewing has come from. My background is in costume, as I'm sure you can see, um, and I, I make for film and theatre and TV. I've worked on films such as Titanic, Shakespeare in Love, Evita, James Bond, um, and theatre work, I've done things like Mary Poppins, Guys and Dolls, Prince of Egypt. Um, I've also worked for the Royal Opera House and the Royal Ballet. Um, when I worked at Angels, I was lucky enough to meet lots of film stars. They're all uh, walking around the building and in fittings. Um, and some of the people that I bumped into and met were Sir Richard Attenborough, um, Hugh Grant, Imelda Staunton, Juliette Binoche, um, and I even got in the lift with Christopher Lee. Um, and that's where I met the lovely John Scott, which obviously you all know. Um, I'm really pleased to be joining Sewing Street. I can't wait to see you all. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us.
Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. We've got a Helen Newton design now. Um, Rebecca Harrison's here to show you how to make it. I'll introduce her in a second if you've not met her before. But let's have a look at the bag, a picture of the bag. Just coming up now. There it is. Lovely little two-tone tote bag. Very useful, very quiet. And it's bigger, it's deceptive. How You'll get a lot of potatoes in there. Right, before we meet Rebecca, let me introduce the bundles that we have for you. So that one there is made of this fabric. This is Liberty. Right, one fabric is Liberty, sorry, and the other is, is Rose and Hubble. So this is the first one. Let me move those out of the way. So this is uh, Liberty Teal Doris. Oh, no, Doris is the name of the bag. I don't know what the fabric's called. Hang on. It's called... It's from the Winterbourne collection, Nettle Fold, this one's called. You've got a metre of that, and you get a metre of the grey. You get your interfacing, and you get your instructions. All you need to put in there is thread and a sewing machine. Or you can, yeah, yeah, thread and a sewing machine. Uh, obviously, we don't supply those. How much is it? £34.99. That's to do the one that's on the desk now. The one that Rebecca is going to be demonstrating, I love this one, is this one here. Now, I've not seen this fabric before. So you get a metre of the grey, a metre of the pink, the instructions, and you get the interfacing. Um, now, oh, oh. I think that somebody's not putting as much glue on the stickers as the... Not our, oh, maybe we've changed the supply. Oh, there it is. What's it gone? Right, hang on. So this is, it's called the Spirit to Create. Oh, no, that's the, what they, no, it's not called that. Adelaide Grove, this is from Free Spirit. Sydney Dot, I don't remember this one. Apparently I've seen it before. I've not seen it. I don't remember seeing this one. Yeah, this wasn't in here. Anyway, look, sorry, I'm getting carried away. You get a metre of this, a metre of this interfacing and instructions. That's one you're going to see being made. I'll fold that up properly in a second when Rebecca starts. Then we've got this one here, which has got two different... Now, I do remember this fabric. I have had this fabric before. A metre of, of each of the stripes, plus the uh, interfacing, plus the uh, pattern. Sorry. It's nice, isn't it? And uh, what Rebecca was saying in prep earlier is maybe if you did the stripe going one way on the bottom of the bag and then the other way on the other side, you know, so you use them like that and like that, they'd look quite nice as well, wouldn't they? Then you'd have to match, because otherwise you're going to have to be matching stripes. And Yeah, I think you'd have to match stripes if you did it that way, wouldn't you? Now, now the next one, um, I won't be offended if you don't like this one. It's... It's because, no, no, it's because on the website, these two fabrics look very, very different, right? But in real life, they're quite similar. Um, I don't know what it looks like, really. No, that's the one on the internet looks like that. Anyway, look, so you get the, um, uh, I don't know what make it is, sorry, uh, I know it's batik, but I'm just trying to remember if it was the... Is it, it's not barley pop, is it? I hasn't got anything on the thing. Anyway, you get two batiks, but they are very, very similar. So what I'm suggesting with this one 
is maybe you get the kit, right, the bundle, and then you take one of them out and you've got a lovely fabric. Oh, actually. Oh, it is that Bella Hoffman batik. Hang on. I'm just wondering if any of the fabrics from earlier might work with it. I don't think so because we didn't have any brown ones, did we? But do you know what I mean? You, then you can have this this to go in another project. Do you know what I mean? Because if you're as bad as me, you'll have other fabrics at home that, you know. Anyway, £39.99. So that's it. That's all I'm going to show you for now. So, uh, good morning, Rebecca. Good morning. Uh, I was trying to explain in the first hour, how many years have we known each other? Oh, crikey. Um... 94? Oh, I, oh, I say 94, 104, 114. <laughs> so nearly 30 years. Yeah. I say 30 years. Yeah. That's terrifying. It is, it? isn't it? Because we're both so young. <laughs> what now? No, you're young now. Well, I'm not. No, no, I was 50 last year. You were not. I was. I was 60 last I, year. Well, exactly. You were not. <laughs> <laughs> See, we look great, don't we? Oh. <laughs> But have fun. So, so just so you know, like um, I was a freelance costume supervisor, and Rebecca worked in Angels. Co oh, actually, it's in it's in, in the, the work film, room. isn't yeah, it? You mentioned yeah, the film. in the workroom. And you worked on a lot of the costumes that Lindy designed and Sandy designed yeah. and everything like that. And then you worked with all the other big stars as well, everything like that. Yeah, and yeah. I used to pop into the workroom, say hello, and have a chat with everybody and things like yeah, that. Yeah, you were lovely. Oh, I've changed now. I've now no, bitter and twisted. No, you're still now. lovely. <laughs> you're still lovely. Anyway, it's lovely to see you. And you You've as well. You've not been since the fourth of January, have you? So no, I seen you no, it's been a long well, I, I wasn't even time. in that day. I was in, you know, I haven't seen you since Sewing Court today. No, so. I know. Coming right. Back. So, where is this an advanced, intermediate, or beginners pro project? Um, would say? I would say beginners. It's it's the instructions are, are really well written out. I think it's I think it's quite easy to follow. Yeah. Um, and it's a it's one of those all in one. So so you make up your two pieces. And then you you do the right sides together, go all the way round, turn it in. Uh, um, you know, um, what am I what trying, trying to say? To say? What am I trying to say? Um, it's, so it's inside out. So you leave you leave a gap. You turn it all. Bag it through. Yeah. Bag it through. Yeah. yeah. And um, and it's all in. What, and I think I think it's quite you know quite an easy good make really. And it's a, a nice bag as well. Nice it's lovely. Bag, it? yeah. It's really nice, and it's really nice to make as well. Nice and simple Good. to make. So, Would, yeah. Could you do it in an afternoon or in a day? Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so definitely. what are you going to show us then? So um, I've cut, obviously cut out um, the pieces. So you've got, you've got all that very clearly in the instructions. Let me bring that down. There you go. Brilliant. Thank um, you. Uh, very clearly marked out in the instructions. So you've got, you've got it in inches and in centimetres. So, you know, depending on ha uh, what, what you're happier working in. Yeah. Um, so you, you decide which way you want your fabrics to go, which colourway you want, um, and then cut two out of each. And then you've got your uh, your panels for your interfacing, your iron-on interfacing, and your pattern for your strap. Right. So you can either... I mean, what I did, I just marked it out on the fabric, but if you wanted to actually do a pattern for it, then you you, um, you could. Yeah. You know, and I said to you earlier. Is I've, it just so? Is it just square? Are you just cutting out squares and you just, oblongs? Yeah, it's just it's just re it's just two two big rectangles really. So oh, let, okay. let me open that out. So oh, okay. we're like we're like that. Obviously, oh, I've so got it's a lined then as well then. Yes. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Yes. Yes. This this crease here. So when you've put your um, your interfacing, which only covers half. Yeah. Of the bag. Um, where where your interfacing ends there, you bring the fabric over, give it a really, really good press so it's a very crisp line, and yeah. that is where the top of the uh, bag is. Okay. That's where your bag yeah. that's where your bag ends. So this right. is your lining inside here. Okay. So I've attached one of the straps. Okay, I so, need to go back. Sorry. So yeah. you've got a big oblong of the pay, of the grey. Yes. And a smaller oblong. A smaller of the, of the yeah of the pocket. And you've just laid... But it's still doubled over. Oh, oh. Okay. You're still... So there's no raw edges no, anywhere. No, no, and no, you no. You lay no. the smaller one on top of the grey one. On top, yeah. And then you fold it over where your interfacing finishes. That's it. And, the, and that creates the whole of. That's one the side whole. Of the bag. Yeah. That's Perfect. the whole side of one of one of the bags. So your strap is. Um, Four, four inches wide. Now I have on the pattern. They say to make them uh, 
uh, where are we? 40 inches long or 100 centimetres long. Meter, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I found that I wanted them to be a bit longer. So I've I've made them 50 inches. OK, so if you want your bag at home to at this, look this like length. yours, yeah. then you need to cut one metre ten. Yes. Or no, 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 no. Ignore that. 50 inches. Is that still one metre ten? No. It's just, it's just it's over, isn't it? It's 10 inches extra, isn't yes. it? So it's one metre 25 yeah. then, isn't it? Yeah. One metre 25. Yeah. So, so depending on how long you want your strap yeah. to be, then, you know, adjust as... a shoulder or a, yeah. a hand one, isn't yes. it, really? Yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Perfect. So, yeah, so you've got this four um, inches wide, and what you're going to do is you iron, so you fold it in half and iron it in half. Actually, let me do it not on there because it's the same colour. There we go. So you iron it in half, open it up, and then you, each of the sides, you bring in to that centre an iron. So you end, you end up with a strip like that with your two yeah. uh, raw edges in the inside. Then you fold that over. Oh, so it's a nice sturdy handle yes, then. Yeah, and you top stitch along both edges. Has it got interfacing in it? No. Oh, okay. No. But you could if mm -hmm. you wanted to make if you wanted to um, you know make it a little bit more sturdy. Yeah. It's quite it's quite sturdy. No, this no, fabric, no. Because you've got your four layers. Yeah, so sturdy yeah, enough. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So um, top stitch both sides. Yeah. And then when you come to do this, you lay your. So if you lay your bag out completely flat. Yeah. Because what you don't want is to have that bit folded in and you attach your oh, right, straps okay. yeah. to, you know, to, to both sides. Mm -hmm. So five inches, you measure five inches in from your raw edge in, into, into there. Let me show you. So five inches in and place your, your strap all the way down. Yeah. And then you're going to bring it up to this right. crease edge, up to that folded edge. So pin it all in place. Um, I, what I did is where, where I attached an extra bit here, I, I put my join in line with the, the, the top of the pocket. Right. So, so it was in line with it. Um, and then to finish off, you do like a little square with a cross. Right. To give it a, li a little bit more strength. You know, but yeah, so, a little so bit more strength. Got, it doesn't all get stitched down. You sew up to the crease, stop, then Go do across. the other side, do up to the crease and, and, and leave that bit. Loose, obviously. Yes, That's yes. Handle, obviously, yeah. that that is your handle there. So you Perfect. need, yeah, you need to leave that loose. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna do that now. Okay. On this, on this second bit. So I've pinned it all into place. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna. How have you? Did you base your pink bit onto your grey bit so it doesn't move? You know the. Uh... Yes. Well, yes. I mean, I have stitched this down. So as I was saying to you earlier, the the iron-on interfacing you get from here. Brilliant, did it with that. Yeah. Um, for this one, I had to use what I had at home. Not good. Okay. Because it so that's not this make. It, so what no, you, that's yeah. this very good. Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> this very I, good. Yes. Mine bad. Um, I wish I wish I'd got it from the here. <laughs> We've got a question for you. Hang yeah. on, is it for? Oh, we kind of answered it, have we? Hang on, let's look. Do you have to use interlining? Oh yeah, so you just use interfacing just on one, only half, one side. Yeah, half of it. So you're just, so you've got your because this this is your lining so you don't you don't need that no. um, uh, backed so it's just it's just on that half there yeah that's Perfect. all you need it's because you, obviously that's where your handles are so you you need to be have it quite sturdy so let uh -huh. me move all that out of the way yeah you're right actually I thought the bag would be in the way but it's been placed perfectly for the close up right so the trick here as well if you can because obviously you've got your two you've already done your two lines of top stitching here try and stitch in exactly the same place if you can okay so let's get going oh so i that's my, that's my my pins because i've put my pins across okay you're going over your pins i'm going you? over my pins oh. 
I know. Uh, I will Dawn take says, it slow. Hi, John and Rebecca, I noticed she called you the lovely John Scott in her VT. Well, I he is lovely. Should, I think you should change <laughs> your name by deed polled. I don't think so. And then uh, Lo said, snow porridge sewing on TV, perfect morning. Oh, do you know what? I put on my porridge yesterday, blueberries, and then uh, I can have two squares of 70% chocolate today. Ooh. And I put that on my porridge. And by the time I put it on the tray and walk through to the other room, like I do with all my food, and I don't sit at the dining room table, just watch Escape to the Country. And it all melted into the porridge. Oh, delicious. I can't eat blueberries. I'm allergic to them. You're allergic to what? Blueberries. Oh, are you? Yeah, I can't. I can't eat them. How yeah. are you? I know. It's not good. Oop, gone down. Right. So now I'm going to go across. So I've yeah. only gone up to that. Uh, that line. Yeah. At the top, let's take my pin out yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. Let's have a look at that close to. Can you just move yeah, your left yeah, hand a minute? There you that. go. So you've okay. gone up the side and now yeah. you're going across the top. So I'm just going to go across the top and then down the other side and then I'll do that little square yeah. to stabilise the at the top. Is it a square or is it a cross? So you go, you do a square, but you know it's got the cross in inside the... Inside it, yeah. Yes, inside that square. Are tote bags there. good for beginners to make? Yes, yeah. this is brilliant. A brilliant idea for a beginner. Oh, you know what we didn't? Oh, have all the patterns on their own sold out? Oh, we forgot to do. You can buy the pattern on its own. I forgot to say that, so that's my bad. There's a, there's a couple of patterns left on their own if you want just the pattern. If, you don't, if you've got your own stash, <clears throat> or if you're a beginner and you want to try on not Liberty fabric and things like that, buy the pattern on its own, 9 99 but there's only, there's only 10 left. So I'm just... Down that other side. It's a very attractive pin pot you've got there. Wow, it's a little... Um, it's not a pin pot. It's um, like a little Tupperware. <laughs> it's supposed to be for food. <laughs> I thought I'm having that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's great for pins. So... I am going to start from the one corner. Where do you go? So there's no, um, you know, there's no, there's no specific measurement for where you want to do this cross. Probably about an inch down. Yeah. I would say. Some, okay. So something sorry like to say that. the next bit. Jill yeah. says, "Sorry to be a pain, but can we just go back to the beginning? Is the interfacing ironed on first? And do you sew the two parts together after that? Yeah, so yes, iron, do, get your iron on done. So, so, so you've got your big rectangle yeah, so open and you it iron out, half of half that of with it. your interfacing. Then you put your pink layer on the top and you stitch around the outside to yeah, hold it in place. Yeah, I, yes, yeah. I, that's, yeah, or yeah. yes, I would definitely hold yeah. it into place. I hope you, that's okay for you, Jill. So let's get started on Jill this. Jill has just sent an S. Don't know what she was going to say. Where's the backer? That's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. I haven't used this machine for a while. That's it. Right, so gone across. Let's make sure we get into that bit. And then move your fabric round. This is where it, it's quite a lot to get through under the yeah. your machine. Okay, so now I'm just I'm gonna go across the, the bottom there. That's it. And then cross over again. Oh, back the, up, back and up Shilla to that saying corner. again. Um, I, what I'll have to do is I'll have to show you on mine, Shilla, because um, we've already moved on from that stage. But right, so what you do is you've got you've got a big rectangle like this for your bag, right? Sorry, I'm going to show you from this side. You've got a big rectangle like that. You've put half of it on the back. You cover half of it with interfacing. Then what you do is you've got a smaller rectangle of your pink like that looks like yeah, that, open that out. and you literally put that on there like that and basically all Rebecca's done is just sewn across the bottom across and up the side to hold it in place so it's just it's just so she's made one fabric out of two basically yeah and then she's put the straps on there this bit's obviously open and then she's put the straps on there so I'm just going up the, the second strap now. Yeah. Are you having to do homeschooling at the moment? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's my day off today. Oh, is it? This is, this is a treat. Miss is miss not in the classroom today. <laughs> 
So have they yeah. got the day off then? Two? No. Oh no. 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 My I've left my eldest Emily in charge. Oh no. Bless her because she's um, she's deferred her university place for a year. Oh right. Because of it wasn't really no. going to no. be much. So yeah, bless her. She's at home sorting them all out. Because I've got I've got two, but they're at different schools. So it's two completely different oh, ways of, yeah. Each school does it quite differently. So yeah, it's fun. They do it actually, I have to say, they're doing a grand job. But I'm definitely, I'm not a teacher. <laughs> not, not, not of academic subjects anyway. <laughs> That's for sure. The thing is, though, it's terrifying because it's a lot of, I mean, obviously I haven't got kids to, to, to homeschool, but when you look at what they're doing and you just think, did we ever do that? I know. When I was 14. No, you know, I know. Like um, I get lost, to be honest. Yeah. Right. So I'm just going to do this little square again. Yeah. So again, I'm going to start in the corner and go across. Lot of manipulating. There is there, going though, through so. the machine, yeah. That's it. So that's that on. Uh huh. So then you end up with two exactly the same. And now we're going to join them together. So we right sides together. Is that in the middle? There we go. Right sides together. So be careful now that you don't catch the handles right. in, in, um, you know, in the seams. Yeah. So what I like to do is find out where those two pockets are going to be joining on the side and then put just a pop a pin there so I know that that is, hopefully, <laughs> they'll be joined. Yeah when we come to put them together. So just put some pins in. So this is where you need to leave. So when you come down onto the, this is your lining part here. Mm -hmm. So when you come onto this bit, you need to make sure you leave a gap so you can pull it through. Okay. So I am just going to take my pins. So where just do, you, the where corner. do you leave your gap at the bottom? On, in the lining, yep. because then obviously you're not going to see it yes, when, you've, when you've put it all back together. So again, I'm just going to find that bit there. That lined up. Takes a bit of pinning. Uh huh. That's it. Well, the most popular one is the Liberty one so far. Isn't that funny? I thought that this one that Rebecca's making would have been the most popular. There, that's the most popular so far. The Liberty green or the teal green with the grey. Oh, the other one, pink, the pink ones. I thought that because I love this pink and grey one. That's, I love that. Oh, you like that one? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, like my, I like my greens. I, do, oh. I like this. I do like this, though, as well. Yeah, yeah. But that's the sort, that's the sort of that's colour. That's what you do. Yeah, so that's the sort home, of colour I was... you'd be choosing that one. Yeah, and I yeah. Choose, but then I suppose it's practically, practicality-wise, it's also better. Because if you go down the high street in a snowy day like today with a pink bag, 
it's going to show any splashes, isn't it? That's the green true. and grey isn't going to so much. That's very true. Right, so that's it. Start off. Oh, I'm just going to yes. do a little back. Look at, look at the screen now. It looks like I'm sitting on your desk. The box. <laughs> <laughs> just perched on the end. Just perched at the end. I'm not. I'm over here. <laughs> You're well distanced. It's weird, though, isn't it, that I not because, you know... In I know, real, usually. I'm normally they're nudging yeah. you, aren't they, and everything. It is, it's strange times, isn't it? Yeah, but we have to get through it, don't we? Lucky that we can still come in and do it, really, yes. aren't we? Oh, God, That's this the is thing. my saving grace, yeah. yeah. No, definitely. And we're very strict here about the sanitizer and the t like I have to clean that table every time before a guest comes in I even have to clean the toilets it's my job to clean the toilets oh, I couldn't believe that how the mighty have fallen <laughs> it's your little job before you go home what'd she say I said that's your little job before you go home uh, no I'll do, I'll do it when I come in you do it when so you come nice in and clean when we arrive here morning all if you don't want a raw red I know Karen you won't have a raw edge because it's, it's all going to be turned through. Oh, it's all hidden. It's all turned through, so you don't have to do French seams. You just turn it all through. You'll see. You'll see in a second. And Glennis went, you look lovely as always. Talk to me, Glennis. Oh, oh, what have I just dropped there? The tape measure went Oh, did it? Okay. Do you need it? Uh, do I need it? Do I need it? Uh, uh, yes, I do, actually, to do oh, the corners. Oh. No. Oh, Hannah's coming out with her sanitised hands. Oh, bless you. you, Hannah. And now she's so, crawling on the floor. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just causing chaos, really. Right. Oh, what's... No, don't do that. She might get her in the face. She's just, right, we're close on the, on the machine now, so you're all right, Hannah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Hannah. I can see you right down your T-shirt there. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's on all fours, crawling. Just, you know, she's on the floor, crawling towards my desk. <laughs> I'm not looking down your top. I've got all blush. I'm blushing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Hannah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. She's got a red lacy bra on, so it's fine. <laughs> Right, nearly there. OK, nearly don't, don't there, worry, because we've got half an hour. We've oh, OK, brilliant. Well, 20 minutes. But. Mm, you remember to leave your bottom. You, did you start... Where at one side of your gap? Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, so just yeah, just make sure that you don't go all the way around. Yeah, exactly. I always usually put a double pin in, so and I get watch yeah. it, watch it, because so you're um you you ha no no the, the, the stand the go, back one's it? moving now as well. Gonna, that's gonna go in a minute. Right, <laughs> on, let me see if I can fold that over a little bit. Oh hang on. Probably we can't see then, can't no, you? No, no, you, you keep going, you don't worry, don't you worry, we'll tell you if it's not right. OK, there's a message for Penny. Please get in more needle case kits as the Bumblebee one would be good for me. I will get my time on Friday towards again. No, no, they're there. They're not sold out yet, Penny. They're there. If you go underneath on pre-order, they're still for sale. Well, I will show you. Do you mind, do you mind, if, while you're saying that, do you mind no, if I just show the website? Right, look, Penny, here they are. Look, so you go onto the website. There's us, there's us, ooh, right? Now, scroll down, go to pre-order. Don't go to shows deals. Go to pre-order. Go down, go down, go down. It's right at the very bottom. We will get there eventually, Pen. sorry. Right, hang on. There's the, there's the vintage one. And carry on going down there. There is the, the, the sewing bee one. You can, sewing bee? The bee, bumblebee one. It's still there on pre-order. Don't wait till Friday because they will have sold out and we don't, definitely won't get more in before Friday. Because it's what they... 
Yes, so it's here. We've got it now. So just, it's on today's show. You can order it now. Right, sorry. Okay, right. So I've gone all the way around, leaving my gap there, that right. I, so I can okay. pull it, so I can pull it all through. Right. So if you want to square off, if I bring that back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if you want to square off these like that. Box bottom. Yeah, box bottom. So that's, that's the thing to do next before you pull it all the way through. Can we do, I, I know we didn't prep to do this, but can we do that? Or What's that? Do the box bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going to do it. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah, I thought yeah. you were saying if you want to do it, do it, and I'm going to go. No, no, I was it. just showing, because in, in the pattern, it, they, they give you the option. Oh, okay, so, so you can either, if you don't want that, you leave it like this, pull it through, it through, and finish off the, 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 um, your seam yes, on the yes. lion and push Oh, through. so we're going to do the box bottom. We're gonna, we are, yeah. No, 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 we're going to do that, def most definitely. Message from Margaret says, John, please can you advise what interfacing was Helen's preference? Thank you. This, 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 this. It comes in the bundle. I'll put it flat on the desk, sorry. There it is. It comes in the bundle. It's the medium weight iron-on interfacing. Uh, just Helen, did you ask why? Uh, uh, that's what Helen puts in her, in her, um, in her, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Instructions. Medium weight iron-on interfacing. You only need half a yard of it, so you'll have, you've got nothing there to make two if you wanted to. And you also preferred this one as well. Yeah, you? definitely. Yes. So if you're not buying the bundle, do we, we've got this on the website, haven't we? Yes. Just look up hemline iron-on interfacing. Right, so what I've done is, so obviously you've got your corner like that from yep. where, where you've stitched it. What I'm going to do is, is turn it yep. and pull it out that way. Right, so you're matching your side so seam So you're matching your, your side seam, seam with the bottom seam. Yeah. Your seam open. Lovely. Okay. So lay, lay it flat on your counter and then she's saying about five inches across. Right. But the thing is you can make it as shallow as or as deep yes. as you want to. Exactly, you, really? exactly. You can, yeah, whatever, whatever you want to do. Crazy Lorraine's messaging going, oh, morning, John. What a lovely lady she is. She's talking about you. Oh, Rebecca, thank you. What Crazy Lorraine, was Rebecca that? and I have known each other for 30 years nearly. Oh, uh, Shelley said, kind. oh, she sent Hannah some weather photos to show what it's like out in the sticks in Lincolnshire. Have you received them yet, H Hannah? She's just checking now. Yeah, some places have got it so bad. Delphine's made they? me this cushion to sit on, right? Because she was fed up with me sitting on her posh cushions and it hasn't settled in yet and it keeps tipping me off the stool. <laughs> It's going to disappear <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> well, she does all these beautifully appliqued oh, cushions. Yes, and then she comes in and I'm those. sitting on them. And I say, it's cushions. What you do, sit on cushions. <laughs> it's all right. I'm going to stitch straight across. So make sure that your seams are open. Yeah. That's, mm, that's it. So it's quite thick going through there. Yeah. I'm not going to put that in my mouth. No. Like I always do. I know. I, see, I remember. Terrible for doing that. Yeah, but we all do it. Yeah. It's that one. We're open. There you go. Can you see? That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Fine. Lots of people put this one in their baskets, this bundle in their baskets. The pink and... The pink and grey yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, Leslie's asked her a, a question. Are we getting the sewing machine needle bundle back? Oh... It's not a bundle, but I've got all the packets of needles coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Oh, not all of them. Okay, we've got a selection 
We've got a sele selection. We haven't got the ones that are just in the bundle, but we have got a selection of them coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Okay. So once that's done, right. you can cut off a little bit because okay. that's, that's a lot of bulk there. Yeah. So I would say about half. Yeah. And nice sharp scissors. Yeah, good ones. There we go. Perfect. And obviously, you need to do the same. Oh, the same on the, I was going to say to you the same on the lining. The yeah. same on the lining. So again, open your seams. I mean, you could give all this a really good press as well. Patricia says, good morning, John and Rebecca, and a smiley face and kisses. And Linda says, isn't Rebecca lovely? And she has such elegant hands. Oh, thank you. Blimey. Gosh, I've never had that said about my hands before. <laughs> taking that <laughs> yeah she's having that <laughs> thank you very much can i put that on my cv yes <laughs> you can say very... as linda mantle says yes. i've got thank elegant you. hands thank you very much linda unlike my big fat sausage fingers <laughs> so again exactly the same whatever measurement you do on the main bag yeah do it on the lining so does helen recommend the five inches then in the yes that's, that's yeah. what that's what she recommends yeah, yeah. I went for a walk with Dulcie on Sunday. Oh, did you? Um, Dulcie used to work with Rebecca as well, because yeah. Dulcie used to be the production, was she called production manager when she was Yes, at, at yes. Time. So Dulcie did, when I yes. went to work at 20th Century Costumes, I was the production manager there, which is how I met all the designers who I then worked with later. Dulcie did the same job at Angels uh, for a few years before she went freelance into the film industry. And now Dulcie, Dulcie and I used to share a house when we were at college together at Wimbledon School of Art donkeys years ago and now we live in a, in villages two miles apart from each other in the middle of well she's wow. she's actually in gloucestershire and i'm in warwickshire but it's two miles between our houses who who moved first she did oh okay she did. i didn't the thing is i didn't know where she'd moved to because her address was um this village in gloucestershire and of course i was looking in strapped upon avon and i didn't put the two you didn't know how close it was well i didn't know my geography i didn't know gloucestershire was next door to no no well I'd, i'm the same and it was only when i messaged her and i saw i'm looking at her, this house and she was like john that's just literally along the wrong road for me oh how perfect i know so we now meet we don't don't go into each other's houses we now meet well she's working you see she's working from home she's on matilda she? the musical oh, so is she, she? yes yeah, so she's working from home she's based at shepherd's studios but working from home and so in her lunch time during the week if i'm off i drive to hers and we walk around her village or around the countryside around her village and if it's a weekend she drives to mine and then we walk around the countryside around my house. oh that's really lovely yeah. And then yesterday she sent me a snapshot of how many steps we'd done on Sunday because we'd walk for so, we'd been out we were out for hours walking on Sunday. It's good putting for you the though, world isn't it? to rights, yeah. freezing cold and everything. And she went, oh, I think that's been a good walk. And then I got home and a bit later it's bing bing, and it was how many steps we'd done on. How our many walk. had you done? Oh, I can't remember. It's thousands, that literally thousands. Well, you must have gone miles. Yeah, we did. We did. We were out for like two and a half hours. We're oh. not much. Well, the thing is, we weren't more than five miles from home because where I live, if you're 100 yards from my house, you're in the depth of the countryside. Yes. So we literally just walk like in a big circle around my village sort of thing. Good morning, John and Rebecca. Is the pattern for the apron on the mannequin available, please? That is coming in the... It's not a... It's not a... Um, it's not a pattern on its own. It's in a book. It's in one of, when, one of Wendy Gardner's books, which we're doing at 11 o'clock. Um, I can't remember which book. Is it Home or is it Gifts, that one's in? Be Home, won't it? Be I Home. That's in Home, April, yeah. yeah. It's in the Home book on the um, uh, website. But if you want to wait, we'll go through the books when we start the 11 o'clock hour. Mm. Right, so right, I am okay. just pushing these through now. Right. Which is not the easiest. Oh, yeah, let's just see. Right, while you're pulling that through, you literally just pull the bag through, don't you? Yes. Here's so Shelley's just... picture. Oh, my word. Good morning. All this, the view out of my bedroom window. Lots of stuff wow. from Shelley in Lincolnshire. Oh, that posh camera's come in handy, isn't it, Shelley? <laughs> um, we've got a question from Pauline. Thank you, Shelley, for that, by the way. Oh, it's an email, so I have to read it out. Good morning, Rebecca and John. First and foremost... Oh, first of all, first and foremost, I'd like to um, express my grat deepest gratitude for Sewing Street. I'm a regular viewer. That's very nice. Thank you. 
Oh, I've studied fashion up to level two. I would dearly love to work in costume. Oh. Can you hear? Can you hear her? Yes. <laughs> <That's really laughs> <not. laughs> Rebecca can hear her. Right? <laughs> Do you have any advice you could from oh Pauline, any advice? Well, the, it's a bit difficult at the moment it because is. all the jobs that you would be getting as a costume maker aren't happening at the moment. No. I have to say, the theatres are dead at the moment. The theatres are completely shut. There's nothing whatsoever happening with theatre at the moment. However, the film industry is heaving. Dulcie's finding it difficult to even find a crew to be on her film. Obviously, they're yeah. being incredibly strict COVID-wise and they all have to have tests every week and they've built Shepparton Studios so that nobody passes each other. It's all one way and everything and all the sets have to be one way and things like that. The only thing I would suggest, I don't really know, um, uh, we, I trained at Wimbledon. Do you went to Wimbledon as well, didn't no, you? No, um, London College of Fashion. Oh, you went to London College of Fashion. Yeah. If you don't want to go and do it, well, you can't do a college. Well, you, oh, actually, how is it working at the moment? Because you can't do it online, can you? No. Well, the thing is, it, it's remote learning, which is obviously quite difficult. But no, you need somebody something to like this. it and show yeah. you, don't you? Yeah, you do. Um, I, what it's I would difficult. do when this is all over is I, I don't know where you live, but I would look in your local, you know, in your local night classes and things like that. Yeah. I would think maybe look in your know, local council or government um, count, county council website to see if they do evening classes, like adults evening classes, because sometimes yes. you can do a theatrical course that way. I trained at Wimbledon School of Art, which is now a three year degree course. Your course was? It, it was was two years, but I think that might be three, yeah, three now. Three years now, yes. I think. So yeah. it's quite an investment to go off and do it. Or the only other thing you could do is when we're all back to normal, is go to your local theatre and tell them that you're interested and they could maybe get you on dressing and maintenance to start with, which is the bit where you actually dress the show. Once the costumes are made, you're in charge of dressing the actors and, and making sure they're all ready and everything like that. But then through there, you could then maybe get a job in a costume department. Yeah, yeah. I'd say theatre was the best way to go. It doesn't pay much money No, at you all. might have to volunteer. And you might have to volunteer to start to with. Start if you can get with. a job in a theatre, then that's a really... Because every three weeks, you're doing a completely different period of costume sort of thing, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. That, that would be the way to go, I think, yes. Yeah. So what I've done here, so obviously I've pulled it all through. Oh, hang on. Rebecca says, can the corners be hand-stitched? I, I wouldn't, because, no, because you need the strength. Yeah, them, really. I, I, think, I think you do need machine, really. Um, yes, I'd say definitely on a machine. Yeah. And Chrissy, sa Chrissy says, thank you very much. I'll, we'll be there. We'll see you at 11, Chrissy, for that. Yeah. Right, so you've turned... So, so I've turned, I've turned all, the, all the way through. Yeah. Um, and now what I've done is I've just pinned across where the opening was that the for me allowed me to pull that all through yeah so i'm just gonna top stitch that because yeah. you're not going to see it yeah you so can top this bit you can hand stitch yeah if you, if want you wanted to you, wanted to, you could hand to, but yes. for sturdiness and as, as rebecca said you're not going to see it you can just machine across it so that's all i'm going to it's do. amazing how just two layers or one layer of interfacing on each side has given that bot bag so much body at yes. the bottom isn't it yeah Well, you know, sturdy then, isn't it, for whatever you want to put yeah. in there. Well, Hannah would put in potatoes in hers. <laughs> we don't know what um, we don't know what Emma's um, shopping. Emma's new to us, newish to us now. I don't know what her shopping traits are yet. <laughs> she's not divulging that, is she? No, no, she's staying she's quiet. She's keeping all her information close to her. Oh chest. dear. <laughs> well, buying potatoes in King's East High Street is hardly a good story, but we we all know about it. She's <laughs> saying her shopping is, no, is a very interesting story. Oh, right. okay. So now you can push all that inside. Yeah. Push it into the corners so it sits. Let me, sh let me show you. Nice. Yeah. Look, it's lovely. Where, where can I show you? You can show it that way. There you go. Yeah, there you there go. go. So just push it all into the inside. Yeah. And then the final thing to do is to, to so so this doesn't just keep coming in and out, yeah. it's just is to top stitch okay. all the way around. Mm -hmm. Have we got time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty of time, yeah. Good, yeah. good, good. So we'll just top stitch that all the way around that crisp yes, iron you didn't line. Top stitch around. The lining would tend to come out. Would yes, not come it, out, but just seep up over yeah, the top. Yeah, it would be annoying, I yeah. think. 
So again, make sure your handles are well out of the way. Yeah. You don't want to get to this stage and then find that you've stitched no, your handles. Stitch handles in. Emma's going to what, sorry? Oh, OK. Emma's going to show us her shopping list later. <laughs> Did you watch, just while you're sitting on that, did you watch Sally Lindsay? There's a, there's a programme called Posh Sleepover. Oh, no, I didn't see that. She's done one with that. hotels already, but this is people's houses. It's the, it was the first one last week. And she went to stay in this house with a man called, well, no, she didn't stay in that house, but the man called Cam, I can't remember what his girlfriend's called. And the house was worth £35 million. Pounds. And she didn't even sleep in there. She slept in the one across the road, which was their guest, not guest houses in hotels, where the guests stay. Oh. And that was worth £32 million. Pounds. But it was like three stories above the street and four stories underneath oh. the street. I mean, it must do the founder. And Dulcie said, how come the tube trains didn't go through the swimming pool room? Yeah. Because you think in the middle of London. That's, the th that's what they do now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. It, was just, it was just like un un completely not the unreal. But what I don't understand, and so I was trying to explain to Hannah earlier, is I watched it on my telly, right? And I talked to Dulcie about it when we were going on our walk. And then last night, I, when I go to bed, I always go through YouTube like that. That's the last thing I do. Yeah. And it's picked up on all, nearly every other f little film it's sending me now. I like houses for 30 million and things like that. It's I was like, scary, I haven't been on my computer. It? I haven't typed into my computer on my phone or anything. How does it know no. that I've watched that TV? It's scary, program? isn't it? They're watching Big us. Brother mm. is watching. Yeah. So there you go. So it just, it just holds it into place if you've got that seam. Yes running across the top it just holds it all in and place. had a good idea as well she said putting studded feet at the bottom would keep the bag clean yes. definitely definitely yes that's a good idea yeah. but you'd have to put your studded feet in before, before you sew it yeah you'd have to do it after you'd after you uh, boxed your corners but before you've turned it before through. you yeah before so you it's inside the lining yeah because yeah. you want to catch your lining into it no too. no that's it that's so gorgeous. So there we I go. love that. And then you've got the three little, three little pockets. Yeah. There. Oh, see, so yes. Yeah, so that's why you were saying earlier, rather than just a shopping bag, it could be a craft bag. Could yes. Be, like a knitting bag or yeah, anything. Yeah. Yeah. Could be anything really. I like the way that you've got the um, on the main body. You've got the dashes going to the left or the right, left, right, and on the handle, you've got them going perpendicular. Oh yes. Oh, you hadn't even noticed. No, I hadn't. <laughs> I hadn't. It was that just. Was a it was design where, feature. that was. Uh, I meant to do it, John. Yes, I meant yeah, to do yeah. it. Um, th that was um, of just placement of of where I could get the length for the. And did you have much fabric left over <coughs> out of the two meters? Um, not a huge amount, um, because obviously that is it's it's quite big, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's quite big quite, and it's, it's fully lined. A, yeah. And also, uh, who was it mentioned earlier about the, the? You don't need to do the French seams. Oh, hang on. Who was it? There you go. Karen asked about the French seams because everything is all encased between the two layers. That's so there's it. not one. You don't see any. A, any open no. seams at all. Because no, I don't, don't like that either. Any. When you make a bag and you've got seams, I don't like to see the seams inside. But it's all no. completely inside between yeah. the lining and the main of the it's bag. All, it's, it's all, all in encased. There. So you won't, you won't see Fabulous. any of it. Right. OK. So Rebecca will be back in an hour. When we're going to be doing two projects from Wendy Gardner's, she's got two books. One is called Home, which is the one behind Rebecca at the moment, and one is called Gifts, and it's it, they're called Take Two Fat Quarters. So we're going to be doing that. We've got fat fat quarter bundles, and you've made the scissor keeper and the apron. Yes. Oh, there they are. There they are. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and we're going to be doing those from Fat Quarters at eleven o'clock. Yes. Right. Okay. Let me just let me just go. Th thank you very much that's for that. All right. Let Pleasure. me just go through the bundles then of what we've got. The bundle that we've been working with is this one here. So you get a metre of the pink, a metre of the grey. You get your interfacing and you get your instructions. All you need is thread and a sewing machine, 39 99 And your time, obviously, that's very important. OK, then the one that was already made is this one here. Liberty, that, that's Liberty, that's Rose and Hubble, instructions, interfacing. Oh, this one's in the lead still. This one's still in the lead, 34. 
99. Gorgeous. Okay, then I've got stripy florals. So there again, you get your meter of your white, white and green, your meter of your blue, plus your interfacing, plus your um, instructions. 20, oh, it's 29.99 that one. It's good, isn't it? Okay, and then now, I, 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 well, I, I just, well, I'm worried about this one. Because if you look at the image on the web, these are two different colours, whereas in real life, they're very, very close. Yeah, in real life, when you get these home, they're very, very similar. Very, very similar. But as I said, use one and use the one from your stash, and then put the other one back in your stash. $39.99. Now, if you've got the instructions on your own... Oh, yes, yes, yeah. If you've got the instructions on your own, which... Have they all sold out now? Yeah. That's just, what about, from the first hour, buying a metre of each of those? Maybe. That's called purple flowers. I know it's not purple. That's called purple flowers. Oh, okay. So you have to buy a metre of that, which is two units of that, right? You have to buy two units of that for a metre. And then you'd have to buy two units of that one to go with. That's squares in grey. Not grey background. I've, done, I've gone with the white background with the grey squares on it. Or... Oh. Yeah, but your bundles were only half a metre of each, weren't they? Oh, if you want to buy the colour that Hannah put with her... She only wants you to buy her bundle with lilac, that's all. No, the bundle won't work for the bag, she hasn't got enough fabric. And don't buy it because they'll already be cut. Well, you need the pieces in metre pieces. But if you wanted that colour where it was called lilac, yeah. And then there's this one here. These would look beautiful together. Obviously, you need to buy a metre of that and a metre of that. So we'll put the graphics in for that first. So if you buy two units of that, so that would be £14. Oh, actually, your bundle will be £28, won't it? Because you'll have a metre of that, and then you'll have a metre of that, and then you have to buy your interfacing. Oh, no, because you bought the pattern. The pattern's 9 99 That's why. I couldn't figure out why it was so cheap. Just an idea for you. Right, OK, do not go anywhere. Because after the break, it's me with, a, oh, well, it's a melange of all sorts of quilting-y, panel-y, sewing-y, embroidery-y kind of things. We'll see you in three. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. 
Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. in need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. We have to, when we do the prep in the break, we have to have these on. I keep forgetting. I just went to eat my sliced apple when I had it on, right? And, um, oh, so I was putting my sliced apple underneath it like that. And then it's gone and bitten through my lip. It's just, oh, this pandemic's causing all sorts of issues, isn't it? No, and then, oh, and also I put, I put this bag on the bag stand. The whole bag stand fell off and hit me on the back. I oh, know we've not had a good day. Not having a good day. Anyway, we are having a good day. We are having a good day. We're all here. We're all safe. We're all well. And that's the main thing, isn't it? Okay, I'll start with this, right? So now, have we got a picture of the finished, of the finished quilt? This is a quilt that Wendy Orlando made during... It's from Mo... Uh, yes, it's from Moda. It is from Moda. Um, and this, these are the blocks, right? These are the lovely blocks. Oh! Yeah, these are the lovely blocks, look. Yours won't have friendly neighbour quilt embroidered at the top of it. 139.99. Right, so this is this is this was the, the sample that Wendy made. That's not the whole thing. And I just need to explain to you how it actually works. I'll just put that in the I've got a lovely box there to put my things in. This is a block. 
this is a this is one of the blocks so you know that this is the grass on all of them and you know that this is the background on all of them and then you see this section here so yours will arrive like this now i'm not going to open this one but i'll just show you inside yours will arrive beautifully packaged like that but i'm not going to open that one because that's one of the ones that you, one of you may be getting that one not straight away it will have to go into not isolation what do they call it quarantine 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 so i've just got the box here Oh, two have gone already. There's only two left. There's only two left. Two have gone already. I only had four to start with. Right, so what it is, is you get a great big panel that has all... No, no, that's not your panel. That has got loads of these on it. And these all make the central... It's a big, big panel, right? And they all make the central bit. These are Wendy's leftovers here, you see. Oh, here you go. Here's, here's a bit of the panel left. You get loads, you get loads of these. You have extra ones after you've made the whole quilt. So there you go, you get a panel with all of those on, right? So you get more of those than you need. And they make like the French windows in the house. I'm calling those the French windows. Then you get your white fabric for your background and for your little triangles here. You get all the white fabric. It's not cut out for you, this is just how it is. And then what you do is you literally cut so many roofs, so many fronts, so many doors, so many, all of the, the grass ones are the same. That fabric's, that's the own, that fabric's only used for the grass. This, you get two pieces of this fabric. Make sure that you use the one that's meant for the cutting out of the house because the other one is for the binding of the whole quilt, the whole, and then literally all of those gorgeous fabrics. So I can't show you them all. So can we just have a look at the big picture again, Emma? So there they all are. There are all the different fabrics. You get everything. So you get that border, you get the binding, and you get the stripe within there. Everything you need in there. And you also get your instructions, which are here. There you go. So there's your cutting instructions at the beginning. How you make the little um, corners. That's how you make the frame for the French windows, as I call them. Then that's how you make the whole uh, quilt there, left house unit. And then all of that, the, 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 the chimneys are put on in the sashing between the blocks. And then what else have we got in there? Oh, and there's your finished block, which is what we've got, we've got there. There's only two left. There are only two of those left now. And that's your, oh, actually, oh, sorry, no, that goes in here. It's lovely, isn't it? From Moda, so you know the quality is exceptional. Everything you need for the front and the binding in there. Obviously, you need to supply your own backing and your own wadding. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that block inside the box there so we know it's always there. And that goes back in there. Right, now this one is another Moda one. This one is called, it's just called the Daybreak, I thought it was another word. Oh yeah, because it's made of three sisters. Moda, it's a 64 by 80 inch quilt. Oh, there's the picture, there's the picture. Using the Daybreak, oh, I thought it was three sisters collection. Oh, okay, okay, right. So, featuring Daybreak by Three Sisters. There you go. 64 by 80 inches, so that's my bad. All the different blocks you need, all the different colours. Well, actually, if you look, that's all exactly the same block, just in different colourways. And then, tells you which... It, it, this is good, because it tells you what you have to cut out, how much you get of each fabric. You do need to supply your own backing and you do need to supply your own batting or your own wadding in there as well. So this is gorgeous. Now, am I allowed to open this one? Oh, I'm going to have to do it. It's you get loads in it. Look, 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 look. So I can tell you as we go through how much you get in, in it of everything. <gasps> oh, that's the postcard just gone for a Burton. So, this is fabric B. You get five-eighths of a yard of that one. That feels like more than that, actually. That's... 
Oh, I don't know now. You'd have to sit and work out which one each is. There's your, the key's here. The key's here. So you, I, would cut the, uh, I would cut out a bit of fabric and pin it by each one. There's the, there you are, that's O. That's, letter, that's uh, fabric O. That one there is fabric P. That one there is fabric Q. That one there will be fabric S. And you just work your way through. And now it is important that you stick to, normally I'd say, oh, just do whatever you want. But they've actually cut this fabric to the size that you need it. So if you swap any around, you could only swap. You see that one there, you only get a fat quarter of that one there. And it, you know what I mean? So there's nothing, you couldn't swap that with anything else. Oh, yes, you could swap it with any of the others that say fat quarter. But they've thought it all through. They've thought it all through. So you got the right amount of fabric of each one to do the pattern as they've, as they've um, designed it. Let's get to there. It's beautiful. The quality of this fabric is beautiful. There, that one's M. Oh, this is. Oh, now I know this. I've seen this because didn't we have this as um, a 10 inch square? Didn't we have this as a 10 inch square? Uh, yeah. And we got it by the half meter, but this is the kit. Rebecca Reed had this first kit on 25th of January this year. They're beautiful. Over half the stock went that day straight away. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Now we haven't got a finished, we haven't got a finished quilt. I haven't got one I can show you. I can own, well actually we can look at the top of the, the, the box as well. Just have a talk as, oh here you go, look at it here, it's on here. So you've obviously got your border fabrics there. And then each of these, look at these. So every other one is one of those stars, but making it out of different fabric. Oh look, you see it's the same block, but they're different colorways. See that one there? Looks completely different to like that one there, doesn't it? Oh, you know, I'm taking that back. Oh, no, 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 no. It is the same. That's the same as that one. They are all the same. But some of them, they've got a square in the middle rather than the uh, square in a square. Do you know what I mean? The, the one with Paisley in on the top there is just a straightforward square in the middle. Whereas some of them, look, here we go. So some of them, yeah, some of them have got just a square in the middle and some of them have got a square in a square in the middle. That's what makes the difference. Very classic, isn't it? Very classic. It's kind of classic, but it's also kind of mayhem or haphazard. Hmm? Not like us, no. But that's why it's important to stick. To, you see, look here, you've just got squares. Oh, sorry, you've just got squares of the floral with the birds on. That's all they are between. So they've got like breakers of the different fabric. Look, so you've got one going through the middle there of like the holly. Then you've got one of the birds either side. Then you've got one of the flowers either side. Then you've got another one of the birds either side. And then you've got diagonal. But even though... They're all the same block. Look how different they're looking in, in going in order like that. I presume what you could do is you could make it different. You could move these squares around if you wanted to make it more random. And you can move those blocks around. It's your quilt, isn't it? It's your quilt. But make the blocks up and lay them out and then you'll see how you want to do it. Oh, single figures now. I haven't even told you how much it is. 129.99. Oh, that's good. That's good for um, a Moda quilt. Um, but look at the, I love the corners. Look how they've done the corners there. I think that's gorgeous. Not quite sure how you do that, but. <coughs> oh, like that. Oh, I see. Very clever. Then you've got your templates there. It's not foundation paper pieces. No, look, they're sewing them together. They're just sewing them together normally like that. Now, if you bought Liberty Deco the other day, imagine how gorgeous that would look. 
Oh, she only wants to do the that corner. She only wants to do that corner. What are you eating? Yeah, but what are you eating? Oh, it's gorgeous. Shall I go through, quickly go through the fabrics again? Oh, hang on, loads of messages coming in. Lorraine says, uh, morning John from Ray Snowy, Armadale. Oh, I don't know where that is. Uh, John, you're doing a great job of keeping our sewing community busy. Thank you, Jean. Dawn says, I've just ordered the zoology panel. Can you recommend the coordinating fabric to go with the green sloth? I've, have I got to that yet? I haven't got to that yet. I will do though, Dawn. Morning, handsome, says Linda. She's obviously watching Philip Schofield. Thank you for your help, John. <coughs> Alison is fabulous and sorted me out. Oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Alison. Mama, baby. Right, so let me go through the fabrics again with you so you can just see what you're getting. That's beautiful. That's one of the big squares on its own, look. That's your border. Aren't they lovely? They're such good... Oh, oh, is that your border? Let's take you back. That's your border. That's your border. That, I love these. Love these. That's nice. Beautiful. Lovely colours. Vintage. They're like taken from, well, no, I'm not saying they are taken from, but you know, uh, what was that house? We had some fabric ages, well, no, not while I've been here, when it was sewing quarter, and it was taken from like the wallpapers of a house in America, a vintage house in America, and they'd taken all them and put them onto fabrics. It's a bit like that, isn't it? Then you've got your paisley. You can't go wrong with the paisley and the blue, the teal and the sage. Then you've got your pink flowers. And then you've got your lovely red flowers there. Gorgeous collection. I will move on. I'm getting over what's it. Gorgeous. Right, so I'll put that in there. Mowed up. Remember, good quality. Fabulous quality. Right, let me just push that to one side. So which panel am I looking for then? Here, this one. Oh, is this Mojo as well? Isn't it funny because you always put, think of Mojo as being kind of classic, don't you? Right, we love this. Zoology. Zoology by Mojo. 100% cotton. Llama. Koala, sloth, flamingo, baby llama, baby. Oh, they've all got grown up and baby ones. I see. Now, I can't tell you the name of that, but it's pepperminty green. Because what was Dawn saying? She wanted a coordinating fabric to go with the cream, green teal sloth. I've bought the grey mode of Dawn fabric. Oh, yeah, no, that would be nice. If you're going grey, I thought you meant to match that, but no, the grey grey mode will be beautiful. Um, Ten ninety nine for a mode panel, and how many things you could say? So you've got a big koala, and two small koalas. You got a big sloth, and oh, so you got a big one and two small ones of each animal. Love the llama. Uh, West Lothian, Lorraine said that place is that I didn't know where it was. I forgot to say I love your shirt. Thank you, Lorraine. Uh, Jean says, I'm eating a Thornton's chocolate. No, I didn't ask you what you were eating, Jean. I was asking Hannah what she was eating. How did I know you were eating, though, Jean? Do you know what? That's gorgeous. This cotton is beautiful. Oh, you do want... Yeah, yeah. So, the, oh, hang on. <clears throat> it's not grey, though. The sloth's not grey. The sloth is made of... Um, Peppermint green, and then the eyes are black and white, and there's a little bit of orange there, and then you've got a mustardy colour there. That's definitely peppermint green. But I couldn't tell you, I haven't got any, um, that's the trouble here. At um, Sewing Quarter, we used to have all the fabrics here, and I could run over to the other side of the studio and get you one and, and put it on there. But I don't think, I've got nothing here today that I can tell you will be the same colour. Well, yeah, have you got any peppermint green in your bundles? No, we want gr green, I think. Uh, 
Oh, okay, Hannah's saying from, because she has to build some bundles and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, she said that she doesn't know if we've got any green in stock that would suit that at the moment. Oh, and we've only got emerald and chartreuse in stock at the moment. Oh, chartreuse. So um, we wouldn't have one to go with. Okay, I've got this photograph to show you now before I move on. It's from who, sorry? Okay, this is Ruby after jumping off a wall into the snow at Goldston on Sea, Norfolk yesterday from Wendy. I can't, f is Ruby a child? And that's an anorak, or is it a dog? Yeah, I think it's a child with an anorak on it as well, but then why would a child... No, no, not face down. I think, the, I think the head is the bit going up with the... It's the back of a child, and that's the hood, and then that's the right arm sticking out on the right. Wendy, we don't understand the picture. Oh, is Ruby, is Ruby a dog? If Ruby was a dog... No, I don't know which bit of... Is where... And is that how deep the snow is? Anyway, let's move on. Thank you for sharing that, but it's a bit worrying. Well, I don't want it to snow like that here. Oh, please don't let it snow like that here. Uh, Dawn says, thank you, Hannah. <laughs> you're welcome, she says. Morning, John. Hope you're okay. You don't see your happy, cheery shell. So, Trudy, you always say that, don't you? I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine, thank you. Oh, Hannah doesn't think I am either. All right, you can just... I'm absolutely fine, uh, Trudy, I promise. I'm absolutely fine. It's hard work, this, you know, sitting here for five hours chatting. Panel with retro campers. <laughs> and not me. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Caravan. I don't know what that is. That's not a VW camper van, is it? Oh, that one's got, that one's a Toa one. Oh, I love those where you could buy, not a burger. I wouldn't buy a burger, but you know what I mean? Chips from one of those are always delicious, aren't they? Oh, look, just to be on a beach like that. Now, which one of these, this is, okay, so this is Lo when she goes away with Jeff for the weekend in their motorhome. We had two people earlier freezing in their caravans. That's that one and that one. There they are. Imagine if you were able to get that close to the water with your caravan. It'd be a bit worrying when the tide came in, wouldn't it? A romantic shot of a caravan, that one. So how much is this? $14.99. Retro campers panel. So if you buy two of these, they don't come joined together. It's a panel panel. Now, have we, made, have we seen something made out of this? I can't remember. We made a handbag out of it. Okay. Oh, so I've just said, we made a thing like this. Hannah's taken all that time to explain something to me. And she went, but it's not made out of that fabric. Don't, if it's not made of the same fabric, I don't want it. There's nothing like it. No, nothing like it. Oh, is that that there? No. No. Thank you. For nothing. Fourteen ninety nine. What's the matter? There, we were right. We were right, Emma. Ruby is a 14-year-old girl. It's not a dog. Yes, it, I could see it was the back of the, back of the head and the arm out like that in the snow. Hannah's confused because she doesn't know what fun is, you see. That's the problem. Working with me, she said, has beaten it all out of her. <laughs> Louise says, John, I think you are... Oh, you're very kind to me. You're very kind to an old man. Uh, I think you're very lovely, look smashing, your breath of fresh air from Louise in a slightly snowy Dublin. Oh, I love Dublin. I love Dublin. Right, next. 
Now, Alison Glass Panel. Now, we've had this hanging up on the wall. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Look. Oh, yes, these are much bigger than the one. Right. Okay, so when I first saw this was when we were sewing quarter and there were six circles on a panel. These are a different scale. Look, look how big these are. These are lovely. I even like the fact that the background is patterned as well. I just think that's gorgeous. I'd make a big circular cushion out of that. Yeah, well, you're not listening, Emma. Uh, Hannah has explained that to us. No wonder Hannah goes home from here exhausted after working with us too. Right, so it's got moths all over it, look. There's moths everywhere. Look. No, no, they're beautiful. What's it called, this one? Oh, nothing. Art theory. So you get both of those. Are they the same? No, nothing like. I love the fact that you get the whole wheel of colour in there. Centre of a big cushion, centre of a big quilt. Beautiful. You need a chocolate, John. What's your favourite flavour? Ooh, I'm not really a chocolatey person. Um, I don't know what my favourite chocolate would be if somebody asked me. I mean, I love a chocolate Easter egg. I have to say, I do love a chocolate Easter egg. I like the thinness. Is that a word? The thinnity? No. You know, I love how thin a, an Easter egg is. You know what I mean? I don't like heavy, claggy chocolate. I like thin chocolate. Anyway, this is nine ninety nine. The thinnity of an Easter egg. When is Easter? It must be soon. When's Pancake Day? So now somebody said, Jim, my friend Jean sent me all the all the dates. Remember, I said this the other day, and she sent me all the dates, so I should know this. This is Alison. Oh, this is nice. Right, very few of these left. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, Claire says she likes chocolate you can snap. And Suzanne says chocolate from the fridge. Oh, you be careful of your teeth, Suzanne, chocolate from the fridge. Hannah says she takes her teeth out and just, you know, like that. Isn't that gorgeous? I've got, I've got a new dentist. I've got to go to my first appointment on Monday. And you have to fill in a questionnaire. It said, do you have trouble eating chocolate, French bread, or something else? And I was like, what the point? And of course, it's everything that you have to snap on, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. I've done a recce so I can find it. Yvonne told me where it was, so I did a recce. Yeah, can we have some graphics, please? Because uh, there are so few of these that, oh, I love it. What would you make? Now, you see, Hannah says she's embroider these. She would do a, w a wall hanging with embroidery on it. I just think they're exquisite, aren't they? Look. Nine left of these. When you've all checked out, there are only nine left of these. Oh, message from Karen. Love that Alison Glass panel just popped into my basket. Make sure you check out, because these are going to go. The black ones are definitely going to go. I've got a few of the white ones, but the black one's going to go. I wonder what would happen if you mix. Could you mix them? Oh, sorry, you want to see it again? Yeah, coming in really close. Just get rid of that. That's it. There you go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, that's nice. I like that colour wheel in the middle there. Pancake Tuesday is next week, John, and Easter is the first week of April. June says, I agree, the Easter egg chocolate straight from the fridge. Pancake Day is next Tuesday. Are we on next Tuesday? Parts of that again. Yeah, no, are we on a week today? 
Oh, so we have to, who's bringing the pan? Have we got a little stove out there? Oh, got a whole cooker. Got a whole cooker on the other side of the studio. I could bring a pan. No, a frying pan. A wok. You need... No, no, you can just use a metal, any metal on a convector, yeah. No, 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 you can use... Uh, uh, you, there are some pans that don't work, but normal pans will work on there. We're not really going to make pancakes on the show. I hope we're doing aprons next week. It'd be fantastic if we could open that. The other side of the studio is a kitchen. Right? Not, not that we use, a, a set kitchen, you know, like... Um, it's not tidy enough today. We'd have to do something about it. Oh, we'll get Delphine to make pancakes then. She'll be good at that one. We've got Delphine next Tuesday. Oh, wow. 9 99 Is your... Oh, hang on. Uh, Julie says, I love your shirt. Oh, no. Truly said, no, I haven't said that before. Normally, I think you're hot stuff, but I'm concerned this morning. D -d -d you're fine. You're absolutely fine. I'm absolutely fine. Don't worry, Trudy, at all. Oh, be quiet. You've made Hannah worried now, Trudy. See what you've started. She doesn't care. She's worried about, you know, locking up. If I pass out, she won't be to lock up until I've, you know. <laughs> it's all right. You can go. Elliot's here. Oh, wow. I wouldn't bother. Nine ninety nine. Are you sure you didn't get one that started later? Nine ninety nine. Beautiful. I'm moving on. Talking about embroidering now. I've got a little starter kit, which has got some um, iron-on interfacing, it's got some calico, it's got a hoop, and it's got some embroidery floss. No needles. Hannah's saying, get rid of this, right, and get rid of that, and you buy the dark panel, and you can embroider onto the dark panel. Now, the panel doesn't come... Now, before you start, I'm mixing two things here. The panel doesn't come with it. Oh, the dark panel sold out now, so you could do it with the pale panel. Hang on, let me fold that back up. You need the interfacing on the back on... on, on I don't know why you'd need it on the back of Calico or on the back of here. You can put interface. It depends what you're going to make out of it, I suppose, doesn't it? So, look... Put it in a hoop. You don't get the panel with it. I just need to point this out. You do not get the panel. But if you wanted to embroider, that the, the panel's in the box there, and then the, this, this little kit here. Put the panel through there. Embroider on the moth there with the different colours. You've got calico, which you can just go into your stash. Oh, no, I'll tell you what the calico's for. is When you finish... Oh, no, 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 that's rubbish. Well, no, because you don't want to cut that out of this panel, do you? Yeah, test your stitches on the calico first, then do it on the real thing. Okay, you will need some needles if you're going to do that, though. Yeah, I can see some of them. I'm just folding that one up there. There we go. Needles. Now, I've lost my mark off this desk. Where are they? Yeah, but that's nowhere near it, where it used to be. It used to be over here somewhere. Right, one ninety nine for hand needles for embroidery or crewel work. Size is five to ten, and you get sixteen of them in there. No, I haven't got any other needle. I haven't got any other needles at all. I've also got some. Packets like that embroidery floss that you saw earlier. I've got two different ones here. 
I've got rainbow, which I presume now is the uh, variegated. Oh, somebody hasn't taken that off the early bird. You're getting that instead of 9 99 you're getting that for 6 99 Oh, now, please stop. Um, Julie's now said, are you okay, John? I hope so. Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> Ava says, what's the panel for? Ava, you can make whatever you want out of it. We want to make a cushion out of it, put it in the middle of a quilt, use it to make um, a wall hanging. You can do whatever you want to make out of it. The panel looks amazing cut up and made into an orange peel quilt. I've got both panels, light and dark, and that's what I'm going to do with them, says Princess. Yeah. Got a message on my bottom. I have the smaller Alison glass panel. I'm going to embroider the panel, then staple it to a canvas and use them as pictures. Stay safe, says Ellen. We will. Ellen, thank you very much indeed. It's a lovely idea. You wouldn't be able to use a staple gun, would you? To put it on... Oh, yeah, when you stretch the canvas round, you can, yeah. Anyway, that's your, that's your rainbow. Then I've got my pastel. Now these are 99 because they're not uh, they've not been an early bird. Oh yeah, there's three layers in there, look. Hang on. There you go. Oh, I didn't show you that on the other one. Gorgeous. Uh, Ava, you're welcome, my lovely sis. Thank you for your for your um ideas. Oh now. Is there more on the trolley? Oh, OK. I'll just talk a bit slower. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, OK, we've only got one of the Moda house quilts left, right? But we've got a, a picture here from Janice saying, I have just started my quilt. Cutting out took a while. Everything labelled. So far, so good, says Janice. Oh, Janice, you'll have a lovely time putting that together. How did you, ch ja Janice, how did you choose which, uh, the, the French window bit, I call it, because you get more of those on the, pa on the panel that you need, don't you? How did you choose which ones are going into which house? That's what I'm going to be interested in, finding out. And there's the um, finished quilt. Obviously, also have the writing on it. It's huge. The houses are huge. Heather. Oh, Heather, we can't sort out your delivery issues, but if you send Hannah an email before one o'clock, she can forward it on to the right people. You need to email your issue to studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com, and she will forward it on to the people who can deal with it. We can't do anything about it from here, I'm afraid. But do email and she will forward it to the right person so you know that your question has gone to the right person to be answered. Oh, yeah, now, Yvonne McAtamney from Village Fabrics was on a couple of weeks ago. And there's not many of these left. With Oh, let's do the bright one first then. Very, very limited i.e. one. You get all the fabrics. There's the cushion front. When was... Um... Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. 26th of January she came in to do... She was on with me, 26th of January. I'm not going to open it. Open it. No, the lollipop fabric. No, it isn't, look, because it's that. Oh, because the folds there, there, and there. I can't remember. One was a lollipop fabric, wasn't it? Maybe she just folds it so it looks like different pieces. Yeah, that's got the lollipop fabric. No, but this also has lollipop fabric, wasn't it? Narrower. Different. Yeah, because that's your border. 
The black is the contrast binding, and then you've got four different colours in this one. Okay, make sure you check out on that. There's only one left. I also have this one in the pastel. Also very popular. Demo, demo the same day. And this is a lollipop panel where it's all those fabrics are all on one piece of fabric. $15.99. There it is. Did Yvonne take that picture? Because that looks like her carpet in her house, doesn't it? Oh, I know. I've, I've been like that through the French windows at the back, having a look. $15.99. 26th of January, that was demoed. I've got a book to show you. Sew and Quilt, Techniques and Projects for Hand Stitching and Patchwork, A Beginner's Guide by, Su we love this, by Susan Beale. Have you not seen this one? You must have done, because I've seen it. You must have done. There she is. Now, I've not seen it before. I've obviously skipped over techniques, you see, at the beginning. Oh, there you go. Hoops. Embroidery stitches. Look. Log cabin. Clipping corners. These are all still techniques. Patchwork and quilting. Little stalk scissors there. Right, but... There's so many techniques in here, aren't there? We need to get to the projects. That's what I want to get to. Look. Half square triangles, making pinwheels. Half square triangles. Right, here we go. Embroidery, sewing and patchwork, part one. Filler embroidery sampler. So that's what you could do with your calico and your hoop and your thread. That one's not painted. That one's covered in bias binding. No, that's covered in fabric, that one. There they are. Then look. Aren't they gorgeous? Then you've got your echo quilted pillows. Hannah was talking about echo quilting earlier with that square fabric, wasn't she? Then we've got the Sashko drawstring bag. Look what you need, everything there, techniques used, how to make the bag, cutting key. Then you've got your square within a square log cabin pillow. Now, I don't agree that that's a log cabin. Emma, who's our expert in today on log cabins. Half square triangle pin cushion. I don't know why I read it like that. I do apologise. Pretty little red, no, pretty little rail fence needle book. Oh, I've got to talk to you about needle books in a minute. Radiating diamonds. Oh. oh, now this is clever, because that's if you put the blocks going like in a diamond, but if you place the blocks in a different direction, you get that. Then you've got quilts on the go here, floating crosses. We've got basket weave. We've got flying in pairs. There, that's flying geese, obviously. Sunlit baby quilt. Now, we've made this with somebody. We've got this here somewhere. Or am I thinking about sewing quarter? No, no, we've definitely got that here. Pinwheels baby quilt. They don't have to be baby quilts. They can be lap quilts. You can make a bit more fab, buy a bit more fabric, make them bigger. Memento midi quilts. Mutterhood. What does that mean? Mutterhood. Mountain hood. Mount Hood, to know what that is. Golden Rays, we've made that one. Because I remember that this picture. Bright Star, 
She's got lots of soft toys, isn't she? Actually, she got another. She's got a lot of these IKEA trolleys. No, she's got a blue one in that bedroom, and she's got a white one in that bedroom. Oh. There, look. Not quite sure what that one is. That's just the backing, I think, of the... That's a wedding quilt. May your joys outnumber your sorrows. Imagine saying that on your wedding day. It's nice though. Now that's, isn't that log cabin, but side, oh no, maybe not. Yeah, that's log cabin. Oh, it's orange peel. No, it says it's an orange peel design. I thought, oh no, no, the orange peel is the quilting. Yeah, there it is. They're log cabins, definitely, aren't they? And there's the orange peel quilting, look. Yeah. Make a cushion. Wedding picture. Oh, anniversary, that one. Anniversary mini quilt. Rather, no, no quote with the anniversary. Just the quote only comes at, at, when you get them ready. Birthday mini quilt. That's pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. I will sanitise now. Courthouse steps. Housewarming gift. It doesn't have to be a housewarming gift. But that's um, log cabin just done at place differently, isn't it? A very... And there she is again. Susan Beale. Any relation to... Oh, as, as Natasha... Uh, not Natasha. As Letitia. What's she called? Letitia Jean. What character does she play? Mitchell. Sharon. Has Sharon killed off Ian Beale yet? Oh, he's gone missing now, has he? I don't watch it. All I know... On Christmas Day, wasn't she trying to poison him and make him eat the pudding or something like that? Oh, oh they're not killing him off, are they? I doubt it. Yeah, right, next. Oh, I'll leave then, shall I? Quilt label panels. Oh, I see they're all different. So I've got a blue, pink, and lilac one here. Does, oh, it's 90, UU91. So they've all got different names. This is traditional quilt pattern, quilt label, sorry, not quilt patterns. Pink, blue, and lilac, this one. Just use them for anything. That'd be for quilts. Because especially these little ones. Anything you've made, teddy bear, bag, cushion. I've not seen these before. Seven ninety nine. Lot of lot of labels on there, aren't there? Oh, I've got lots in different. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go in different colourways. These are exclusive to Sewing Street. So this one here is M-U-Z-U-U-91, red mustard and grey. Traditional. $7.99. All the quilts that people have made me, there's all a label. The, the, the one that um, Jane Alcott made for me, which is on my bed, my log cabin one, that's got a big label on it saying when it was made, who it was made by. Why it was gifted. Because I was cold. No, because it was my birthday. Then this one next, which is, ooh, plain pink, this one's called. Nothing plain about that. Uh, 92, this one finishes. Pretty, isn't it? If you made a well, pink quilt. Why would you have to be an anniversary quilt? The thing is, it's more, it's one, two, it's more, it's like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 27 different projects, Hannah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> do you say it? Alan's getting very confused in the gallery, everybody. I've moved on. Pink heart, oh, hiccup, excuse me. This one's called pink hearts. This one's very badly cut. Daisy, Ditsy, sorry, Ditsy quilt labels, pink heart, ending 18. Twenty-seven. Seven ninety-nine. <laughs> uh, now I've got uh, modern blue and pink. Uh, glad I'm going out. No, hang on. I'm not going out. Enjoying the show. Been cutting a pattern as I've been watching it. Thank you, Glennis. Me, uh, modern, modern quilt labels, blue and pink, this one. These are Hannah's favourites. Don't know that put you off, though. They're on all of them, aren't they? Messy Manji. Uh, hi, John. Thank you so much for a really lovely show. I've not finished yet. I've still got two. How many hours got? 11, 12, two hours to go. Uh, I could not think of a better person to spend my snowy cold morning with your... Oh, Angie, you're very kind. You're very kind. This one's classic in plain black. Oh, you're right. I, I take that back. I thought the same machines won all of them. Obviously, they're not on the classics, the same machines. That's what it is. Mm hmm. I'll move on. This one looks nice. This one looks different to all the others. <laughs> it won't be. This one is Ditsy Blue. Same machines. <laughs> Making your mind up, as Buxford would say. Pink and blue, modern, both single figures now. Both single figures. Right, last few minutes of the hour. Rebecca's up in the next hour doing the... Oh, do... Uh, Wendy Gardner books, Fat Quarter books, and she's going to be doing an apron and a scissor keeper. But there's loads of projects. Then after that, we've got sewing machines with all sorts of bits and bobs in that hour. But you've bought most of them, so I've, we'll be chattering for quite a bit in that hour. I've got still these to go yet. Emma, Emma wants to go home already. Emma's new, and she's like, oh, is it, can we not go home? I don't know. Right. City Lights first, Lou Orth Designs. Now, we've done most of these, but I haven't got the quilts to show you. Got a picture. <laughs> Has Anna gone home? She said, I've got this one in my room. And I thought she meant her bedroom. She definitely hasn't got a room here. 8 99 for a pattern, that. It's beautiful, isn't it? City Lights by Lou Orth. Moving on to the next one. Okay. So I don't know how, go and stand in this other set holding it, right? And then we can, I'm not, she's not coming on my set, that's all. She can stay on the other set, right? This is Hannah modelling City Lights by Lou Orth. Just prove you've got your mask on, Hannah. <laughs> she has got a mask on. She has got, I promise she has got a mask on. Yeah. Oh, she just knocked it off while she was holding the thing up. There she is, there she is. It gets lovely. Thank you, Hannah. That's City Lights, just the pattern, obviously, not the... Um, have you got to run in there for all of them? No. <laughs> okay, which one would you like to go to next, then? 
I know we've definitely done these, because or maybe I've just done the patterns before. Okay, so we'll do this one. Charmed, I'm sure. Charmed, I'm just going to take that shot. I'll just show you what you get for your... Um... Oh, this one's 9 49 This is a different price. Very thorough. And you've got just a little booklet forever. Look, there you go. Oh, and then colouring in page. £9.49, that one. Moving on. Two vintage tiles next. Just seven of these left. You see, this one's eight ninety nine again. So I don't know why that middle one was a different price. Vintage, just pattern only. Vintage tiles quilt. Lovely. Oh, bless you. Oh, it's horrible when you sneeze into a mask, isn't it? Ooh. Okay, moving on to the last one. This last item of the hour. This is called Wildflower Meadow. Oh. Oh, no. Who's got cheap perfume on? Hannah started sneezing. Oh, and this one's 9 49 So, obviously, some are different prices. I do apologise. Oh. <gasps> She said it was me that made her sneeze. That's fine, because I've got my thing in. Now, you might be able to see a state. I tried to clean my teeth again this morning. It went like that. Just so you know. One message before we go for the break. Morning. Please wish my baby 15 today a happy birthday. He loves watching you from Lindsay in Essex. What's his name? Lindsay, message back with his name. Oh, you're very kind. Uh, I'm going for a break, but Lindsay, if you message in, we'll do it, show it after the break. Um, so, when we come back, it's Wendy Gardner's books, two books with Take Two Fat Quarters, so we're selling 10 to you four. We've got bundles, and we've got Rebecca Harrison showing you how to make the apron and the scissor keeper. We'll see you in three minutes, four from now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. 
Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Keep biting my lip. I don't know what's happened. When I did my apples, I bit my lip. I've just had a biscuit now and I've just bit my lip again. Anyway, what does it mean? It's like ears burn. You know when your ears are burning, you know somebody's talking about you and things like that. I wonder what biting your lip means. Or itchy palms. Right for receiving, left for giving. Yeah. Right, this hour, Wendy Gardner, as you know, is one of our presenters here. She's also an authoress. And we've got two of her books today. Oh, OK. So, right. Don't buy it yet. Don't buy it yet because I'll take you through the two books individually. Um, oh, hang on. Which way should I do it then? I'll show you the bundle, right? There's a slight saving if you buy both of them, right? They're how much? 9 99 each. Oh, if you buy them together, you get 17 99 There you go. Oh, they haven't put it in the graphics. So you save money. If they're nine ninety nine each, but if you if you um, buy them together, you get them for seventeen ninety nine. Right. So what I'll do is that's the bundle. They're the two books. They're the two books. Take two fat quarter gifts. Take two fat quarter home. Right. So in the bundle, you get both of these. Right for seventeen ninety nine. Now, if you only want one. That's fine, but in a minute we'll put the graphics in for each one at nine ninety nine. I have to say the home one feels fatter than the. Not that I'm a fattest, obviously can't be with my belly, but the the, the home one feels fatter than the gift one. Yeah, hope charity begins at home. Right. Okay. So let's do. So that's the bundle of both of them. Well, I'll just start, and Hannah can put. I'm going to do home first. Okay. Yeah. So there's Wendy. You all know Wendy. Take two fat quarters home. <laughs> it's in the weird old place over there. But anyway, here we go. Let me move this over. What you didn't see at the end of the last hour, these stools that we've got are the wrong height for these tables. And I went to leave. And you know that thing where your leg was just wedged in? And I started having a little mini panic attack because I couldn't get my leg out. And I was, I was laughing. I was like laughing with them, going, I can't get my leg out. That happened to me once in a, in a, um, um, 
a shop in Carnaby Street. I was, I was, I'm going back a long time now, when uh, cowboy boots were very fashionable. And I've got very, very wide calves, right? And I put on this pair of boots, right? And then went to take them off and they wouldn't come off. And it was in the middle of summer, so I had really bad hay fever. I had a huge panic attack. And I'm not, there's nothing, I'm not making a joke. It was a proper panic attack. I used to get really, really bad panic attacks. So I'm not taking the mickey or anything like that. And the two girls, I couldn't get this boot off, right? The two girls in the shop just stood there going, oh, like, like, look. And I was sweating and sneezing and snuffling and panicking. And oh, it was horrible. So I've never bought, I never bought any. Oh no, that was, well. Oh, no. Hannah's trying to remind me of another story now. One year, I, I get really bad hay fever. And one year, Charles Wenton, you know, the hairdresser, said to me, oh, I get this brilliant jab. Oh, I get this brilliant jab. Go to the doctor and get this. Then Chris Evans said to me, I get that brilliant jab too, right? So I went to my doctor said, can I have this jab? And I went, no, we don't do that jab. And I was like, oh, I really, really want it. No, no, no. Anyway, then another doctor came in and I said, oh, I'm, I'm having this um, steroid jab. And he was like, oh, you have nothing. Yeah, yeah, so I'm having it for my hay fever. So I had to go to the chemist, get it, bring it back. Anyway, I had the worst side effects. And the night that I had the jab, right, it, I lived in Twickenham and it's, in, in Feltham, the Tesco's was open 24 hours a day in those days. I was found in Tesco's at midnight, right, looking at paddling pools, crying because I couldn't decide which paddling pool I was going to buy for Fern Britain. <laughs> I was working with Fern at the time. It wasn't a random, but how, I mean, very strange, very strange. The thing is, right, didn't have any hay fever all summer that year, but I had these, oh, it was just the weirdest summer. Anyway, should we get back to the book now? That's more important. Cafetiere Cozy, reversible placemat, coiled fabric bowl. Oh, now Crazy Lorraine made one of those for me. Top tech pillows, gardener's apron, coming up later. Two, oh, you can tell Wendy likes her gin, can't you? Two bottle bag. Oh, we'll look at that in a minute. Four patch coasters, oven glove, hanging loop organiser, flower power pillow, cable tidy roll. Oh, I could use one of those. Elton, oh, I'll tell you an Elton John story when we get to that one. Duffel knitting bag. Oh, I found the picture of me. You know, it is um, 50th birthday party where he had the big wig. I did that costume. Me and Sandy Powell did that costume. And there was a picture on the front of a magazine of him leaving his house in, in Notting Hill and me standing behind him carrying everything. I'll bring it in one day and show you. Summer slippers, dotty notebook cover and twisted tuck pillow, Hannah. Twisted tuck pillow, that one. OK, so let's go on with the projects. These are all your techniques. All going through the book here. There's an awful lot in here for your 9 99 or even less if you buy both of them. Applique, twin needles, decorative stitches, free motion, quilting, patchworking, uh, adding trims, adding piping, adding bias binding, adding a zip. Right, here we go, projects. This is what we want, isn't it? Cafetier, cafetier cosy and coasters. Ah. And um, when Jules did my show uh, last week or the week before, no, two weeks ago now, she brought her own cafetiere and everything, her own coffee. I oh, know she's very, she's a, I, I don't blame her, she's a coffee snob, you know. That's not meant horribly. Reversible placemat. I wonder what's on the other side. Oh, there you go. So on one side, it's like that. Lots of lovely beginners projects in here, aren't there? Four patch coasters. Oven glove. I, I was trying to figure that out, thinking how you got your hand in, but that's obviously the lining, isn't it? Hanging hoop organiser and flower wrist pin cushion. Oh, that's all on one, look. Very nice. Flower power pillow. Here we go, coiled fabric bowl. I'm going to have a go at that, I think. That's a bit like Bozal sell their, um, to make bowls and mats, don't they? So then you stitch them together and it can't cut up. Top Tech Pillows there for your, um, oh now, that's a dinosaur. We've had one with ears before, haven't we? Summer Slippers. No, now you see, I'd be careful with these. I'm just saying, because I don't know what's on the bottom. If you came down my staircase in those, you'd go A over T. Craft Basket Liner with Pockets, that's nice. That's nice. Very useful, that one. Um, Oh, that's clever. It's a liner, that's why. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you didn't read that word. This is your knitting. Knitting bag, duffel knitting bag. I wonder why it's duffel. Right, cable. Now I've got the most... Oh, no, my tech cables are all nicely tidy behind the, the telly now. Not in one of those, obviously. Now, what I was going to say about this is when I did Elton John's birthday costume, the first one, when he was 47, we were in his house on the day of the party. No, no, it might have been a week before the party. And he said, oh, I don't know which jewels to wear. So he sent his housekeeper down to the safe and she came back with cable tidy rolls like this and he unraveled them like this. And they had all these incredible, like, necklaces and rings. Obviously he had for shows, but they weren't costume jewellery. They were real gemstones. It was like... Hannah says that's what it's like in her bedroom when she chooses what jewellery to wear in the morning. Here we go, Gardener's Apron. So that's the second project that we're going to be doing in this hour, isn't it? I've got that right. That's the... It doesn't have to be Gardener's, though, because you've used yours as a sewer's apron, haven't yeah. you? Right, here we go, Wendy. I wonder if she's watching. Do I've never seen a two-bottle bag before. Yeah, your gin and your tonic. Or in my case, it'd be cordial and fizzy water. I like that old milk bottle. That's a nice idea. Oh, do they do that in what cafe? Oh, trendy cafes. No, I don't do trendy cafes. Do they do it in the one around the corner to you? When it's open, obviously. Uh, oh, no. The man that Hannah's always fancied in the shop, but his girlfriend works there too. He wasn't nice to her this week because she knocked the sign over outside. Dotty, no, don't, don't be blaming the wind. Just because you had, you know, beans the night before. Dotty notebook cover. There's so many projects in here, aren't there? There it is. Oh, I see what it means. Yeah. Oh, you can tell Hannah's been there. Hannah's glasses. Hannah's cup of tea. Oh, hang on, hang on. I forgot complaints now. Oh, Jackie says, I love your stories. Thank you. Alison Marion says, I've made the slippers, John. You buy a special fabric for the sole. It has little silicon non-slip spots on it. Oh, there you go. Uh, love your story, says Margaret. You're more than welcome. Oh, 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 hang on. Pattern sheet. Take two fat quarters. Blimey, you're getting loads for your money. Mo in the Highlands. She used to be a professional ice skater, don't you know? Where is it? Gin bottle holder. Sounds like my kind of project. Nice shows today, John. Minus six up here, so staying home, staying safe. Yeah, well, you be careful at your age, Mo. We don't want you going out slipping over now, do we? Oh, she's an ice skater. She, she'll be able to keep her balance. What am I talking about? Anyway, look. No, don't go out. Stay in, stay in, stay in. Can't get in the hot tub. Because it'd be nice in the hot tub, but it's... Oh, no, I'm not an advocate of hot tubs, because I always think, wonder what's in the water myself, you know. But um, it'd be nice to be in a hot tub, with, like in, in a lovely holiday resort with snow, like in Norway or somewhere like that, you know what I mean? Oh, when Hannah went to Champlain's, it snowed, and she went in the hot tub there. Yeah. Anyway, look, 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 look. So there's different... Pa it's just one-sided, so you can cut them out as well. You can cut those out if you wanted to. Right, now, I've got another... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Rebecca. I've got a whole other book to show you. I'll be a bit quicker with the other book. Right, so that's that one. So you can buy it on its own for 9 99 or you can buy it in the two together for uh, 17 99 17 .99. Right, here we go. Oh, now, do some of these wrap overlap? Because there's that thingy again. We'll have a look. Same photo. Is it in the right place? Sorry, there you go. Right, with this one, you've got your two-tone tote bag, your cosmetic pouch, your oh, I need one of those, sleep, easy neck pillow, eye mask, Christmas crackers, stitch and flip zipped pencil case, makeup kit roll, super summer shorts. Now, they look a bit dangerous because they've got great big wooden pencils in the pocket. Scissor keep, that's what we're going to make now. Pink cushion in a cup. Tot, uh, now, who do I know? Oh, I know it's made one of those. Tots trapeze dress, flying geese lunch bag. Oh, now, hasn't Rachel Ilsley made that one on a Sunday? Uh, retro purse, tablet sleeve, two-tone teddy bear, vintage-style winter stocking. Right, so here we go. I'll do all the techniques. I'll, keep, I'll go over the techniques because they'll be the same sort of thing, won't they? Right, projects. Here we go. Two-tone tote bag. 
That's like, um, in Ernie, and if I, she, what was the name of the lady that Ernie and what's his name fought over? Anyway, I'll think about that. Right, two-tone tote bag with a plique. That's nice, isn't it? Then the cosmetics pouch. Hannah was, Hannah's isn't that small. Makeup kit roll. No, super summer shorts. I wouldn't put pencils in a kiddie's shorts like that, but that's, it's only for a photo. I'm just being worried, worried. Right, this is what we're making later, a scissor keeper. Have you got three pairs of scissors to put in yours? Definitely. Yeah. That, yeah. Pin cushion cup. Uh, there, now I need one of these. I wonder if the pattern for that's at the back of the book. I might have to nick that. Then you've got your sleep eye mask. I wouldn't fall asleep being able to wear a mask. Uh, you know, like, kind of anything on my face. Tablet sleeve. Retro purse. Oh, it's big. Oh, I like that ring. I wonder where that ring's from. Um, oh, and how to resize your purse. That's important, isn't it? Because if you don't want it that big, how to resize your purse. Uh, flying geese lunch bag. I'm sure Rachel Ilsley's made that on a Sunday with Debbie. Uh, Tots trapeze dress. I've got a picture of me, not in a dress, but one of my first days at primary school wearing a tabard doing painting somewhere. Christmas crackers. My hair's a bit like it is today, actually. Christmas crackers. Nice. Uh, stitch and flip zipped pencil case. Like a bit of stitch and flip. It's a bit like quilt as you go, if you don't know what stitch and flip is. Uh, Two-tone teddy bear. She's from Teddington. No, that was... No, no hang on. And she dro he drove the baker's van. Ernie. Uh, uh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. I'm fine. I'm just trying to remember the words to the song. Right, now this one's got two pattern sheets in it. Two pattern sheets in this one. That's brilliant. I better get on. Oh, got a message from Diane. She complaining. Oh, hello, John and Sewing Street. My seven-year-old Maya now watches and recognises me. Say that again. Oh, she loves when I talk about the dress forms. Oh, Cherry, Blueberry and Blackberry. That's brilliant. So Cherry's over there and Blueberry and Blackberry. Blueberry and Blackberry. I was talking to Cherry earlier because I couldn't find her. And I was like, Cherry, where are you? Well, it doesn't help that we've got a very good friend called Cherry as well. So that confused everyone. Right, very quickly, before we go to do the sewing, I've got, these don't come with the books. These are just little bundles of fat quarters that have been put together for you. So the one that you did your first demo in, or not demo, with your samples from home, is this one. These are like clover leaves. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, it is clover. It's from the solstice range. Clover. These are all fat quarters. You get all four of those fat quarters for £13.99. That, that's the apron made out of two of them. And the scissor holder was made out of the other two, was it? Yeah. Emma? Oh! <laughs> the scissor holder was made out of the other two. There you go. There you go. Just one gonetto. Oh, sh uh, the ice creams are available. Thirteen ninety nine for the, come off that then four four fat quarters. That's it. Who said that? Oh no, there's loads. There's loads of them. She was called Sue, and she lived at number twenty two. Yeah, the, win the widow in Ernie was Sue. She lived all alone in Lindley Lane at number 22. And then two-ton Ted from Teddington. That's it. What I and he drove the baker's van. So I was mixing two people up, wasn't I? I kept thinking they wouldn't have called a girl two-ton Tessie, would they? But anyway. By the way, $13.99. I promise we'll get on with the sewing now. The one we're about to demonstrate in is this one, which is like a pastel sorbet range. Now, these might look plain on your telly, but they're those splodged. Splodge designs, seven ninety nine for four fat quarters. You get a meter of fabric there for seven ninety nine. A quarter of a meter in each one, obviously. Yes, yeah, Sue lived at number twenty two, all alone at Lindley Lane in number twenty two. Oh, hang on, John. Is there anybody there with you? <laughs> no, no, I haven't finished the sentence yet. 
Tina says, is there anyone there with you that had heard of Two Ton Ted or Benny Hill? No. Oh, no, yes. No, no. Well, you're quite old, aren't you yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they won't have done in no, there. No, the amount of times I say things and they're like, oh, what? <laughs> right, OK, let's move on, let's move on. So now, do you want me to go anywhere or do you want to go? Can I do YouTube? I'm going to do this one. Right, so this one's got little garlands on it. Oh, 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 look at this colour. Oh, I can't tell you what colour that is, but that's the colour of the sloth from earlier. I think it's mint green, but I can't be sure. Obviously, these are Michael, Michael Miller's there. They're Michael Miller's, but this, this is mint. Right, I'll, I'll get the panel in a minute for you and, and just have a look to see if it's the right colour. OK, so that's that bundle there. And then I've got this one here, which has got polka dot, polka dot, but... Oh, now, 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 now. I need to tell you that this fabric and this fabric are much thicker. These are like a canvas fabric, these, like a fine canvas, but they're much thicker than these two fabrics. They're not the same way. It won't matter. It won't matter, but... No, it won't matter, as long as you use the thicker one. If you're making the apron, you use the thicker one for the back, and then the... the these are our normal spot-on. You know what they feel like, but these are definitely heavier. Fifteen ninety nine, And then last but not least, they look enormous for a fat quarter. Hang on. Look, it's because they're extra wide, because they're a canvas. They're a big, big fat quarter, though, so you get any money's worth on that one. I'm not saying they're thick, heavy, like sailcloth, but they're heavier than the regular cotton. And then last but not least, oh, Liberté. Right, hang on. Oh, we've got, what's it? Um, Harriet's Pansies. Let me see. Now, isn't that one Novo Fireside? Oh, you can't remember. You haven't got the... Oh, that's wrong. Oh, that is so wrong. So you're getting three liberties, which they'd be they'd be a fiver each on any any day, and then you're getting your, your Rose and Hubble. That's a brilliant price. If you want that, come in and get it. Even if you're not going to do any of the projects that we're about to show you, I would definitely, definitely, definitely come in and get those. Oh, that's fantastic! Well, I might have, are there, how many of those have we got? Oh, there better be one left for me afterwards. That's all I'm saying. Right, there won't be. There won't be. Right. Very quickly do this, and then we'll go to... The, oh, lots of people saying num Lindley Lane at number 22. Thank you very much. Right, OK, Rebecca, sorry, I've taken up most of your time. Oh, it's all right. Uh, what are we doing first? The Scissor Keeper. Scissor Keep first. So the Scissor Keeper was in the... This is in the gift. Gift so, book. Yeah. It's in the take gift. So if you're only going to buy one, gifts. this is in the gift book. Yeah. Right, do, take me out of the box for a minute, because I'm going to go and find the sloth green. Thank you. You carry on. <laughs> OK, um. so as you were saying, the uh, patterns are in the back. Um, I traced the scissor keep one off on pattern paper, so I did that. And then um, I put the lines in and marked it. You can't see that, can you? My pencil marks are not very, um, not very uh, dark. So they've got I've, this line here is your first fold, so that's number one. This line here is your second, so that's number two. And this line here is your third. If I haven't got pattern paper at home, what can I use instead? Um, uh, trace, you know, like um, grease, -proof paper. Grease, -proof, grease proof paper would be brilliant, or newspaper. Yeah. Or, or right, oh, brown paper. Your, if you or brown, brown paper. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say brown, brown paper. paper, or, or um, do people still buy newspapers? Probably not. No, no. do they? I don't yeah. know. No, anyway, probably not. So yes. So, so when it when it's folded, yeah, you fold, I'm Yeah, you fold your first one that way. And then your second one comes across, and then your third one goes across like that. So you end up with like a cone shape, like that. Right. So it looks a bit strange when you cut it out. First oh of all, yes, yes, yes. Because you've got you've got like this this curve here, yeah. and then it's a bit it's a bit like a loaf of bread on that side, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so do you know what I mean? Like a cob. Yes, like a cob. Definitely. So yeah. So you turn that. And then, um, I've, so I've done orange on the one side. I matched up the orange with the cream. Yeah. Um, 
and then you need a, um, a lightweight wadding in between right um, and then quilt it how you like so I've I've gone across so make 640 be good for diamonds. that diamonds yeah. Yeah. yeah but you can do uh, uh, can I say have you muddled up to you've taken to right what I've done is because on can I am I allowed to take that out of there yeah yeah of course yeah. you are, yeah. On this, on this one, the I, I use this this fabric here, yeah, which is out of that that the other bundle, and I ha you, you need bias binding to go round. Oh, and you just made and I made that's plenty. fine. So, so if people are watching at home, you don't get the clover one in no, the other sorry, one. So, I've no, sorry, no, no, don't that apologize, up. but just so because people will be thinking, oh, I get the clover one. That's all. Yes, no, so you no. can either get the clover one or you get the one with orange. In, yes, and you yeah. can make your bind get something else. Yeah, the yeah. Liberty one sold out, has it? Oh. Okay, and the and the bundle of books you need to check out your baskets now because there's not enough to go around. That's for the bundle of both books. So please check out on that. The single books are still available and we're not able to put the two, the two together to create the bundles, I'm afraid. So if you've the, bun the bundles gone, you have to buy them individually. Right. Okay, that's okay. So, so once you've quilted, you're then gonna um, put your first lot of binds on. Now I can't, I've never been able to, you know some people can put their binding on like that and then put it under the, yeah. the machine and catch both sides. Never, I've never been able to do that. No. If I go around, there'll be a bit that's that's flopping. mixed. Yeah. So I've I've attached on one side, and then turn it over, and then I'm just going to put some pins in, and then stitch round. What some people do is they put the they machine it onto the wrong side. Yeah. Bring it over to the right side. And then they top stitch so that the right side is perfectly Yeah. Yeah. In place. Well I'm gonna I'm I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna try and catch this because obviously where you're folding it, you're seeing both sides. Yeah, of course. So um I will do my best to, but as that's never something I've been able to master, I have yeah. to say. All these years. All of these sewing. years, I know. I'd be I'd be able to get it, you know. The thing is, if you're doing it in a costume you would hand whip down the yeah, other side yeah, and you wouldn't have a it. top stitch. No, you wouldn't, would you? No, definitely not. So when you get to um, the corners, we're going to sort of mitre them a bit. So yeah. if you go... We we'll watch that, that perfectly, look. So if we go down to that side, push that side out of the way. Yeah. Move my finger out of the way. And then bring it over so that you get that little... Can you see yeah. that? There, mm -hmm. yeah. So you get that little tiny little mitre. mitre corner there, yes. Would you be able to get the scissor pattern out of a piece of A4 copy paper? Would it fit on an A4 copy I paper? I would say so. Yeah, I would say you could, yeah. Yep, that was for Wendy. Yeah. It's only I've I've only traced it off because there's pattern pieces on both there's, there's yeah, on you have, both in, on in both book, sides. You have to trace them off yeah. because in the other book you can cut them out yeah. so it's just one sheet, isn't it? Yeah. Only because you wouldn't you wouldn't want to lose no, you any of any of the no, other exactly. patterns. So right, so I'm just doing the same to that corner yeah. that I did to the other corner. While you're just pinning that round, yeah. I'm just gonna say for dawn. I know I just said that that minty green was perfect, but I want you to have a look to see if you think it's perfect because the minty green is slightly yellower than the sloth. Look. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So look, that's the sloth fabric. This isn't what's in the graphics at the moment, so don't ignore the graphics at the moment, right? Is that, ha ha Hannah not in there? Okay, ignore the graphics at the moment. So that's the minty green next to the sloth. It goes, but it's not the same colour. I thought it was the same colour. But right, I'll just take that out of shot now. Thank you. Right, I'm just doing this top stitch. Okay, um, do, well, just see the corner, how we stitch the corner. Yeah. 
I'm going to take it into that. That's it. And then turn. Oh, the bundle of books are sold out now, so you can buy them individually now. You can't buy them in the bundle. And this one's from Gift. Oh. Oh, what have you just hit? That's the handle just fell down on the... Oh, on the machine. So, on the machine, yeah. At uh, the machine, have you, oh, what you, are you using the 560? Yes, it yeah, is. The 560 yes. is available in the next hour. I'm doing the, I'm doing the 560 in the next hour. Yeah, it's a lovely machine. Sorry that? Oh, Lorraine managed to get both the books. Well done, Lorraine. Well done. Right, while we're stitching around there, um, have a quick look at this picture that's been sent in. Morning, John. I've made two items your guest... Oh, I've made the two items that your guest will be doing. This is Rebecca, Pam. Hello. Uh, oh, look. So she's done the scissor keeper and the apron. Oh, brilliant. How brilliant. Oh, thank you, Pam. Pamela, lovely strong name, that. Pamela. Pamela. Nearly there. Is it snowing outside? Oh, good. It's not, is it? No. 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 Oh, good. <laughs> no. Excellent. I think it's only our car park and the little road yes. out of our car park that's yeah. going to be difficult. Right, so, sewn all the way round. Yep. Uh, so now it's just a case of deciding which way you uh, want. Oh, right, which so, one you want at yeah. the front, yeah. So your first, your f the first... Cut is the deepest. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first fold yeah. is is um, just before that starts to go around that corner yeah. and the, into the point here. Yeah. So it, you fold that over like that. So if we do it this way. Yeah. And then you just put a couple of pins in and you're just going to stitch along the edge to, se oh, okay. to secure that. Yeah. And then that's obviously for your big scissors. Yeah. So you know, when I made this, I thought, why, why have I have I not got one of these? Why have you not got one of those? Because bec I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely, I need to make myself one. Because do you do that thing where on my work table I lose my, all the time I'm like this picking things yeah, up all yeah. the time, going where's, where's the scissors? I lose everything all the time. Yeah. I know. I say to my children, have you been in here? <laughs> yeah, I've, I can only talk to myself though. I can only blame myself. <laughs> or the dog. Blame it on the children or the dog. Mm, I've got either of those. Oh, you need to get a dog, John. Well, I'm going to get a dog when I retire. <gasps> Are you? Only because it wouldn't be fair. On its own. Life the way I lead, well, it's yes. a bit different at the moment. But yeah. normally I'm so seldom at home that it wouldn't yeah, be fair. Yeah, no, no, it wouldn't be fair. But what? I loved, I had, oh, you. well, I haven't seen you since. Uh, my friend Francesca. Um, has a dog called Ripley, and Ripley came to stay for two weeks. Oh, I last saw the picture on Facebook. Yeah, and she was gorgeous, mm. and I loved it. I loved it. So, and every day for the two weeks that she stayed, it was sunny. So we went for really, really, really long walks. And she's a London dog, and had oh, never been in the countryside loved before. It by She'd you. never seen a horse before, <gasps> or a rabbit, or a pheasant, or anything. And she just had. And when I took her back, she sulked for like over two weeks in London. She wouldn't move, she just sat in the kitchen with her head no, on. She's been spoiled, you yeah, see, yeah. out in the country. I know, it was, I oh, loved it, I absolutely you would, You'd have it. to get one. What, what would you get? Well, I always thought I'd get a little dog, but um, Rip, please, half Lurcher and half American Bulldog, and quite, yes. you know. And I loved, I loved it, but I'd have to have a dog that behaved itself. I can't bear it when I see people who've got dogs that don't behave and everything, yes. you know, whereas Ripley was brilliant. Ripley was fantastic. Yeah, oh, I've got a Spaniel. Oh, have you? He's mad. Yeah. Because they are mad. Yeah. But he's absolutely, he's gorgeous. Hasn't Tim Angel got Spaniels? I think oh, Tim I don't and know. have got Spaniels. Have they? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, he's just, yeah. Lorraine says, we've got snow in the West Midlands. Oh, don't be saying that, Lorraine. We're in Redditch Which, and yeah. I live in Stratford. Yeah, and I'm in uh, 
Bromyard in Herefordshire, so... Mm, you've got a long way to go. Have you got to go over mountains to get there? Please don't tell... Um, the roads will be fine. No, the roads, it, it, it was my, my little road this morning yeah. was bad. Yeah. And then when I got down to the, the, um, the main road that goes through the town, fine. fine no, no. And the motorways were fine. Yeah. And here was fine until you, do, until like, you, like you, said, until you got yeah. into there. We yeah. hardly had any in my village at all. It, when I came through Studley, there was a bit more there. But the roads, again, were fine. And it was only, like I was saying earlier, when you go from one main road to another main road, I had to go down a kind of slip road. And yeah. that hadn't been done. Yeah, that's, I mean... That's the trouble, isn't it? Because they don't do them all. No. So I'm just putting in this second okay. one now. It's a beautiful day in Hereford, says Helen. Oh, lovely. Is that near you, did you say? Yeah, it's about half an hour away oh, from me. Go. Helen says so, it's a beautiful day. Oh, there good. Today. And it's starting to snow in... Oh, we're not going to West Yorkshire, so we're fine. We do. We're fine about that one. <laughs> That's Margaret. You don't have to go via via Yorkshire to get home. No. So, so there's your two. Yeah. So now I'm going to do the last one. Let's get rid of those threads. And all of this is explained in the in the instructions. Oh the yes, book, yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. I mean, when when you first look at it, you think, oh right, how does that go? But actually, it's it, it's really well yeah, explained. Yeah. So then your third one comes back over the top like that, and then again. Or do you machine through that one? We're just gonna, yeah. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll see whether this will. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Go through it. Otherwise, um, just the hands, walking for it to be good. Just hand. It would be. It's been saying since four o'clock yesterday morning in South Leicestershire, but the sun is also shining. Says Wendy. Mm. I was saying it's. It snows lovely. Until you've got to go, go out somewhere, in it. especially when the time we have to leave in the morning. Yeah, because nobody's been on the roads at that point, have they? No, that's it. Right, let's see how we get on here. Oh, going now. We're going. We're fine. You see, it's a brilliant, a brilliant little machine. This I've yeah. got it in the next hour. People think, oh, it's just a starter machine, but look, it's going through all those layers of fabric. And that, you know, it's it's a lot because it's quilted as well. Mm. Snowing in County Durham again. We're not going via there either. <laughs> but thank you. That's a net. Curtain. There we go. And that's it. That is it. Take those off. And uh, yeah, so there's your. And obviously, like I said, you can do it the other way. So the orange would be here, and your cream would be there yeah, and there. Yeah. If that, it, which, you know, whichever I'll way. Oh, just you move were. to your right a little bit. Just off. Um, there we go. <coughs> got that? a message from so Anne. Let me just sanitise my hand because I coughed into it. Scissors in there. Uh, if you put the scissor keeper on a loop, you can add it to the apron and keep gardening scissors and clippers handy. My friends like them that way. Oh, Anne, that's yeah, a brilliant it's a very idea. Very good idea. Yeah, it is a good idea. Fantastic. Okay, so that's the scissor keeper, which came from the gifts Gift. book. Yeah, We're now jumping over book. to the home book to do yeah, the apron. Now, this, would be br this apron one would be brilliant for a beginner, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it would. Let me find it in here. I always look, oh, there it is. I always go past it. There we are. So there's no pattern in the back for this yeah. because you're just you're given the, the measurement yeah you're okay. given everything that you need um so it's a big re a big rectangle for your main right okay can i just point out if you bought the buffalo buffalo <laughs> i haven't got a buffalo one if you bought the butterfly and spots one your butterfly fabric needs to be the equivalent of your purple and your spots Need to be the, the equivalent, or or the other, or, or the, the other butterfly. Yeah, yeah. But this definitely, this one or this one definitely have to be at the back because they're heavier than these. If you try and do it the other way round and have that as your backing and put your pocket on, this is going to be too heavy. That's the bundle there, the butterfly fat quarter pack. Because these two are like a light canvas, and these two are our normal quilting weight cotton. You know, the, the Rose and Hubble. So ju just as a tip, that when you get it home, you'll feel it as soon as you open it. I mean, they're beautiful fabrics, but just so you know, these are slightly heavier. That's all. Right, sorry. Okay, no, that's fine. So you, 
So the main bit is a rectangle. Yeah. And then your pockets is um, so you, you you've got double. The whole pocket is double thickness, is, is, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. doubled over. Yeah. So you just do um, a line of top stitching across the top, and it's really up to you where you want to divide that pocket up to. Okay. So whatever you're going to put in, you can have, you know, smaller pockets. Yeah, so if you're a makeup artist, you were using it to be a makeup lots artist, of, you do lots, lots of little of, ones yes. to be brushes and things. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, definitely. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to top stitch around those three edges. Yeah. And then um, probably do a seam down the... Middle. Around the middle and then okay, two perfect. either side. Uh, Deborah's watching with Chili Essex, satyr stuffing, she said. Are you eating? What are you eating? Something nice. Oh, are you stuffing hearts? Are you stuffing hearts, Deborah? Uh, Sandra, whoopee, my machine has just arrived. I'm so happy. Oh, which one did you buy, Sandra? I wonder which one you've got. Did we ever hear back from the, the lady with the son who liked watching with his name? Oh, Hannah, 40 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, it's Jack who helped with his science homework last week, so that'll be a fail oh. then. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Uh, I, I can't remember what the question was. It was something of a science question. I just kind of... Oh. I don't think I was very helpful. I think other people came up with the answer. I just instigated it. <laughs> don't do they? Don't have sewing at school anymore. No. Well, no, they do. Um, uh, Sally, who lives in my street, has got a lovely daughter called Molly, and she does. I don't think it's called sewing anymore. It's not called. It's part of design and technology or something. Right. Yeah. And she's doing a fashion, doing a fashion kind of course. But since they've gone back after the lockdown, they're not allowed to use sewing machines. Oh, so it's can't all theory. Touch them. They oh. can do sewing machine when they go home. If yeah. they've got a sewing machine at home, they can go home, but they can't have a sewing class in the thing. So I keep, I, I get, um, obviously get my Simply Sewing magazine every month. So I take the patterns around and she can have those to practice on oh. and things like that. But, um, but yeah. But yeah. Oh, hang on, message. Morning, John and team. I love the stow and should be in Austria with my niece and her newborn baby girl called, now how do I say that? Chiara. Chiara or Chiara, Chiara. Wendy, thank you, Wendy, my love. Austria, well, you've got the snow, haven't you? You can mm. pretend. Oh, she got the 680. Elna 680, can't wait to get going after, after stroking it for about 24 hours. Sandra, that's what I've got. That's the machine that I've got. You'll love it. You will absolutely love it. So I'm just doing this centre seam. Say that again. I'm just doing the centre seam down the centre. Oh yes, of course, yeah. Now, do you start at the top and work to the bottom, or do you, does it matter? Yeah. Well, I've just started from the top, but actually, you should start from the bottom okay. in case oh. in case it um, Rather puckers. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you should. So there's. There's that one. And then um, I think I'll probably do one halfway. OK. Oh, I'm a little bit worried now. I mentioned earlier in the break that I bit my lip twice yes. today. Apparently I said, what's it like about, you know, itchy palms and all that. It's um, to do with anxiety and stress. Oh. And fear. So it must be oh. you. I'm <laughs> frightened of you. <laughs> I don't think so. Or you can be quite fierce. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> Not in the slightest. That's what's funny. I'm frightened of Hannah. <laughs> oh, she's waving at me. Oh, I've just bit my tongue again. Oh, no, not my tongue, my lip. Oh, now Rachel's just missing. Rachel, did you do, is this the book that you did the flying geese bag out of? I think you did the flying geese bag out of this one on a Sunday with Debbie. What was it called? Was it lunch? Was it called a lunch bag? In which book was it in this one? In the two bottle bag.
Oh, hang on. Was it in the home one or the gift one? Oh, I'm looking in the wrong one. That's why. Oh, I should just look at the front page, shouldn't I? Because there's a picture of all of them at the front page. Yeah, the flying geese lunch bag. You're right, as always, Hannah. What is it? What's it like to be so blooming perfect? <laughs> oh, yes, it was, she said, yeah. Pam Minihani says, I've had to send my husband back upstairs to his office. He's been, been sat next to me all morning, wittering away whilst I'm trying to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, well, if he, it's a bit late to go to work, quarter to 12, won't his work colleagues be thinking it's odd that he hasn't been to his desk? It must be so tough. If you've got a family and you try, like Delphine, right? She has her doing her work, her husband's working at home and homeschooling. Yeah. And you know, it's nice to have a break from them sometimes, isn't it? Do you yes. know what I mean? No, definitely. Not saying there's anything wrong with Delphine's husband, but in any shape or form, but do you know what I mean? It's just like, it must be weird after not spending 24 7 with some with a whole family to yeah. suddenly spending. And you're, you're just all on well, top you of each other. Yeah, must know you're, with all your on, kids at yeah home you're all on top of each other. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's, it's very strange. It's very odd. Right, so you put so, the pockets on. Yes, yeah, so I've done the pockets, done my... I mean, you could, you could, you know, do them again if you yeah. wanted to. Um, so in, in, in the book, she gives you the measurements for um, the waistband, which just covers um, the front oh, okay. of your panel there yeah, because yeah. she su suggests that you use uh, ribbon. Right. But you've got fabric, you've got lots of fabric left over. So I just decided to make the ties out of the fabric. Out of the fabric out, out and the, the waistband all in one yeah, go. Yeah, so, it's, so I, I just put it all together. And how long, how long a piece did you cut then for it? So she suggested that um, each of the, um, the ties is yeah. like 1.2 metres right. um, in length because... Obviously, in, in the book, she put it behind and, and then in front. And brought it back yeah. 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 So I'm just going to attach this from the back so that I can bring it forward and then top stitch. Yeah. So is any of it, is, is it or the whole thing just folded still at this point? It's just a one piece of fabric It's just one half. piece, yeah, it's just one yeah. piece of fabric with your pockets. No, 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 the sorry, the, the, the strap, the... the, the oh, pie. this, yes, yes, it's one, it's one piece, and all I've done is um, folded it in half and ironed it so that I've got that nice crease, so I okay. know where the top of my waistband is. Yeah. So. I just attack. Oh gosh, sorry if you can hear my stomach. I haven't eaten yet today. Is that your tummy rumbling? That's my tummy. I, I thought it was the warehouse people no. upstairs pushing a trolley across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they've been very quiet today. <coughs> Excuse me. No. They've been very quiet today. Why well, haven't you eaten anything? Um, Did you not bring any? I, I told think, you. No, to bring no, something. I have. Oh no, no, I've got, I've got stuff in there. I just. Just, just mean you'll get in the car and you'll stuff yeah. it all. Wow, well, that's home. because I was trying to be really healthy, so I've just bought things like fruit and and you know when you're sitting around, like, I don't really fancy that, fruit. but I will eat it in yeah. the car. Yeah, because yeah. that's because no. that's all I've got. Oh, and a bit of licorice. Oh, because I love licorice. Oh, do you? Yes. My when I moved to London to go to Wimbledon School of Art, I had a landlady called Mrs. Clark. And every night, there were two of us. I had the front bedroom and Deepak had the back bedroom and she lived in the other part of the flat. And every night she put a piece of licorice on our, on our pillow because it keeps you regular. Oh. <laughs> and she thought, we're two boys, moved away from home. Mm. She didn't realise. Not, not eating <coughs> properly. I already had a degree and been living away from home for three years. But she put licorice on our bed every night and make sure we need a piece of licorice. We're not in halls then? Not at Wimbledon, no. no. It, was, it was private college, wasn't it, Wimbledon School of Art? So we just had oh. to find. And then the second year, I moved in, Dulcie and I shared a house together all those years ago. So that what year was that, 81 to 83 we were at oh, Wimbledon? Oh, really? Yeah. 
still got a good name for itself. Oh, it? yeah. yeah. It's an amazing place. But I don't know how they're... How are they getting on? They must just be doing... Because it's a different course now. When I did it, it was literally two years of sewing and wig making and yeah. doing all the stuff that we do. I think it's incorporated into a design course now. So they must be just... Because how they can't be making... Actress costumes for actresses. No, it's very, it's very difficult, isn't it? That's why my daughter deferred. Yeah. And what's she going to do? Um, acting. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, it's exciting. So Mind you, Janice, Janice who uh, uh, demonstrates here on a weekend, um, her daughter is at East 15, and she went this year, Amy went this year, and she's back, but I don't know how they can be doing... They must just be doing audition pieces on Zoom. Yeah, yeah. She's doing... Um, she's a plaque, because, like, you know, you were saying... Um, about your friend Dulcie and that she's got the film industry's coming back. Yeah. There's a lot of extra work coming in, yeah, so yeah. she's applied for quite a bit of that. Oh, right. Um, while she's off. So I'm just going to iron. Is it on? Yeah, it is, yes. Oh, how, the little iron's back then. The little iron had disappeared the other day. Oh. The big iron. No, it's the. So I'm just going to iron that up so, so that I can encase it. Yeah. Keeping my feet warm, that was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, except that one day somebody left it on and I was, had my shoe resting on it because I was on the stool. And I was like, what's that funny smell? smell of the sole of my shoe burning. <laughs> I know you have to be careful, don't you? I'll yeah. try and remember to switch it off as I leave. <laughs> to be responsible for anything. Yeah. Right. So I'm just going to fold this up to that stitch line. Covering it over. Oh, Morag said, John, I didn't know that about licorice. I'll keep it in mind, in mind for my oldies loving the show. Morag. Uh -huh. See, I like the um, Dutch licorice, the salty, which obviously you can't eat a lot of that because it's, bad, it's, full it's of bad, salt, is it? bad for you. Oh, is There's it? different strengths. Oh. Because, um, yeah, in Holland and in um, Denmark and, and um, I think Norway. Yeah. Um, I think I'm right in saying Sweden as well. Um, licorice is, you know, obviously a, quite a delicacy. Yeah. Um, and you can get all these different... Strengths. Yeah. I didn't know that until I worked with um, a girl from Denmark when I was at... Um, the Opera House yeah. in Covent Garden, and she used to, she went when she went home, she'd bring back. Oh wow! Licorice for me. Yeah. Um, um, now somebody I worked with at York Theatre, all but I don't think she'll have been there when you were there. She was at Royal Opera House, and then she went to the National. Carol Lingwood took over the National uh, Costume Department, and then Gillian, who I was at college with, worked in the Royal Opera House workroom. I don't know if she was still there. Oh, there. No, I don't remember a Gillian. She was very. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say something horrible. She might be watching. <laughs> <laughs> don't say anything horrible. Forgettable is the word. I was oh. use. No, I don't remember. She was as a student. She might not be now because it was a long time ago. That was a great workroom. What roll up house? Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Well, because well, it had just been, you know, all, the, all that up. lovely work been done. Yeah. yeah. So then, when you get to the end of the apron, apron, do you have to turn both sides in then. So what would be probably a good idea yeah. is to press your seams yes. in. Yeah. And then just match up the edges. Yeah, and then and then stitch along. Uh Sylv says my mum's German. She loves salt licorice as well. Yeah. You can get a few different brands in most supermarkets. Oh, can you? I wonder where. Oh, I don't. Oh, is I it in the sweet part? Sweet yeah, department. Yeah, I have to send for it. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah. Because not very often. Because I'm. I am. I can't just. I can't just have one or two. And obviously, it is really bad for you. Yeah. So. Well, we're saying it's bad for you. It's just the salt that's bad for you. Yes. Isn't it? Too much yeah. salt. So yeah. you. Yeah. You really shouldn't eat them like. Um, sweets. Sweets. But then really? licorice is the kind of thing that you just have. It's like that really, 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 really dark chocolate that I now have. You only want one square of it. And, you know, you only want one square of it. And that's enough, really, isn't it? She's, she's, maybe is licorice not the same? Or is it a bit um, addictive? Oh, I, I, I do find it a bit, yeah. I do find it a bit addictive. Oh, OK. Yeah, I think it runs in the family. My dad loves licorice, so 
Oh, did he? Always grew up. See, with my it. dad liked salt on his rice pudding. So oh after when you had rice pudding really? after dinner, he used to have it with salt, and my mum used to give us a spoon of jam in the middle of it. And I couldn't decide, and it was a dilemma. Every time we had baked rice pudding on a Sunday lunchtime, do I put salt what on it or do have? I put jam in it? Oh, and is it nice with it's salt? It's delicious. Is it? I, I mean, I'm not suggest. I'm not saying use too much salt, but it's no. absolutely. I mean, having said that, I won't have had it since about 1974. But, yeah. but you know what I mean. It was. Yeah. I remember it being absolutely delicious. Oh, I'll have to try that. Oh, she meant supermarkets in Germany, not supermarkets. Oh, here. I was going to say because I've never, I've never seen it. Yeah. Um, I bought some salt licorice from Brussels. It was horrible. Love, Leslie. <laughs> 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 oh, well, I'm going to have to try some. It's like though. Marmite. You, no, it doesn't you know? taste like Marmite. No, no, no. But you, you, know, love you, like you, hate, you love it or you hate it. It's, one, it's definitely one of those. You either love it or you hate it. But they've oh, got there you go. We were talking about Holland. It's called Drop in Holland, apparently. Oh, okay. Well, they've got whole shops over there dedicated to licorice. It's a, oh, it's you a... see, I think licorice should be the kind of thing that I'd buy, thinking, oh, I'll do that. And then it's one of those things that will sit in the back of the cupboard. Now, when I'm tidying the cupboard out, it'll be like, eat by 2015. You know, <laughs> like, like every time I clear out my cupboards, there's something there that's years. <laughs> I had all these porridge sachets, right? And I went, I was like, oh, I'll give those. We have a food bank in the village for, for um, people who might need help and everything. Yes. And I thought, oh, I'll give all that. And I looked at them and thought, they're all out of date. I can't be giving all these poor kids out of date porridge sachets. Why didn't you eat them? Because, well, I, 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 no, it was, the, it was the boxes that had three different flavours in and I only like the golden syrup one. Oh, so you'd leave, left left. And the then others. I went through a phase of not eating porridge. I'm back on it now, I'm back on proper eating gluten-free, yes. proper gluten-free porridge again now. But Porridge is good in the morning. Yeah. Get you started. Sorry, I'm taking absolutely ages. She loves the Dutch this. ones that are tiny, hard diamond shapes. We're going to have yes. to finish anyway, so don't worry. Just talk, just yes. talk us through what you're doing. Okay, so. So, so obviously, after you've pinned all of that in place, Top stitch it all along. Yeah. And then that's you finished. Perfect. Um, and you're away to go. Gardening, cra crafting, whatever. Whatever you want to use. Housework. Do, yeah. Your you scissors. Your duster, your Mr. Muscle, yes. your pledge. Your other other bra brands are available. Your scissors obviously. in. <laughs> yeah, just be careful if you're walking around with scissors in yes, your pockets. That's most all. Yes, most definitely. Yes, for sure. Thank you very much indeed. That's my Do you know pleasure. when you're back in next? Um, 10th of March, I 10th believe. 10th of March, perfect. What yes. day of the week is that then? I think it's a... No, today's a Tuesday. It might be a Tuesday. Oh, right, because I'm always on Wednesday. Tuesday. Oh, I'm always Tuesday, Wednesday, so oh, I'll okay. see you then. Oh, then. lovely. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, lovely, lovely to see to you. Lovely to see you again. Lovely to see you. Right, let's just do a round of what's left over. The bundle of books has gone. The books are available individually. So which one first? Home first. That's this one here. So in this book, you've got cafetiere cosy, reversible placemat, coiled fabric bowl, top tech pillows, gardener's apron that you've just seen, two bottle bag, four patch coasters, oven glove, hanging hoop, flower power pillow, cable tidy, duffel knitting bag, craft basket like basket liner, summer slippers, which Meme Bebe has made, and you put special stuff on the bottom, dotty notebook, and twisted tuck pillow. The double gin bag, if you were asking, is in that one. Right? That's home. Home. And then we've got gifts. Take two fat quarters gifts. 16 pro. Oh, I forgot to say, that's also got uh, in, um, pattern templates in the back of that one. Um, then this one here is the gift one. So this is the one that has... Oh, apparently you have to be careful with licorice in your blood pressure. Yes, and uh, yes, that's why I have to limit myself. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Two-tone tote bag, cosmetic pouch, sleep easy neck pillow, sleep eye mask, Christmas crackers, stitch and flip zip pencil case, teddy bear, stocking, child's trapeze dress, flying geese lunch bag, retro purse, tablet, sleeve, makeup kit, super summer short, scissor keeper and pin cushion in a cup. $9.99. Yeah, and a partridge in a pear tree. Right, bundles, the Liberty one is sold out. Right, this is the one that we were using to demo with just then. This, these are all, they're not solids, they're those splodge blender fabrics. They have a name, don't they? Oh, mixer, 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 that's not blender. Pink, lilac, gold and cream. They've all got splodges on them. They're four fat quarters, 
for 7 99 That's a very, very, very good price. That's a very, very, very good price. Right, okay, moving on. Then we've got the butterfly one. Shall I do that one next? Butterfly. Two butterflies, one on blue, one on orange, and two spots, one on pink and one on rose, I'd say. This is slightly heavier than these two, so just be careful. They're beautiful fabrics, but just be careful when you get them. Moving on. Then I've got the one that um, Rebecca used for the apron that she made at home. There you go. Sorry. The centre of my table's moved. Uh, 13 99 These are from Solstice and they're Clover. Same pattern, just four different colourways. It's nice, that, isn't it? They make that. But <laughs> and then, last but not least, I've got this one here. Michael Millar. Mint, that's not Michael Miller, that's Rose and Hubble. Mint, and then these are my, I love these. Oh, well, I love that one as well, actually. We've got Michael Miller tomorrow, but not him. But not, no, he's not a person. We've not got them in. We've got some Michael Miller fabric tomorrow. In bundles that Hannah has created for you. They are eclectic. Oh, hang on. I've got a message from Rebecca. Could you put more material and pockets on the back and make it reversible. Yes, you could. Yes, you could, but you just, yes, of course you could, because you just have to stitch them down the side, don't you? So you just stitch, put them on and stitch them at the same time. Of course you could. Good idea, that. Right, we're going for a break now. I think we'll have half an hour, because I'm a bit peckish. I'd like a boiled egg now, please. In the fridge, already in the fridge, with my um, gluten-free crisps. They're not in the fridge. And they're my baby bells. Don't you be eating my baby baby bells? I do. That just shows you've not been taking notice. Bit of protein for my lunch because I've got a lot to do. But anyway, we're not going yet. We've got another whole hour to go. Yeah, we've got sewing machines and bits and bobs. Oh, have I got some fan mail in my dressing room? How do you know that? Oh, Elliot told her. Right. What's that going to do with fan mail? Okay, I will see you in three minutes from now. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say, don't get disheartened. Take your um, learning journey slowly. Don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt. Build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8 a.m bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. 
Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Right, we've got a sewing machine hour, but you have all bought so many sewing machines from us. We are waiting, 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 waiting for the day that we've got some more in. I have got some fabulous machines here today, but I have to say, the um, normally I'm able to give you a huge selection of them. Um, before I start these, can we just look at that table over there? Because the Juki, somehow, we've got two left in stock. Right, there are only two of these left in stock. They are the Juki NX7, the NX7. They're always on a funny angle, but don't worry, don't worry. I'll show it to you again later on, but I just need to remind you, we've had so many people going, when's it in next, when's it in next, when's it in next? And I just want you to know it's in stock now, but there are only two of them. And Gary doesn't know when he can get us any more. 
Um, the only reason, I'll be totally honest with you, we thought we'd sold all of them from the warehouse and they were having a warehouse move around and they found two that weren't on the computer system. They're perfectly, they're perfectly, they're not seconds, they're not leftovers or anything like that. They are just two that weren't in the system that we've suddenly found. So that's it. Then when those two have gone, they've gone. And I know loads and loads and loads of you have been saying, oh, I really want an NX7. I really want an NX7. So if you know all about it, in fact, what day was Gary on with it? Can we look that up? 28th of January, was that the day it was a pre-record? But that's still it, that's still it. That, so if you watch the 28th of January on YouTube, the last hour, I think it was, is Gary talking just about that machine. I have to say, I did a, an hour and a half show with him before that. So if we can, if we can find that date, we will do, because you can find out so much information about it. Way more, even in an hour and a half with Gary here, telling you so much, there's still... We could do two and a half hours easily on it. So I will go over to that in a second. But I just want to remind you that there are two of those available. And I know some people don't need me to tell them all about it because I know that you've been waiting for them. Remember, it's on split pay. And remember, it's five split pay at £500, £559 each. There's no interest charge whatsoever. And you don't have to wait to pay all of your uh, five. You don't have to wait to do all of your five payments. Hang on, just wait. You don't have to wait for your five payments to go through. You will have this delivered once you confirm today. So to, what, if you confirm today, it'll go through at midnight tonight and the first £559 will be taken off your card or however you're paying or whatever. You don't have to pay, you don't have to use split pay if you don't want to. You do not have to, you can pay for it all in one go if you want to, there it is. Um, but, um, you you will get it after your first payment. So as soon as you juke, and it comes from the oh, actually, is it our warehouse or the Juki warehouse? No, they're in the Juki warehouse, not our warehouse. That's right. That's right. That's right. And so in the, they're in this country. We can't sell you anything that's not here already. And it was them that were doing the, the warehouse organisations. So and he went, you do know you've got two left here, don't you? So that's how it all happened. Right. Let's talk about some Elners now to start with. Okay, the 560, which is this one here, is the one, the what, what? Yep, the 560 is this one here. This is the one that Rebecca's been wear wearing. She's not been wearing it. She's been using it all day. Now, the 550, the 560 and the 570 are all basically the same sewing machine. They are a fantastic, well, you saw how this little machine went through. How many layers did she stitch? Hang on. One two, three, four, five, six. She went through seven, eight layers of that, of this. She went, she sewed through eight layers of this, which has also got wadding in it as well. So you saw, she actually did it live on air. You could see how she can go, this little machine will go through so much. Now, what it is, is I'll just move around so you're not getting, there you go. We can get you lots of price comparisons on this, which we will do after I've, I've talk, talked to you about it. Right, so we've got the 550 coming up if you want it. Each one has its own, they basically go up in unique selling points and everything. This is the 560. Let me take you through the front of this machine, first of all, here. So we have got here, we've got a lock stitch, da 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 da, -da lock stitch. We've got needle up, needle down position, and we've got the thread cutter. We've also got here your reverse, uh, you know, rever your reverse at the bit, well, just reverse, whether you reverse at the beginning or the middle, at the end, whatever. You also have a start stop button here, which means you can, rather than using the pedal, now I haven't got the pedal plugged in at the moment. If I plug the pedal in, which goes there at the side, I'm not going to use it, it will stop. There you go. Do you see that there, the little logo of the pedal? Can we come a little bit closer, Emma? Just come in a bit closer, you can see all of this, because I want to show you how all this works as well in a second. So look, there you go, you've got your little icon of, now, while that icon is in, you cannot use the stop start button on the front, but as soon as you take that out, watch, it's gonna disappear. I've unplugged it, and that, it's a normal, you know, normal um, sewing machine pedal. Right, so on here, you've also got your go faster, go slower speed, so if you, if you want to do much slower, you can go slower and faster and everything. It's got a lovely throat space in here. Now, what you need to know about this is this here is your whole control panel. This machine comes with a hundred stitches already 
plumbed into the machine, already set in the machine. And they are all listed at the side here. So you got, you've got your first 50 there. So you've got straight stitch, you've got quarter inch foot, you've got, not quarter inch, quarter inch stitch, you've got stretch stitch, you've got button, look at all the buttonholes you've got. You've got eyelets, you've got satin stitch, you've got decorative stitch, and then the second is there. More satin stitches there, more decorative stitches. You've got so much, is there a locking stitch as well in that one? Anyway, that you get a hundred, now the reason it says one to 99, because obviously the digits only go up to two figures, so the first stitch is a naught naught. Right, so let's choose a stitch, shall we? Shall we choose a stitch um, number 72? So what you do is you go back to your control panel here and you literally can press this 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2. Right, now that tells you which foot that you have to use. It's foot F which I'll take you through in a second. Now this it means that it's a seven millimeter width and the stitch length is 0 0.04. You can change that if you want to. If that's not quite what you want, you can then change that look to a narrower satin stitch or a narrow, closer together stitch. You'll never unpick that at 02, but you know what I mean? Um, it, it, you can change it to whatever you want to change it to. Um, and if you just want to, if you're halfway through something, you know, I'm confused, just turn it off. Turn it back on again, and it goes back to your default stitch. Now, even though this is a straight stitch, <coughs> excuse me, even though this is a straight stitch, this is your, your marking for a straight stitch. It says three and a half because that is the needle right in the middle. It's not going to do a zigzag because that is a straight stitch and it's set to a 2.4. So if you just went now and sewed with this, you'd get a straight line, 2.4. The, the, the stitches would be two point, size 2.4. Now, you can change this if you, want, uh, if you want to move the needle. You can move the needle across, look, Either way, so if you're doing, if you want to do a quarter inch uh, seam or, or you just want to do a scant seam, you can move it across and you can make your stitch length up to a, up to a five. So it's up to you. It's totally and utterly, um, up, we'll do what you want to do like that. Right here, you've got a um, uh, shortcut to straight stitch. Here you've got a short stuck cut to uh, memory zigzag. Here, now this is, a, uh, this is like an um, overlocking stitch. Obviously, it doesn't cut the fabric or anything like that. But if you just want to, um, um, I'm trying, it's not called cover stitch. It's called, oh, it's, uh, brain. I can't think what it's called. I can't think. It's Hannah, what's it called? Overcast, thank you. Overcast stitch, overcast stitch. And this one here, this is a shortcut to your buttonhole. Look, so you put that in there. That's taking you straight to your first buttonhole, number 18. It, I mean, it's just brilliant like that. You can do all sorts of things with it. So you've got, your, oh, and, 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 and most important, this one here, if you want to set it so that every time you stop and raise the foot, it cuts the thread, you can set that as a memory. I don't do that because sometimes I don't want to cut the thread. Sometimes I want to just move it around and carry on sewing. But if you want it so that it cuts the thread at the end of every seam, then you can just set the memory for that and it does it. You've got feed dogs on it, so you can you can lower the feed dogs if you're going to be doing free motion embroidery. And it's got a very, very, it's a top bobbin. I'll just tip that up. Oh, there you go. The bobbin is a top loader, so it's really, really, really easy to do. There's none of that. I've got one coming up in the, um, no, I haven't got it today, but the, the, the lot of the basic machines have one that you front loader and everything. Now, look at this. Right? It's £579. Three split pay payments. You only pay today £193. Is that right? £193. So you pay £193 today, which is the 9th, 9th of February. So you pay another £193 on the 9th of March. Another £193 on the 9th of April. Done. Done. That's it. That's it paid for. But you've had, you've, you've, you'll get it. You'll, it's not like one of those Christmas clubs, like I was saying earlier. It's not like a Christmas club where you have to pay all the money before we send it to you. You get it. It comes direct from Elna, so it's in the warehouse in Stockport right now waiting for your order. And it comes with a two-year warranty direct from Elna. Um, it's fantastic. Now, the feet you get with it, it's a 560 booklet here.
Okay, I've got the book here. Can we show the slides then? Oh, well, no, actually, do you want to do your price comparisons first? We'll do price comparisons first, and then I'll look for the booklet, or I'll, I'll, we'll do the slides of it. Right, so here it is. Okay, everywhere we found it, and that's not us just, uh, that's not us just picking the expensive ones. Everywhere else we've looked, £639. Exactly, it's a direct comparison. It's exactly the same sewing machine. Yes, okay, so at other places, the 550, which I'm going to show you in a minute, which we sell for 499, is that right? It's been, it's been five, the 550 is 579 pounds, right? Um, this, right, everywhere we've looked is 600, or over 600 pounds anyway. So that one there was 639 pounds. <clears throat> and it's exactly the same time machine. Did they offer split pay? Okay, so we don't know if they do a split pay. Do they have one P and P of three pound ninety-five? Do you know what I mean? It's three. If you've already bought, say you've bought a pack of needles earlier, and you now add this to your basket, you still only pay three pound ninety-five post and packaging. Here's another shop. Look, they're all the same. Six hundred thirty-nine. Exactly the same machine. Yes, you get the table with it. Yes, you get the hard cover with it. Oh, right, they do have finance, but they don't explain how, how the finance works. And with most finance, I'm not saying they do, but with a lot of finance, there are interest, there are interest charged, aren't there? We don't charge any interest. We literally split that payment by three, and you, that's why it's a funny price, £193. Now, you don't have to, also, you don't have to take split pay. Don't be thinking, oh, I, I can afford that. No, that's the wrong word. I don't mean I can afford that. I've got money in my bank to pay for that. You can pay for it in one go, but why T take it? I'd take advantage. £193. Here's another one. I can't see the price on that one. Oh, yeah, 639 See, everywhere else, this exact machine is £639. Don't ask me, do not ask me how, whether we've done a special deal with Eln or whatever, but if you look anywhere else, and it's, it's not that we're finding, you know sometimes you can go on the website, uh, other people's website, and it goes 636, 600, and then you can go somewhere else, it's got 499, 450. We can't find any that match our price, match our price. Okay, oh, okay, so, um, right, we found one, we did find one that was, Cheaper, and it was out of stock. It was out of stock. Oh, it's an independent retailer. But you don't know if that might have been second-hand. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Might have been the show. It might have been the one in the showroom. But anyway, uh, £579. It is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine. And um, it's £579. And you saw, uh, this is the one that all of our demonstrators use at the moment. Oh, now comes the bad news. I've only got three left in stock. That's it. And now, <coughs> excuse me, as with all the Elners, as with all the Elners at the moment, Jane says, Jane always says, we're, we're reliant on, you know, like, um, I was watching another um, shopping channel yesterday and they were selling, it was nothing, no competitor or whatever, and they were selling bejeweled handbags, right? And they were meant to be one of their Christmas specials. And they, it had literally only arrived this week. Hadn't arrived before Christmas. Literally had arrived this week, sort of thing. So who knows when containers from around the world are going to come here? As I say, we, can, uh, we can't sell you something that happens to be in the manufacturers in China or wherever it's being made. We can't sell you those. We can only sell ones that are physically in, for Elner in the warehouse in Stockport and for Juki. I think they're Essex, aren't they, Juki? Uh, they're down in Essex. No, these are Stockport. These are Stockport. No, no, El because it's, for, it's um, Lawrence and everybody, aren't they? So I'm, I think they're Essex. I think the warehouse for Duke is in Essex. Oh, hang on, here we go. Uh, hi, John, my Elna 680. I love that machine, I've got that one. We haven't got any of those, by the way. That's why I've not got it on the show today. Has just been delivered. I only ordered it on Friday. I call that exceptional service. I am so excited. Love Liz in Merseyside. Oh, Liz, Liz, when we can, because uh, my, my brother, you know, my brother and Julie, uh, Mike and Julie, they live on the Wirral and I could come and see you and we could, we could compare 680s, couldn't we? Have a sewing day on the Merseyside. Or we could go to that lovely coffee shop. A friend of Mike and Julie's has opened a coffee shop 
in an old bank, like the one, like the one that I go to with Clive and Mark in um, Kenilworth. It looks lovely. It looks really nice. I want the feet more than anything, the feet that come with it. That's what I want. There we go. This is what comes with this machine. I'm going to have to walk nearer to the screen to be able to read this for you. So let me just come. I'll come closer to the screen. can do that, can't I? So you get a standard foot, a satin stitched foot, the over edge foot, which is the one I told you about there, the zipper foot, the blind temper. Oh, you even get a quarter inch seam foot on this. Automatic buttonhole foot with stabiliser. And then you get bobbin, seam ripper, spool holder, spool pins, lint brush, needle set, screwdriver, foot controller, instructional. Oh, you get a video with this one as well as the book. Hard cover and extension table. Let me just show you. This is the... Right, OK. Um, Hannah has bought the 540 years ago when we were at Sewing Quarter and hers was more expensive than this. And she gets, she gets ever so annoyed because we start sewing the machine. She goes, well, mine doesn't do that. Mine doesn't do that. It's a brilliant machine, she says, but she, if she'd waited, if she'd waited. Anyway, look, this is your hard cover that they, they come with, the 560s. Also comes with an extension table. Brilliant. And it's also got the Got Gubbins box on the front here for you to get in. Oh, I could, there you go. There's your gub, Gubbins box. Don't look in it. It's messy. But it's got all the feet in there and everything. Your feet will come in a separate bag inside the box. Um, this one does not come with a walking foot. I'm not being negative. I'm not being negative at all. It doesn't come with a walking foot. But you can buy a walking foot, foot from it. We haven't got them in stock. But if you ring Elna, they'll be able to sort this out for him. Um, it's a brilliant, fantastic little machine. I, I say little. It's not little at all. It's a compact machine. But the motor is the same in the 550, 560 and the 570. It's a really, really, really good machine like that. And it's £579. Yeah, yeah, Hannah's is an older model, but obviously it's a 540, so we're presuming that these are the upgraded versions of Hannah's. Yeah, that will be Hannah's machine for a long time, even though it hasn't got a lot of the things on that these have got. Yeah. Uh, now, how many did you say stock? Three, did you sell four? Three. There are three of these left in stock now, and I cannot... Well, <clears throat> next time Jane's in, we'll have to ask her. We'll have to ask her when she's next in how many they've got of any of these machines. If you'd like the 550, hang on, let me just put this one down. Yeah, now the 550, exactly the same machine, but there's a specific price point on this one. Some people come in, oh, the bobbin top's gone off this one. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, so here is... This is the 550. I've turned it on. Exactly the same. This only, I, I don't want to say only, because that makes it sound as though I'm saying, oh, it's only this. For 400, if you've got a price point of 500 pounds, then this machine is the one for you, right? It's exactly the same motor, exactly the same design, exactly the same everything as the one you've just seen, right? But it only has 50 stitches, which to a lot of you, you won't need. I mean, when I first got my Frister Rossman, it had about four a straight zigzag buttonhole and one stretch stitch. And that's all it had on it when I first started. I'm going back a long time, I know. This has got 50 stitches on it. There they all are. So now, it is a computerised machine, but don't panic about it because it's a sim very, very... I have got a non-computerised one coming up in a minute, which I'll show you about in a second. But have a look. Have a look along here. So we've got the straight stitch, the quarter inch foot, we've got the zigzag, we've got the overcast stitch, we've got buttonholes, we've got the eyelet, we've got um, decorative stitches, we've got satin stitches down there, everything. So again, now I'll just show you what you get on this one, right? So across the top here, you've got your... Oh, I've just been told now I've only got two of these. I've only got two of these in the whole company. This one's split, split pay, which I'll tell you about in a second. So you've got here, you've got your locking stitch. You've got your needle up, needle down. You do not have the thread cutter on this one. But then a lot of people, like, I've got the thread cutter on mine. Do I ever use it? No. Uh, then I've got this here, the reverse. It still has the start, stop button at the top here. And again, the way it works is exactly the same. That's your default. Let me just turn it around so I get rid of that glare. There you go. There you go. So again, this is, this is your default straight stitch, 2.4. But again, choose a stitch. Let's just choose number 33. 10, 20, 30. 1, 2, 3. There's the stitch. 
Oh, what's the difference? Well, it's number 33. I've just shows the, I've just shows it, but the settings are exactly the same as the one I just did. So, no, 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 33 is a blanket stitch. 33 is a blanket stitch. But that's the setting. So it'll be, the, the default is four and a half uh, wide, two and a half long. But again, you can... No, not there, John, this one. Look, you can change it. Uh, again, you've got your shortcut to your buttonhole there. That's straight through to your buttonhole. There's your overcast stitch, number 13. There's your memory zigzag. And there's your memory straight stitch. Oh, it takes you to, to default, look. And then, uh, uh, again, it's got everything else. It's a, uh, the bobbin is at the top here. Now, uh, does this have the same feet as the 560, then? So you get exactly the same feet as the 560 that I just read out. Oh, and yours will come. Yours does come. I promise you, yours does come with the plastic top there. Hannah just took it off when she was using it earlier. Hasn't put it back on. Oh, OK. Now, I need to warn you that all of these are in baskets. Not been checked out yet, so you can still... Pip them to the post if you want to, but they've, they've all been checked out. Now, not been checked out, put in basket. Would you like to have a... Have we got pictures? Yeah, so elsewhere... The, look, these are all the price of R560. So 500, that's exactly the same machine. I'm not doing always a bit like it. it this is actually the same sewing machine elsewhere. It's still got the same two-year warranty and everything like that, but it's £579. What do that? What do those things say at the bottom? What do those things? Right. Two year warranty, lifetime. Oh yeah, now that, that that's a lifetime support, not the guarantee of what. So, so what it means is, if you buy this now, in te two years time, your guarantee will run, run out. But can I just explain? Um, you can ring in 10 years time and say, oh, I've got this. How do I do this or how do I do that? There's no, after two years are up, it's not, you can ring them anytime. They're brilliant. In fact, do you remember Lucy Brennan that used to be at Sewing Quarter? She sometimes answers the phone. I don't know. I'll go another one very quickly. Five, seven, that, that is the price of our 560. Exactly the same machine, the Experience 550. There you go. Reliable, functional, and easy to sew, I think that just said. I'll read it on my screen now, because I'm, I'm about 20 seconds behind you. Reliable, functional, easy to use. LED lighting, LCD screen, extra high presser foot, built-in needle threader. Everything that you need, that I haven't talked about, is all there. At £499. Right, uh, all split pay, all split pay, 16633 is what you'll pay today, and then three payments of 16633 uh, if you have got it in your basket, because there's now more people got it in their basket than we've got stock. So if you know you definitely want it, I know you most probably need to maybe chat to somebody or move some money around or do something like that. I'm exactly... Okay, right. There's now only 1560 left. Well, the thing is, they're saying, aren't they, worldwide, more machines have sold during lockdown than ever before in the history of sewing machines, almost. Right, hang on a minute then. So, I've got one 560 left that hasn't been checked out. And, and there's loads of people got that in baskets. And there's three of these, did you sell? Two of these. Two of these, and how many people in baskets? Okay, right, there are two of these, and now two people got it in their baskets. So, if you want that, please check out, because I don't want you to be disappointed later. We're not, they won't, well, who knows when they'll be in next. And I'm not, that's not me doing a shopping telly, oh, you have to buy it now or else. I'm not doing that. I wouldn't do that to you. Do you know what I mean? Just please be careful. If you know you definitely want it. And look, we've had two people already that, okay, they bought the 680. They've both bought the 680. And they're out of stock. They're the ones I've got. Their machine was £1,099. However, they got it. They ordered it on Friday, got it today. I mean, that's the kind of service we're talking about. I can't guarantee yours only be a couple of days, but it will definitely be within five working days. Right, okay, I'm going to move on now. Oh, okay, before I go to the next sewing machine, I need to talk to you about this needle case. Where is it? Oh, there, there it is. Right, these are back in stock. Well, I say these are back in stock. They're not back in stock because they came back in stock this morning, but they've all sold out. Okay, slide first of all. So this is Amber Make. So that's Rebecca Reed and that's gorgeous Amy. Is it Gaunt or Galt or something like that? 
She's a graphic designer. They work together. They are Amber Makes. And they've created all these different panels for you to make. You love them. You do love them. This is their needle case, right? Which they brought on air of quite a while ago. They sold out, brought it back, sold out. And Rebecca had put on her Facebook page last night that few of them would be available today. Well, there were 80. I'm going to be honest with you. There were 80 available this morning, right? Right, okay, now this was the vintage one, only because we want to show this, because this was made by Danielle from the Sewing Street Facebook fans page. And she said, I enjoyed make, taking a break from all my UFOs to complete this Amber Make sewing machine needle space. I decided to use a sewing theme button, which matched perfectly. Is that available still? That has now sold out. The one with the sewing machines has sold out. However, the Bumblebee, we will get more, we will get more, but I, I don't know when. I don't know when. How many of these have I got left then? Oh, right, I've got 20 left. We had 80, remember? I've got 20 left of the Bumblebee one. Oh, there it is, there it is. What it is, is you get a panel in the instructions, which I'll show you in a second. So if you look at the picture on the right-hand side, it makes a folder and they all have little pockets and the different pockets have ballpoint, embroidery, jeans, leather, quilting, sharps, stretch. You don't get the needles in it. You don't get the needles in it. Uh, top stitch, universal, specials, spares. And then another box that says in the machine. So you can remember which, when you've, you know, when you swap the needles, you can't always remember what was in it and what wasn't in it. So you get that, but you also get, can I just go back to the picture a second? You also get the hand needle one. See the bottom left hand picture? So the one on the right is your machine needle one. The one on the left is like a little hand, um, sewing needles um, booklet as well. So you get all of that on this panel. There you go. Margaret, they will come back into stock at some point, but I'm not sure when. Did she want the um, vintage one? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's Amber Makes and Bex is going to talk to her supplier. So don't worry, it will come back in, but I just don't know when. In fact, Bex is always on on a Monday. So the best thing to do is ask her, message in on a Monday and ask her. That's the best thing to do. So there you go. This is the panel. There, there were only 20 of these left a minute ago. Fifteen now. Checked out, that is. We're not, going, we're not talking about what's in baskets. And, of course, you get the, the Amber Makes instructions, which are here. Ten left now. Ten left of the B one. And also, what date was it on so people can see um, Rebecca making it? Thirtieth of November, twenty twenty. Obviously, thirtieth of November, twenty twenty. Uh, that's when you can watch uh, Rebecca making it. That was the full demo date. It's been on since then, but I can't guarantee if it was demoed after that. Okay, it's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Right, now, I've also got, if you've got somebody in your family who just wants to start sewing, uh, yeah, I'll do this, I'll do this first, then we'll go over to the Dukey one. If some... Yeah, right, okay. So now does this plug in here? Oh, I think this is a different plug. I haven't got the plug for this one, I'm afraid. Yeah, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. It's, um, did you have the plug over here? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, because it's easy to show, it's easy to show. Um, look at the price. That's not the split pay price. That's not how much you'll pay on split pay. It's £249 this. Obviously, it doesn't... I was about to say, it doesn't qualify for split pay. Okay, so you could get this machine home, and I'm not doing a shopping telly thing. I hate it when they go, oh, this is £83. It's not £83. It's three payments of £83. No interest charge whatsoever. It's just the price divided by three payments. So you can pay £83 a day and get this home. Then you pay £83 in March, £83 in April, and that's it paid for. Again, in a machine like this, you'd expect the bobbin to be a front loader, but it's not. It's a top loader. It's a, oh, sorry. Uh, there you go. It's a top loader bobbin. So that is brilliant, absolutely fantastic, because it's so easy to use. The, the machines that I had were the beginning, and once you have, you have to get it in the right way, and then you have to slide the whole casement underneath. Then you have to bring the wheel down, take the thread up, and everything like that. You don't have to worry about this with this one at all. Right, let's look at the front of the machine. What are you saying, trying to say to me, Hannah? Oh, I thought you were saying. It's a very useful, no digitalness on this. This is a mechanical machine. 
Oh, and my job is through. There you go. My little extension table's falling off there. Right, so this, these are the stitches that you can do on this machine. I'll just get Emma to come in close on that for me. So, you have got straight stitch. You've got, uh, no, is that a quarter inch foot? That's a quarter inch stitch. Look on that one. Then you've got stretch stitch. You've got satin stitch. You've got all, so all those different stitches, 18 different stitches on here. And you've got buttonholes as well. Right, and the way you work it, as you see here, you've got stitches one, round two, nine on the bottom. Then you just click this round to there, right, to SS, and that takes it to stitches 10 to 18, right? It's just a brilliant little starter machine. Uh, you thread it like a normal sewing machine. You fill your bobbin like a normal sewing machine. You've got your on-off switch at the side here. I'm not, my, my, I haven't got the plug, so I'm not going to plug it in. So everything, it, if, if, if you've got somebody, I don't want to say a young person because people are starting sewing all the time, aren't they? But if you've got somebody who's just starting or, or, or you've got, some, you know, you're, you've got um, a daughter or son doing stitching or needlework or anything at school and they just need a sewing machine for home, £214. It comes with a two-year warranty from Elner. It comes with all the Elner expertise. Oh, this is your, your backwards and forwards button, your reverse button there as well. Um, it comes with all of the uh, Elner. Oh, no. It's even got a blooming needle threader. I'm sorry. And that wasn't me being disappointed. That's me shocked, right? Look. Honestly, honestly. And then you just put the foot down like that. Oh, and look, it's even got... Extra height, so there's, you, there's it down while you're sewing. There's it up normally. You can lift it higher if you've got thicker fabric to go through. Do you know what? I, it's brilliant. That's all I'm going to say for £249. That, or I'll tell you what, this is good. If you've got the 570 or the, eight, or the 680 at home and you go away to, when we can, go away to your caravan, go away to your holiday home, go to classes, when you start going back to classes, wouldn't this be a brilliant one? Just a, You don't want to take your best one out, but you can take this one out with you. That's what Hannah thinks of me. She, just, she leaves me here because she's wanting to take her best one out. She takes little Paul instead. He's only half the man I'll ever be. Only in width-wise. Only width-wise, obviously. Uh, right, how many of these have I got? That can't be right. <laughs> it's £83. Hannah, your computer's got a bit funny. In, in Hannah's machine, where it says quantity, it's actually got the price. So first of all, she thought there were 249. Then she went, no, no, it's only 83. There's not 83 at all. Yeah, please learn to learn to read your computer screen. Let me just see if I've got any questions. Oh, hang on. Carol says, what number is this? It's a 320, this one, Carol. 320. Carol said, um, I'm surprised to see the, the blue one might be a 340. No, it's 320, this one. Uh, Jackie says, Elder Service Centre are brilliant. Stuart says, oh, John, back from a hike, big drifts and jumped and did a snow angel. Great machine prices. Right, OK, so Stuart has his own sewing shop and um, wool shop and everything. He can't sell them for this price. If he sold Elder machines, he couldn't, he'd have to sell them for the prices that you just saw on, that, on, that, um, on the different websites. OK, a sewing machine update. So much 560 sold out. I know. 560 sold out. 560 sold out. And there's one 550 left. That's it. 550, one left. So we've got, got, this, got enough of these. There could be up to 83. We don't know. But on Hannah's computer, it says 83. There won't be 83 of these. But there's a lot of these. Oh, not a lot. There's a stock of these. Stock of these. Okay, uh, Jane is in on Thursday doing overlockers, Elner overlockers. I've not got Elner overlockers today. I've just got the machines. Well, unless, unless she's bringing something new. I don't know what she's doing on Thursday. She's doing overlockers on Thursday. Right, okay. I now have some... If you were to buy this machine, right, um, and you want to start off sewing, we've got a few... Oh, I'm not going to go and talk about the Juki, but just put the Juki graphics in. This machine, right... Watch Gary doing it on, if you put in, if you put in uh, YouTube, Sewing Street, obviously. Oh, yeah, do, do, the date I did it with Gary. 
5th of December. Go and look at the one on the 5th of December because Gary and I do an hour and a half on this machine and it is fantastic. It is brilliant. I wouldn't do it justice. If I stood there behind it now, I wouldn't do it justice whatsoever. Jenny Jackson's got one. Wendy Orlando's in tomorrow. She's got one. Mark Francis has got one. And he won't let Clive use it, will he? At home. £2,795. Uh, five split payments of £559 there. I just wouldn't do it justice. I wouldn't do it justice if I stood there. So please, please, please. <clears throat> there are still two available. There are still two available, none in baskets. Um, if you want to go and watch on the 5th of December on YouTube, do it this afternoon. If, you, if you're snowed in, have a look at it this afternoon. There are only two, though, and I can't guarantee if and when we'll be able to get any more. They're all the same machine companies are all in the same boat. Anyway, now, it, going back to this table, the, the, if you were to cut, get this one, uh, because people are just starting their sewing journey, we've got a few bits and bobs to, uh, to also introduce to you. So, we have Debbie Shaw's Sewing Room Secrets. No, not that kind of secret. This is about machine sewing. Top tips and techniques on successful sewing. Oh, try saying that with someone else's teeth in. So, it's all about, it's, a, it's like a book that teaches you Look, you see, all the kind of, all the different things about sewing machines, maintaining a machine, everything, sewing with a twin needle, um, and then scissors and tools and everything. But then, there's also projects in here. Oh, wadding, interfacing, threads, templates, toy fillers, storage. Right, sewing know-how. Buttonholes, machine stitches, all the different things you're going to need to know about your sewing machine. Uh, Debbie always teaches towards, uh, towards beginners then, we have projects, heart pin cushion, very simple starter projects here. How to put a zip in, how to do a letterbox zip, how to do an invisible zip, how to do piping. There are so many technique pillow cover. So that's a project again then. Then we've got free motion embroidery. We've got shearing. We've got a little shearing dress there. Uh, we've got bias binding. We've got, a t oh, she made that on Sunday. Yeah, she made that on Sunday, a plique. Then we've got bag making. It's got drawstring bag. Very simple projects, but lots and lots of techniques. Actually, do you know what? This is good. If you've, all, if you've done, sew, done sewing in the past and you kind of think, um, I need, oh, what? I can't remember how to do a piping cord. Oh, I, don't, I can't remember how to do a zipping. How much is it? $7.99. Now, if I'm not right, if I'm not wrong, this is supposed to be $9.99. This is supposed to be $9.99, $7.99. Keep it next to your machine to keep you going, yeah? Right, then I've got another book here called, now I've not seen this one, Sewing for the Absolute Beginner. Am I in the right place? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But look, oh, what? Now, this is amazing because before we go to, look at all of the mitered corners, bolster pillow, Table runners, sit, look at this. Now, this Debbie's book is good, but this goes one stage further. This goes to the next level. Right, okay, every time this has been on air, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds sold. Today I've only got 15. I'm being honest with you, 8.99, 8.99. And, oh, that's why, it should be 12.99. It should be a 12 99 book. This is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant book. Look, fabric glossary, dining chair cover, beach roll, li lined linen basket, padded headboard, beaded quilted throw, oven mitt, placemats, different quilted techniques, tote bag. There's so much stuff in here. It's incredible. Look, apron, peg bag. Oh, that's the cutest peg bag, isn't it? Um... Piping, bias binding, pocket storage, children's TP. Oh, what? You know what? This is brilliant. Not just, this is, this is saying for absolute beginners, but I'd say it was, there's so much in there for everybody. Exactly. That had I said, it's all the things that people ask you about when they know you can sew. How brilliant is that? 8 99 but I do only have 15 in stock. Don't I? 15 in stock. 
Oh, she's so busy talking about her neighbours, coming around asking her to sew now. She's not listening to me. Eight ninety nine. All right, you can stop now. You can stop now. She's going on about Tony, a neighbour. Whose dog get her earring? You know that one. But anyway, moving on. The dog's fine. Dog's fine. She's never got her earring back. Gold. Right. Next. No, you're, just, you're here to do a job, not to tell you stories. It's because she and uh, me, me and Hannah, old hat, you see. Emma's new, you see. So she doesn't know all our stories. So I start one of my stories, Hannah finishes it off. You know what I mean? Black and white thread from Guterman. What colour do you always run out of? Black and white. 12 99 for seven rolls. Four white, three black. Reels. <laughs> Reels of cotton thread. No, it's polyester. <gasps> Come on, I need to go and sit down. Yeah, it's you'll put me off, you see. And it's not you forget the words. I haven't, I haven't practiced all the words. 12 99 Add it to your baskets. That's what I do. Guterman. Polyester thread. Four white, three black. I'm only rushing because I've just seen the time. Then I've got a multicoloured one, but this comes with extras in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve reels of thread. Oh, no, you've not. Okay, it's still an early bird price. Now... These sell for £1.80 each normally. And Clive's favourite needles, Schmet's needles, and what and prim pins. Of course, they've done a kind of haven't they? That's brilliant. Because how much would they be? How much would they be? They'd be definitely more than £17.99 for just the threads. Because 10 of those is £18 and you've got two extra. So in effect, you're getting two reels of thread. Machine needles and pins for free in there. We, well, I'm going to keep that. Not for me, not for me. Not for me, I don't do things like that. And I've said it a lot today, haven't I? But I don't, we're not allowed, we get frisked on the door by Elliot before we leave, so don't worry. Yeah, only me, and it's only because he loves it. That's like when we went on holiday last year in... Um, Oh, no, not last year, the year before. I didn't go on holiday last year, the year before. And we went through and we were all frisked in one airport. And the, I was being frisked and it went on and on and on. And my brother was like, um, is this a date? <laughs> I was like, um. He went over like that beep, beep, beep one. Nothing beat. And then he was like, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> yes. And then he was the boy from Starbucks. <laughs> Right, okay, needles. I've got to do these really quickly now. Haven't got a kit, but I haven't got a bundle, but I've got them individually. So, starting with sharps. So, basic sewing machine needles, these are. Regular assortment from the 60 to the 80. These are fine, sharp sewing needles. So if you're using viscose or silk or chiffons or anything like that, that is, these are the perfect machine needles. They're the green tipped ones. Ready? Next. Embroidery. These are sizes, no, no, these are all for machines, these are all for machines, right, all for machines. These are um, the purple tipped ones, they're 75, 75 to 90, they have a larger eye normally and it's normally a slightly higher up the embroidery one so you can get a proper stitch through it. For knit or woven, knit or woven, uh, embroidery, not for sewing together knit or woven. Next, leather. Right, now these, obviously, do not sew PU with these because the PU will, it'll create a serrated edge. What it is, is at the end of a leather stitch, it's, um, I need to explain like this, it's kind of faceted, it's got three, it's not just a straight forward, straight down thin needle, it's faceted at the end, so it, it kind of cuts its way through the leather. Really, really, um, I, I sometimes use them on really, really thick fabric as well. Next, jeans. Now, these are more sturdy. They are, have a bigger eye hole in them. They're usually size 14s, but these have got 90 and 100s in there. Um, and the eye is normally bigger as well because the thread you're going to use is thicker. £2.49. Right, then we've got stretch. Right, now, stretch and ballpoint are sort of the same thing, but stretch, now, which way round is it? One has a more curved bottom than the other one. 
They both have, so, so I explain, a ball point or a stretch needle don't have a sharp edge because normal fabrics are made with a warp and a weft, aren't they? Stretch fabrics are made with one thread, which goes like that to make the fabric, right? So what you don't want to do is if you put a sharp needle through it, you break that one thread and that's what causes a ladder. A ball point and a stretch needle have a, have a rounded um, point so they kind of, so if you've got all your thing, they work their way through the fabric. They don't break it. They don't snap it like a normal sharp needle would do. Now, I'm, I'm going to say, I can't remember which way. Oh, no, no. Right. This is just this is more round. Yeah, the ballpoint are more rounded. So these have a rounded edge, but these are for stretch fabrics. Right. But then if you want to use a more oh, open weave, you use a ballpoint needle, which is just, even more rounded. They'll both work. They both work. So either a stretch or a ballpoint. Yeah, and I've, I've only ever had ballpoints in the past. I've never come across a stretch one until recently. These are all machine needles, though, remember. All for your machine. Okay, and then last but not least is your top stitch. This has got a bigger eye in it because you normally use a thicker thread if you're doing a top stitch, like a denim thread or something. Oh, exhausted. Denim thread or something like that. What's the matter? Oh. I thought Hannah was saying you won't get these till the end of the month. She was talking about the paint she's ordered. The pale pink paint for her bathroom. Oh, actually, it's this colour. Not the orange, obviously, the pink one. The towels are that colour. Right. Oh, God. oh, no, quickly, 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 before I go. Paul's mum's got this. Barbara. I think, is it this colourway she's got or the other colourway? We've only got it in one colourway today. I think it's the other colourway. Look, look at that. We love a, a zip pull. Vix does especially. $15.99. It's got lovely webbing handles. It's got the reinforcer there. So <coughs> if you're carrying it, it's not too, it's not going to cut into your hand. It'll fit your 550, 560, 570. It will not fit your 680. And it'll fit your 320 in as well. Or is it 340? I've got 320. 320 in as well. Right, okay, all I've got, 560 sold out, there's one 550. Two people have got it in their baskets, but there's only one of you will get it, so you do need to check out. Not forcing you, not adding any undue pressure whatsoever, just telling you the facts, because we do not know when the next batch will come in. Tomorrow, oh, tomorrow. Oh, this is different. What's different about that? At eight o'clock, we've got PVC storage bag. Oh, have we indeed? With Wendy Orlando, John. John, this is a PVC storage bag. John, listen to me, John. Fabric, Michael Miller bundles. There's no punctuation in there. Nine o'clock. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got fat quarter cushions with Wendy Orlando. John, fat, John, fat quarter. John, look at this, John. And you're fat. 11 o'clock, we've, not Wendy, that's Wendy talking to me. 11 o'clock, we've got bag making supplies and kits. And then with 12 o'clock, we go to Yarn Lane. Now, Yarn Winding and Pom Pom Masterclass. Okay, in all seriousness, let me just tell you, in all seriousness, yes, it's a winder and yes, it's a pom pom maker, which will take 10 seconds, but the yarn in that hour is exquisite. It's all on Rebecca Reed's desk now. And I came in this morning going, oh, what's this? And they're like, don't touch. Rebecca wasn't here, it was Hannah saying that to me. Um, the yarn in Yarn Lane tomorrow is just exquisite. I cannot tell you. Right, the, my, my, my parting words are for today, please go and look at the Juki demonstration on the 5th, which you say it was the 5th of December? 5th of December, when I was on with Gary last year, 5th of December, it's an hour and a half, you will learn so much about that machine. Now you've seen, like, we're going to have no machines to sell you soon. I've got one five six no one five fifty left, and I've got two Juki NX sevens left. I've got several of these. If you want one of these, actually, maybe one of us should do a demonstration on it. Maybe I'll do that next time. I'll sit down though. Now I've said it, I'll do it. Right, okay, I'm going now. I know we've got three minutes to go, but I'm going now. Cause have we got anything else to sell? Do what? All right, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Don't be late.